Everybody, I decided to finally do it. The Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker, randomizer. I've had requests for this for a while, but it just seemed... I don't know, I felt like, you know, for the 35th Zelda, I wanted to do it. And we're gonna be playing as Tingle. You know, my, my, uh... That's my character. My analog, if you will. I almost said that. So, I don't have the spoiler log, I deleted it. But, my mods have it. This seems fake stretched. It could be fake stretched. Let me just check... The Gropics Force. This is now less fake. We may as well just do actual, like... Wind Waker didn't have widescreen, right? Seed hash, Korok Bisht. There's a widescreen hack option. Is it good for Wind Waker, rando? Because, I don't know if you can do the rando version. You need, like, the actual Wind Waker. You have to toggle it at certain parts. Ah, screw it. There he is. <laughs> wow, he's got a custom sword? Custom shield? I love that shield! His sounds are from Hyrule Warriors, by the way. I found out. I started on Tangle Island. Okay, just so you know, chat, I set custom... random... Starting location. It's totally random. And I got Tingle. Which one's David Jr.? This one. This is heavy. Do you want to know the secret of how I ended up here? Yes. Uh, this guy here and I are complete and utter strangers. I kid you not. Once upon a time I was a sailor. Floating aimlessly. I remember it vividly. There was a fierce and terrible storm. Swallowed up by a giant twister. My boat was spun round and round. It's the last thing I remember. When I woke, I was dressed like this. What do you think I was doing? I like how they just kidnapped someone and forced him to be a tingle. So, chat, my inventory is as follows. The Wind Waker. The Swift Sail. I also started with three Triforce Shards. My, my story here is that Tingle happened upon three shards. And he decided that would be... You know... That would be how we wanted to start his quest. Just to, like, speed the, the playthrough up a little bit. Get rid of some of the, the grindiness. Um, I also have the deed to the house. So that's pretty much it. Other than that, you know, sword and shield, uh, key bag, but I also have the deed. So I want to go there. I just don't know where that is. Um, how do you access the map? Here's the map! So I have all of this, that's another thing. I have a non-spoiler log, which tells you where quest items could be. But it doesn't tell you specifically where they are. So, I'll tell you real quick, because this is probably... ...kind of important. I want to let you know what's going on in my playthrough here. Is it possible to have the dialogue randomized? I don't believe so. I tried. I looked through all the options. I didn't see that one. But I do have um, the following options. I have instant text boxes, swift sail, skip boss rematches, reveal full C chart, remove title and ending videos, randomize starting island. Okay, items, progress items can appear in dungeons, great fairies, puzzle secret caves, free gifts, miscellaneous and expensive purchases. Just those. So not in the mail, not in island puzzles, not in big octos or gunboats, not in mini games, and a lot more. Those are my settings. And now we can begin. I should have reversed the camera. These fucking noises. So chat, I have a question. Oh, here we go. We're already sailing and we already got the good music. Oh boy. Okay, where's the, the island... the cabana? Does anyone know the name of that place? Where the cabana is? Southeast? One up and... One left, one up, a forest haven. Private oasis. Southeast. You need the messenger bag to use the deed? Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Chat, I might have to start a new seed. The camera is annoying as fuck. No, I'm serious. Just rebind your sea stick, invert it in dolphin now. You don't have to close the game. Uh, it's the GameCube controller, so I don't know if I can do that. But also, wouldn't that, like, make other things fucked up? Yeah, I can't do that. The widescreen thing isn't easy. Uh, why did you- did you not invert? No. The bindings I can't do. 
That's okay. Um, does, do the mods have the original seed value? Mods, do you have the original seed value? What's, what's the name of it? Um, I'm sorry, chat. Give me a minute. Oh, I have it. It's, I got it. We're all good. All I'm going to do is invert camera X axis. Everything else is the same. It should be good. But you know what? I'm going to start with the mailbag, too. Starting with mailbag might change the seed. All right, never mind then. Okay, sorry, chat. Just, uh, I didn't realize how annoying that camera would be. But it is quite annoying. Tingle, of course. Let's see if we start on the same island. I wonder. Yes, and the camera is perfect. Seed restored. So, I don't really know what a good starting location would be. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Windfall, maybe? Yeah. We can go to Windfall. Windfall has chests under the houses and shit. Alright, so Windfall is... I should know this. I really should. Isn't it just north of here? Greatfish. Windfall. So it's, it's north. Uh, the swift sail is going to be great. Also, it's going to help tremendously. There we go. We're headed there. Is there a blur effect on the distant objects? Was that in the original game? Yeah. You have the warp song from the start. Yeah, well, I want to hear the music and enjoy the sailing a little bit. Damn, you go fucking fast with the swift sail. So again, this is going to be a multi-part stream, quite clearly. Oh god. Quite clearly, as you've seen just then. Please use the tracker. I told you, I don't really know how to do that. I'm, I can't while I'm live, because I don't have it. Again, this isn't a speed run or anything like that. This is just, like, for fun. I have to get used to the controls of Wind Waker. It, it, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's more fun with the tracker. Yeah, but then I have to, like, go in and add all the stuff. Oh god, these fucking noises. I'll consider doing a tracker for next time, if there's an easier way to do it. Oh, I need a bomb bag first? One click per item isn't easy. Well, it's just gonna take me out of the game. I'm not trying to do this for speedrun purposes. I'm really just trying to enjoy the random. And to revisit Wind Waker again a little bit. You know, there are automatic ones. If there's an easy way to do it, then I'll figure it out next time. Tingle. Meet Tingle. <laughs> Yay! And what are we gonna get from Tingle? Earth Tingle statue. It's cool and damp and smells like mold. Oh. Well, that's appropriate. No matter how far we travel from this dingy cell, our souls will be as one. How about... I'm good. Then again, I am Tingle, so... Forbidden Tingle stat. Am I supposed to get Tingle statues from him, or is this totally random? The Tingle statues were GBA link things. We got an overlay from Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. But yeah, chat, I will probably need some reminders on where items are. Like, um, now that I'm at outset, probably gonna have to figure out where the, um, all the stuff is. I hate crouching as Tingle, because then you really get, like, a good view of his panties, and I, I don't like that. <laughs> Can't even see. There's an item at the end of that maze, though, if I do that right. The Picto Box. Well, guess what? That may not be a Picto Box. That could be the Master Sword, chat. It could be a Hollow Charizard. <laughs> No, it won't be one rupee. Yes! Master Sword! Moblin's letter. And it's- it's stinky, but I don't have a mailbag yet. Every item you've gotten so far is either smelly or sticky. This is true. All smelly items first. And like, hanging out with hogs. So I'm just gonna look around the island and hopefully find- I know there's- there's more treasure. Chew jelly, 
with an empty bottle, and that's how you get, um, potion. Vinny, remember the auction? There are two more things on this island. Will you randomize sound effects like you did for Majora's Mask Randomizer? It's already- this is what you- you get. There are two free things on this island, says a chat member. I think. So where's the other one? Oh, right, 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 the dancing person. Yeah, that too. Welcome, I am a tree. Ahoy! Ahoy! Playing tag with kids gets you another mini- uh, another item. Okay. Well, let's check out the grave first. I am Tot. I love dancing. You ready, guy? Well, well how do I dance with Tot? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What were his moves? Uh, I don't remember. Hang on a second. No, no, do that again. Do that again. I need to know the moves. No, I got it this time. I got it. I got it. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, left, oh. down. Streamer, please. It's an orange rupee. Okay. I guess I have a big wallet as well, which is nice. Um, it, is it time to sploosh? This dude just gave you a hundred bucks for three notes. Eh, not a bad deal. I thought you disabled minigame items. No, no, no. For progression items. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> sploosh. 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 Kaboom! Kaboom! Done. Excellent work, Sela. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Triforce chart eight. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, there's another item here. Do it again and get it under twenty. Shit. Ah! There's a speedrunning tool for this if you want it. No, I'm good. I just have to get lucky, chat. That's all. I've got 99 more rupees. Nine tries. Fucking hell. Such bad luck. God, that was terrible luck. Jesus! Jesus! That's not an item unlocked though, right? That's not under 20. Oh, I got the Picto box. So wait, is that not- is that it? Do I not have to do this anymore? Nope, there's one more. Vinny, you got 20 or less the first time. Are you sure I did? You already got the 20 under. No, he didn't. You got 21. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Ah! Fuck! Oh! Oh. 
Oh. Wow. Jape pattern, yeah. <laughs> Kaboom! 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 Splish! 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 Kaboom! 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 Okay, okay. Splish! 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 Kaboom! Yes! Done! It was 50 rupees. <laughs> well, I got my money back, somewhat. Oh, you also get this. A piece of heart. Okay. It's fine. When Wind Waker came out, did you hate it because of the cartoony direction? I loved it, but the previews I didn't like. The Zelda video from when it was first revealed, I was like, ugh. But then when it came out, I gave it a chance and I ended up loving it. Yay! Buzz buzz. How do you do the uh, the tag with the killer bees here? Vinny, your voice is ahead slightly? Huh? You read stuff before we see it? Well, how the fuck is that possible? Let me know if this is any better. You know something? When you stand here, you see a lot of people pass it. This is the brand new outfit. Better? Yeah! Kids with their shit-eating grins go into the house here. I thought that was the teacher. <laughs> I really did. Someone said the phrase shit-eating grin is disgusting when you think about what it really is. It's Rich Evans from the video today as Mr. Plinkett. Um... So which direction does- does he need it to be in? He told you? You can't do this yet? You need fire arrows. Oh, okay. I don't remember a lot of that. I mean, that's the good thing about having a shitty memory. Okay, I'll try to do as much stuff on outset as possible. Teaching the children about true joy. Talk some sense into Ivan for me. Troublesome little boys, go- go talk to them and stuff. Vinny, this is Windfall. Not outset. Oh yeah, Windfall, right. <laughs> Wait, Outset has items too, though, no? I can probably go over there and get some stuff. They just called their teacher a hag. Alright, here we go. Hide and seek. To just leave the island. Have them hide forever. Yeah, knees broken. Tiny knees just, like, destroyed. You're pretty good, bud. Someone said switch port when. Knowing me, I'll probably, like, I'll play this, and then a week after I'm done, there will be an announcement of the switch port of the HD version, complete with randomizer. No, no, not you. I'm, no, hide and seek. Okay, next. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way he survived that. I just don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a game for adults. Please. Play this not baby game anytime. Beep your screen lord, please. Play adult game. These fucking tingle noises are just gonna go on and on and on. What do you think this quest reward's gonna be, chat? Could it be... I don't know. The Master Sword. Five rupees? Ten arrows? Man, I'd even be happy with the mailbag. M my lore is that Tingle owns the cabana, but he just misplaced his mailbag so he can't open it. But he has the deed. Like, he naturally... You know, he starts with it. It's a heart piece. That's like a normal quest reward. And, note to mom. Huh? Keep it in your delivery bag. Told your mommer. <laughs> Is there anything else to do on, uh... Windfall Idol? I- I- At the moment? Also, the pirate ship is here. The pirate ship is here. Orion. 
Zelda universe takes place on Earth. Are Beetle's items randomized? I don't know, but Beetle is here, so let's go take a look and see. Take photo and show to a guy. Take a picture of the full moon. Can't carry arrows, and but there's bait. I don't have a bait bag. I, I can't carry any of this shit. You need color film. Oh my god, there is a lot more in this game in, in regards to side quests than I even rem remember. Jesus. The- listen, chat. The following the girl side quest you need money for, apparently. No, it's free. The auction you need money for, okay. Hi, big brother. Wanna play a game? Wait, you, you're fine? Wait, what? I, but I'm Tingle. I'm not really a fan of this rope swinging stuff in this game, to be honest. On the ropes, you're Swingle. Oh, eat. Pantaloon. Mini games can still have good items, though. Even if they're not progression items, they can still have good stuff. This is timed, you need to reset. No, I don't think so. Well, you were right. Uh... I figured it wouldn't be timed, maybe they changed it for the randomizer, but it is timed. I always hate- I hated this thing. This minigame. Still do. <laughs> oh. If you swing near the bottom, you can skip ropes. I'll try to get that one when it comes back around. Yep. When I come around! That was a funny impression, wasn't it? That was the dookie impression. Randomizer without showing a tracker. What is this, amateur hour? It is, actually. Yeah, I'm not a speedrunner. Chat member. This is just for fun. Um, we're not in this for the, you know, for the, uh, the glory. If I wanted to open my glory hole, I would do, uh, I don't know, Ghosts and Goblins. But for Wind Waker Randomized, this is just for fun. Well, it's a treasure chart. I know what a tracker does. I've used it for Link to the Past. I mean, you want to see what items I have? Wow. Yep, there's going to be a lot of treasure charts. Luckily, I I will know that progression items are not there. So if we get to a point where I'm stuck, I know it's not treasure charts. Trackers aren't just for speedrunning, though. They can be fun to help you when you have options, you know where to go next. Yeah, I guess. I, I understand. I just I didn't have time to set anything up or look into it today. And like I said, I didn't feel like clicking. If there's an automatic tracker, or someone can help me do it, I'd, I'd do it. But if I have to like click out of the game every time I get something, I'd probably not want to do that. Very, I understand it's very important to many people. How do I, how do I do this? Oh. <laughs> okay. I like the sneaky noises this game has. Nope, no one's here. No one. God damn it. Vin, is it too late to change characters? Look, I it, I know it's weird. It, it's it's tingle. It's of course it's weird. And yeah, no, it's it's much too late. Let's see what the auction is. An orange rupee. 60 rupees. How many Wait. Um <laughs> Is that a hundred? These usually go over a hundred. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> you wanna buy some money? How does she not see this? Like this in particular. <laughs> Look at that stealth. Tingle stealth. You didn't see- it. No! No! I'm over the wall! Oh! Uh. Oh wait, it's not done yet. I didn't get caught. <laughs> caught ya. You startled me, what do you want? My heart's racing, you scared me. Wait, are you that... ...kind of creep that goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain me- Yeah, it's Tingle, of course. 
Um, an ally of justice. I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Just let me go. You have to give all the top answers. It's once one of the richest little debutantes in this town. Um, there's a place called the Forsaken Fortress where I was locked up. Father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. Every last bit of our family fortune gone. And that's when the life of poverty began. It's terrible. Maggie was the poorest town, uh, girl, and suddenly became filthy rich. <laughs> I understand your plight. Unfortunately, I cannot let you go. Because I'm honest. It's true. I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. I'm gonna quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Take- please take this. Please take a golden feather. What? Someone said the second floor of the auction house, if you jump down, you get a free treasure chest. God, the, if she had the master sword, that would have been amazing. Uh, I'm reading this to myself, chat. I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. If you want to watch a full Wind Waker playthrough, I did that, um, God, for Wind Waker HD. But, if you haven't played this game before, then you maybe shouldn't be watching Randomizer for the story. Just throwing that out there. I'll read a couple things here and there because I actually like some of these characters and story quite a bit. But, for Randomizer, I'll just be... Just be going through it quickly. Whoa! That's a progression item. You want me to bring that to the post box? Because, uh, nope, nope. Wind tingle statue. Ah, oh, it's smelly. Progressive Pictal Box. This is the one that I need that has color. That, um... I can take the picture of the moon with, right? Wait until the time is about to run out, then bet. It won't even let me press the bid button, honestly. Oh, you have to mash it. Right, right, right. Is it too soon? Only 10% increase to stun them. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oops. Oh, nice. Cool. Color pictographs. Uh, can I... I wonder if I could come back to the auction, would there be more items? There's one... Someone said there's one more you haven't seen yet. I don't have the money for it, but I'm gonna take a look anyway and just see what it might be. Skull necklace. Well, probably don't need that. There's one more item. It was rupees, wasn't it? There are four, four auctions. You've seen three. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. So we take a picture of the moon, in color. Very, very nice picture. And then who needs to see this picture? This guy, but during the day? Okay, that's weird. But, hey, whatever. Yeah, I mean, he was looking at the moon just then. Okay, now he's missing. Oh, there he is. Nobody understands how I feel. Wait. You do understand how I feel? Completely. How about a little test to see if I really do? Perfectly round, pale thing you can think of. How about this? <laughs> no chat, not that. It's a joy pendant in a spoils bag I don't have. You can get another item by taking a picture of the gossip lady. So you look- you look like this. You're very pixelated. It's another Joy Pendant. Joy. Tingle has all the spoils and mail stuffed into his bodysuit. Yeah, but where in the bodysuit is the real question. Come on, you know where. We all know where. The Pictobox guy has quests. Uh, you know what? We're gonna come back to those. I- I need a change of scenery. Right, so hang- hang on a second, chat. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Hang on. It's this. Down, right, left, up. Maybe the grandma... Maybe Link's grandma will, will think that Tingle is her grandson and give him a free item. Man, last time I was at Outset Island, I was shooting. Guns. 
she needs an, um, a fairy. Well, don't I need a, um, I need a bottle for that. That damn Curlin Neskar broke again. Power bracelets! That's a good progression item to get randomly under Link's house. Two dungeons are open now, yeah? Okay, so I need a bottle and then a fairy and then I can save Grandma. There's also a house here with a chest that you can only access at night. How about sword training? I wonder, does that have an item? It does. You can do the big pig item once you get the bait. Okay, well, I don't have a bait bag or anything. Need knight's belt for sword skill. I don't remember what the song was. It's uh, left, right, down, right, left, down. By stream number two, I will remember. Change the model for the love of God. I can't. We're stuck with Tangle now, for better or worse. Better for some, worse for others. <laughs> Hundred rupee. I just robbed that poor kid's life savings. Any items up top, perhaps? You need the leaf to get it. The great fairy fountain that you can only warp to has... There's a fairy fountain in the woods. Um... I'm gonna check Beetle's shop. Mother and child item uh, island has a free item. Okay. You need the leaf. Okay. So apparently I need leaf for many things. So what do you got, Beetle? Treasure chart 2, sure. Thank you! No! You can do the fairy fountain on outset because you have the bracelet. Vinny, you already know it's not progression. Yeah, but I mean I'm gonna need more than three hearts to defeat Ganon. I'm no I'm no pro. What about the fairy fountain? You need the leaf to get it. Well, if I had a uh a bottle, I could save grandma. Ah! Southern Fairy Island could be a good place for an item. No bombs here for the uh, dragon roost, though. Can't even carry bombs yet. Oh, but you have the power. Oh, right, right, right. The, the bomb flowers. Southern Fairy Island. Let me check that real quick before we go back here. Letter minigame has multiple prizes. Okay. That's good. Need leaf. Need fire. Hmm. That actually kind of scared me a little bit. Let's take a quick look up here. There's a fairy island that's open, but I don't remember which one. Now, these have treasure chests on them sometimes, right? Need bombs to break the cannons. Okay, so yeah, we need... We need some, some bombs and shit. You have to kill all enemies, including the cannons. Oh, man. Alright. Bombs are essential. It's yours, my friend. Or Boomerang. Okay. I mean, for anyone just joining, I haven't played Wind Waker since the HD edition came out. So there's a lot of gaps in my memory. Many. Oh yeah, I can lift all the rocks. That's nice. I'm now very powerful. Can I get an- I can get an item from this? We're gonna find out right now. A Triforce Shard? <laughs> what the fuck? Now I only need four more. Like I said, I started myself with three, just to cut down on some of the tedium later on. But we're still gonna need to power up to defeat Ganon. Like, there's no way I'm doing it with three hearts and no Master Sword. Master Sword is a progression item in Wind Waker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't get over these fucking tingle noises. Light arrows and boomerang are also required. I figured there would be a lot of things required for Cronando. I say Cronando... ...with no irony in it anymore, but you have to, you have to imagine that there are a lot of chat members that don't know... ...who Cronando is. Like, sure, it's become kind of a vine sauce inside joke. There was a friend of ours, of Mike and myself, who was a little... is a little dopey. 
and he smoked a little too much weed. And, um, I think years ago, this is a Mike story, now I wasn't there for it. Even though, at times, I tricked myself into believing I was there, because memory doesn't make any goddamn sense. But, uh, so this dude, Gamby, essentially, that's his, that's his name, it's not his real name, but yeah, Gamby. Um, he was playing Smash Melee many years ago, and it was a CRT TV, and it was far away. He was at someone's house, they were playing Melee, and he was like, Oh, who's that character? And it was Ganondorf, but he thought it said, Yo, who was that, Cronando? He thought it said Cronando. So, that's the whole story. Submarine chart. Yeah, I mean, Ganondorf, Cronando, checks out. And it became kind of a thing, like, Mike told, you know, because they were with a couple people, but they all knew, they thought it was funny, they called him Cronando, and then I called him Cronando, and then, like, our extended group of friends that played Smash together called him Cronando, and now all of you across the world call him Cronando. Well, not all of you, but many of you. So it's, it really, just that one moment, it's amazing how these things propagate, it's... It's just weird. It's fucking weird. But what a great name, too. That that actually is a cool name for Ganondorf, like Cronando, King of Thieves. So he accidentally came up with a great name. No, <laughs> there's no reason to even... You know what? Let's go see Beetle. Maybe we can spend some of this money. The first time you called him that on stream wasn't intentional. It's mostly intentional. Like, when I say Cronando, I, I think I know deep down that his name is Ganondorf, but it's just so ingrained now that I sometimes say Cronando without thinking, because I just feel like everyone's in on the joke, which is not the case. Since when? Going back to probably 2000... I would say, if I had to guess the Cronando meme was born, or the- the event probably happened around 2005, 2006, 2007, in that range, and then I learned about it in like 2008 or 9, and have said it since then. Vinny, mail your grappling hook. <laughs> no! I need this. I can't mail it anyway. I always hated these doors as a chat member. Are they mouths? Uh, no, like feathers. I don't see them as mouths. Well, why, hang on a minute, why do- why would birds have teeth? Some birds do have teeth. Okay. Did you ever see the inside of a turtle's mouth? Oh my god. Horrifying. <laughs> Someone said, did you ever see the mouth of a lamprey? My response would be, did you see me play Ghosts and Goblins yesterday? Part time! Look, there's a tingle. Um, letter. There's a specific Tingle, like, template. A lot of fan mail for Tingle. After his adventure, he'll go, to, he'll go check it out and read it. So, what's the item? Uh, I didn't get an item, I just got Rupee. There's an item for doing this during the day? <laughs> Someone in chat said all the nudes he sent to himself. <laughs> you just gotta do it 25 times, okay. I got no duplicates. That was just, like, honestly... I, sure, I'm not that great at this, but the RNG there was... I need duplicates. I'm like, maybe ones that aren't so far apart from each other. There we go, that's the good stuff. Tingle and jar. That's what we need. T or a vase. Ah, oh, shit. Wow! Wow! The big, stupid... I just freaked out. I had, I had like a moment. It was a bad, stupid moment, but I... It was the stupid brain moment. Okay, got an item. Hopefully. Where's the item? You gotta leave? Vinny, you have to do it twice. Wait, you only have to leave? Okay, I thought you had to do, uh... Like, the next day. Green hat, green clothes, you're Tingle, aren't you? I'd love to see the legendary sworder do his thing. No! 
Ah, could you? Mm. Better RNG by one. Can't wait for this cool item I'm gonna get that's gonna be fucking hot garbage. Ugh, oh, it's rupees. God damn it. Then we need the blue rupee emote back. Can I get... If anyone wants to make an appropriate emote, I guess orange rupee might be the, uh... the most appropriate for this game. But I'll add it before next time I stream this. Treasure chart emote? <laughs> yeah, that could work too. So, next on Dragon Roost is basically the dungeon, right? Well, here's what I can do, chat. I can get to the dungeon and then just save, and then when I come back, I'll be in the dungeon ready to go. So when I chat said, I played this with a keyboard once. Not fun. Sorry to hear that. God, how would that even work? MGS2 with a mouse and keyboard? That sounds a little bit better. I just don't see teeth. I see feathers. I know it's weird, I just don't... I see a beak. It's like, stylized. It, it's not supposed to be a mouth with teeth. This game still looks really good. I mean, the HD edition is fucking phenomenal. Bloom aside. Just because of the, like, better textures and stuff, post-processing, but, um... Really... When you bump up the resolution of Wind Waker, I think it still looks really good. Zelda. Oh yeah, I called it Zelda 2 at one point. I had friends that were not into the GameCube at all. And Zelda being Zelda did not help, because they were playing GTA and, like, Manhunt and adult games. Like, sh like fight people in the face until they get pulped. And I was having, like, lots of cool GameCube nights where people come over and play Smash and Mario Kart. And... Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And then when Twilight Princess was announced, most of those people went and got a GameCube. And then later played Wind Waker and said they regretted not having the game, uh, GameCube. There's like three separate people. So... But I, I kind of understand it. I mean, as you're growing up, you don't want to be associated with babies. What I will say is, I always will have this one memory of Wind Waker that no one... No one can take away. Which is, um... Circuit City, before this game was released, had a demo of Wind Waker. And the kiosk was free. And I went over to it. And I got to play this dungeon. Not much of it. I played like five minutes, maybe like eight. And then I stole the kiosk. But no, it was um it was really cool to see this game in motion and actually get my hands on it. I was like, okay, no, this game looks awesome. The fire and lighting effects. Like the cell shaded lighting I thought was great. And the next room, the lava, phenomenal, still to this day. I asked GameStop if I could have the Wii U kiosk, and I have it in my living room, says a chat member. Can you, like, take a picture of that? That's awesome. I thought me getting a Blade Runner 2049 poster was cool, like from the movie theater. That's even fucking cooler. But yeah, this. I remember looking at that, that in particular and being like, what? The GameCube was a really, like, nice step up from the N64. Especially with shit like this in Luigi's Mansion. And, um... Yeah, Mario Sunshine, too. I had some really nice looking games. Rogue Squadron, uh, Rebel Strike... Not Re uh, Rogue Leader being a launch title was, for me, like, proof... ...that the GameCube could do... ...nice, good visual. The thing is, though, with GameCube, it had, like, all the third-party stuff, mostly. It's just the fucking C-Stick I don't like. The C-Stick is not good for first-person shooters. But, as a controller, I'm a fan. Visually, the games usually look pretty on par with everything else, if not better, slightly. But Nintendo really knew how to get every- I mean, obviously, they knew how to drop- get every drop of power out of this thing. And it usually ended up being... Like, their first-party stuff looked incredible. And still, I mean, this dungeon in particular, I think, proves it, but still looks pretty damn good to this day, when you bump up that resolution. Uh, but that said, the Wind Waker, like I said before, the HD edition, should come to Switch at some point, because that game is gorgeous. Anyway, that'll be the, uh, stream for tonight. Yeah, so Wind Waker randomized, um, we made some progress today. 
and uh, it's fun. It's going to be a good series of streams, and I think um, I'm probably, obviously, not going to see the whole game because randomizer. But it'll be a good shortened Wind Waker stream. You like trackers? Chat? The Great Tracker Wars of 2021. However, it is cool, and I understand the utility of the tracker. Um, and... My mods... can actually update the tracker live. I- not for every item, but for most of them. So, I just want to give a quick shout out to Emo Tracker for being amazing. Vinny, can you move the tracker to the left? What, what do you think? Where do you want it to be? You want it there? Does that work better? Yeah? Alright. Probably works better for chat purposes, right? Why doesn't it fit perfectly, though? That's weird. I thought it did before. It doesn't. Why is that like that little space? It's kind of lame. It was fine before you moved it. No, it was cutting off the screen. Anyway, I'm doing this tonight instead of VR because I didn't have a chance to set up VR. The weather was so nice. I went and did stuff today. Drove around, hung out with a friend, you know, stayed outside for a while. Like, it was nice to go enjoy nice weather. It was like really good to do that, finally. Um, so... So anyway, VR probably tomorrow. Let me just double check that the trackers are all good. Yeah, it looks looks like it's about right. There's gonna be a little gap on the bottom there, but whatever. So yeah, anyway, um, hi. I just was in the mood to do some Wind Waker, and now that we got the tracker working, it's gonna be even better. Drop a gray rectangle. Fill the gap with a high-quality image. You want a high-quality image over there? Alright. Hmm. That image does not work. I don't think we're gonna get an image that really, like, works there, unless someone wants to make one. Don't go to sleep yet, Tingle. The fun has only just begun, as they say, in the Navy. Now, there could be a- whoa, wharf? Yeah, that's cool. Throw a wharf in there. That doesn't help at all. I think it's pretty good. Throw a wharf in there real quick. And we have room for one more image, too, so I'll just throw this in there, too. I still think that this isn't the highest quality image- imagery that could go here, but... Vinny, I have no idea how to manipulate the map. Um, I wouldn't worry about that. I'll take care of that. I can click. I can stop being a lazy twat and do it myself. It's fine. No, you can't either. No? I can kind of, uh, if I go into settings, I can do dungeons. And it'll show me which dungeons I can do. So, you know, there's, there's ways to go about this. It'll, like, if I need a, a hint, I can use the map. Yeah, I use this for Majora's Mask and for Link to the Past, so I- I have experience with trackers, but I just- At one point yesterday, I was like, why do I need that? I'm not really doing this for anything other than my own enjoyment, but it, it actually could be helpful. The Mario spin is distracting. Alright, what do you want, then? <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, chat, because you might get Turtle Club. <laughs> yes, see, now you get Turtle Club. What? It was one guy? No, it was- it was all chat. <laughs> I'll, listen, if someone makes something for that space, like that says vine sauce or something, I'll put it there. But until then... You know, there's gonna be Turtle Club. Anyway, this- this speedrun's gonna take forever. 
This is one of my famous slow speed runs. I'm a very professional streamer. I have a tracker. I've got Turtle Club. And you could put a timer down there. Nah. Again, it's not a speed run. I, I was. <laughs> this is kind of joking. Oh my god. It's like ghosts and goblins all over again. Can you make up lore as to why Tingle was jailed in Windfall Island? Just for existing. Like, his face was so tingly that they had to- they had to jail him. And so, the story goes that my Tingle, who is Tingle Prime, owns a cabana and found out that his clone, who he was using for manual labor, was captured, decided to rescue him, and then was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll stop Ganon while I'm at it. After getting a number of gooey, sticky items, he decided, well, maybe there are more riches in this world that I can go for. Like, it's it's kind of almost a Wario thing. And Tingle has a lust for rupees. Most of his games, um, his own wretched games have a, a rupee focus. Isn't this randomized the realization we proposed at Zelda game, your Breath of the Wild stream, where Ganon tricked Tingle to collect the Triforce before Link did? I don't remember that bit because that was almost four years ago, but yeah, it could be that, sure. What is this item? Ryan, look out! It's a, it's Stewie Griffin? No, it's got to fit the exact... There you go, Dave, you got it. It's got to fit the exact specifications. Vinny, watch the clip. After I beat this dungeon, remind me, I'll watch it. It's a really good way to telegraph that you need to use the, the, that big sword, and that you can even pick up enemy stuff. Well, you know that early. From the Forbidden Fortress. Forsaken Fortress. Vinny, did you not set the dungeons to random, or is this the first one by coincidence? Um, this is coincidence because the items I got were perfect for this dungeon. This is a very tingly weapon. Vinny, I'm disappointed you let chat bully you into a tracker. Um, chat doesn't really bully me into very much. The tracker ends up being pretty useful, and Dave and my mods can control it without me having to use it. Vinny, tell me which charts you have. I don't know. You know what? Tingle and the Turtle Club guy really could be, like, buddies. They could hang out. You know who else they could hang out with? The Backwards Man. Which Christopher Nolan watched Freddy Got Fingered, and when he got to the Backwards Man part, the Backwards Man, the Backwards Man, that's when he got the idea for Tenet. Did you hear that someone put Tenet on the GBA? Hmm, I didn't know that. Like the Shrek movie? You probably would understand just about as much of it as if you had seen it in the theater. I do want to watch that movie again at some point, but, um, I'm not planning on, and on... The problem is... I feel like that movie demands your complete attention, and gives little back. Even if you do fully pay full attention to the movie, it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, that's my hypothesis. I didn't really care for the movie that much. I liked it more than I didn't like it. But, I feel like it's a movie you really need to pay attention to, and even then, you're still gonna struggle with it. Unless you're a genius. In which case, chat, are you geniuses? Have you seen the movie? You know, write in at this web zone. I don't care at Gmail. I don't know. It's at least a fun movie to look at. I still remember a lot of the set pieces. Pattinson was good. I should watch it on the GBA. I wonder if I could stream it. If I use the GBA version. It counts as a video game. Half of the movie was just Pattinson in a suit walking in the city explaining the plot. What, I'm sorry, plot? Someone said, just like Inception. Oh, Deku Leaf. Alright, well... I, I needed this. Obviously, it's a progression item. It's a progression item. It's rewarding to go through a dungeon and get a good item. Made a corner image. Alright, cool, thanks. It's a good one. I can use this. Nice work. Okay, here we go. But yeah, Inception, I feel, worked really well. Even if it was confusing for some people, but you get, like, a good amount of... It, it's it's top-loaded. You know, there's a lot of exposition pretty quickly. But I feel like, overall, Inception is a lot easier to get. 
tenet you could rack your brain around and then you can still not really know who started what, who gave what to who, when... I mean, I'm sure someone's mapped it out with charts. I'm sure there's plenty of flow charts and graphs, but... I, I mean, like, upon watching the movie a couple times, tenet does not make a whole lot of sense to me. But maybe I just need to see it again. Is it true that they mixed the movie again? so that you can hear what the actors are saying. Because that was a real fucking problem. They didn't do that. Robert Pattinson said in an interview he had to ask the other actors what the movie was about because he found the plot too confusing. Do you, do you think the other actors knew what it was about? Alright, I understand. Listen, I, I get it. The turtle guy... is a little annoying. I know some people will love the turtle guy and they'll want him back. But the truth is... The turtle guy was only ever temporary, chat. You must understand... ...that turtles are not forever. Yeah, that was a good James Bond movie. Turtles are not forever. Thank you, chat member, for making this really nice, um, logo that fits. Oh, this isn't... Oh, okay. I kind of sequence broke this puzzle. But yeah, Chad, it was beautiful. I'm a little tired, because I did a lot of driving and walking, but, um, and I had some stuff to do, too. I had to, like, get my oil changed and all that fun stuff. But, um, it, it really was, like, it's amazing how a nice day that's, like, 70 degrees Fahrenheit can improve the mood. I'm very grateful to have had a nice day. A couple in a row, in fact. Don't get me wrong, I, I too like to, um, I too like to sit on the computer and stay home and play games. I mostly like to do that, but then that can only go so far and I need to go out for a little bit because I enjoy that. I need to go do some stuff and then I can spend the required hours sitting at the computer. So I'm, I'm kind of like a little bit of, um, a little bit of both. I like to do a lot of at-home stuff, and then I like to go out from time to time as well. But I'd still say I'm, I'm mostly a homebody. I'm gonna lower the game just a little bit. So I, I don't have a key for that part of the dungeon, and now I'm a little bit confused. I guess I really just kind of have to go backwards. Is there a way to just go back to the entrance of a dungeon in Wind Waker? The Ballad of Gales will do it. Well, someone said I, I missed something earlier, so let's take a look. Deku Leaf opens many chests on islands. Oh god! Some people will love to see Tingle on fire. I take no pleasure in such a thing, for I know it could very easily be me. I mean, I am the same age as Tingle. In May, I will be older than Tingle. <laughs> what the fuck? Since March of last year, for unspecified reasons, um, time has felt both way too slow and way too fast. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but to me it does. I feel like I've been stuck in some weird form of limbo, and yet... I'm like, how did we get here? It's like the movie Tenet. Actually, it's not. Um, I don't know where I missed the thing. When going through dungeons non-linearly, that are meant to be gone through in a specific kind of... Well, not all Zelda dungeons, but you know what I mean. Some of them have a more linear structure. And then you don't... Like, you get stuff out of order. Kind of confusing. Go to the far lava geyser and go under it. Far la lava geyser, go under it. Huh? Ah! Oh! Well, I wanted my head to appear smaller. And the easiest way to do that was to wear a big suit to make my body look bigger. Oh, thank, thank you, David Byrne. That's really cool. Hmm. Vinny, where the claws are. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look over there. Use the leaf to break this room, says chat member. The leaf is a balloon. That's amazing. This is such a good model. It comes with, like, custom shield, custom sword, custom b uh, leaf balloon. That's so fucking good. There is truly lots of effort put into a character that deserves none. <laughs> In the last room, there was a chest where you needed to burn some planks and then use the grapple to swing across the lava pit. I'm wondering if as a result of that, like, will I miss another progression item? Or like a full fucking heart? You know, you know what I mean? Like, 
I feel like there's a chance that if I miss any treasure chest in a dungeon, that's bad news bears. And this chest will have like five rupees. Oh, we still need the rupees emote. No, it's not dead, it's just stunned! Oh. It's a key. You know what else it is? A kind of magic. To be honest, I'm not really a huge fan of a lot of late 80s Queen. There's some really good stuff in there, but it's not like consist consistent. I think the Innuendo album kind of got back on track, but for me, Queen like kind of fell off. Not too much. Like there was always a good song or two, but like they had a couple albums that I tried listening to in full, and I'm just like, oh, this became like st stadium cock rock. When I think stuff like um, Queen Two, Sheer Heart Attack. Day at the Races, Night at the Opera, News of the World. A lot of that stuff was just much more interesting. Highlander soundtrack? Oh yeah, no, that's good stuff. I mean, this is just how I feel about it. There's always good stuff in there. Like, Queen, I don't think ever really put out a bad album. But the stuff I come back to more often than not is the early 70s to late 70s stuff. That's the stuff I think they... They are consistently, like, just good. Um, uh-oh. How do I live? How does Made in Heaven work? I don't really like Made in Heaven all that much. They did what they could. Is chat doing Joseph's? Alright, I mean, do Joseph if you want, but hey, you should check out Queen, they're a great band. If that's the key, as I've said before, if that's the doorway to listen to great music, then go listen to it. But Made in Heaven is the album they put out after Freddy passed. Someone's trying to explain what the JoJo ability is, and I'm just like... You don't have to tell me what the actual thing is, like, I don't really... You know, I don't know what that means. Um, someone said it's a very cromulent ability or something. And then I'm like, ah, yes. Of course it is. You would seriously enjoy JoJo, though. Says a chat member. You've been here for years. And you still hold that opinion? I mean, alright. If you say so. Is this where I missed the treasure chest? I'm assuming if I tried hard enough, I would enjoy anything, right? I mean, well... Isn't that just life? It's like, anything can be, uh... A something if you try hard enough. What's the quote? But, I mean, JoJo's... I know it's good. I know people like it that have good taste in that stuff, but uh, it's just not for me, I don't think. Vinny, Omega Blind, go back and turn right. I need to look at the map more, maybe. Oh yeah, I really Omega Blinded, like, several times. Tingle, what the fuck? But, um, chat, I also want you to know that not just JoJo's, but every anime, every game that I haven't played, that chat wants me to watch or play, I've had people say, oh, you would like this. Now, you just need to watch 600 episodes, and then you'll really get into it. It happens. But then again, I recommend Star Trek to people, so, you know, that's like, god, what, 800 plus episodes of, t of television? So, that's kind of impossible to breach. That's why I usually recommend just, like, the next generation, and then if you like that, you can watch the rest as it's not really related. And then again, you can watch one of my fa- and maybe this is like this for the Josephs, I don't know, but... One of my favorite things about Star Trek is that you can watch one episode. Most of the shows, you can just watch one or two episodes, and you have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you don't need to know really anything else. You can just start wherever, check out a couple episodes, you have a, a dilemma, the dilemma is solved, or not. You get some interesting food for thought, a character learns a thing, it's all very kind of, uh... Vinny, um, come on, you fanboy, a Japanese game company. The culture's prevalent in the games. Lol, JoJo's more entertaining than TNG, I'm being honest, and I'm older than you. You're right, but, you know, that is predicated on you having exceptionally perfect taste. I don't know who you are, chat member, but if you have perfect taste in stuff, then that's cool. I do have- I love a lot of Japanese stuff. I do. Uh, most of my favorite video game companies are Japanese. It's fun to talk about JoJo. It really is. It's great when you talk about JoJo, and then people try to get me into it. Like, the reasoning is always really cool. It's always fun. And then it comes to, like, the comparisons between other things and JoJo are also extra fun. 
Like, Vinny, you like Star Wars. Come on, you'd like JoJo. You should watch it. JoJo's better than Star Wars. Vin, listen. You like the band Nirvana. I heard you talk about it. I, I know what the deal is. The JoJo uh, television show... I know it comes from a good place, because, like, I talk about the stuff I love. I mean, you actively have to come to my streams to hear this stuff. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. I like how this bird was sitting on a song. I know it comes from a place of, I like this thing, the person I watch stream would like it too. That's why I talk about Star Trek. I love sharing it, because it's something that is... It makes me feel good. It's, uh... You know, it's a fun thing to watch. I enjoy it. I enjoy talking about it. I want to share it with people. I like having conversations about it. But I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, force people to try to watch it. You know, it's not for everyone. But I know it comes from a place of, I want to share this thing I like with the streamer I like. He might enjoy it and get the similar level of joy. It's not a spiteful thing. But I've noticed the way it happens can be a turnoff. So my advice is, like, if you want to share the thing you love... Just... I got a pair. Just be aware of how you do it. Because that might inadvertently, and I'm probably guilty of this too. You might inadvertently turn people off to it. I'm, I, I've said it before, I'm, I'm sorry if I've turned off people to Star Trek. I didn't mean to, I just wanted to share a thing I like. But again, you know, it's like, it, the way I'll defend myself and I'll say, like, you know, you, you come to someone's stream that is notorious for talking about Star Trek, and then you get upset that they talk about Star Trek. It's like, dude, that's... There's gotta be... some self-awareness there. It's like going to Walmart and being upset at all the weird people. <laughs> oh, check this out. So, uh, today, I'm going to get a sandwich, right? S sandwich, sorry. And, um... I, I get the sandwich, and there's an ATM near this place. And it's like a strip mall. So it's kind of busy, there's a lot of foot traffic. And this dude, you know, tall dude, older guy, um, not wearing a mask, not that, you know, like, whatever, fine, he's outside, it's an outside thing. Um, the reason I say that is because I want you to get a mental image of what's happening here. And, um, some kid walks by with a Red Bull. Shit you not, this dude says, Hey, 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 uh, excuse me, can you hear me? Because he had earbuds in. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And, and the kid's like, uh-huh. Like, teenager. Did you know that Red Bull, they put something in it to stimulate your heartbeat? So that it beats really, really fast? And so that, you know, you... And it's like, huh? And he just, like, stopped this kid, who is clearly taking steps backwards away from him. And he's, like, trying to lecture him about how bad Red Bull is. So, that was an interesting event that happened today. I only caught a little bit of the conversation. I, I just- I wish I could have been like... Whatever. Let the kid drink what he wants. One day he'll learn that Red Bull... ...engorges your heart. What kind of sandwich was it? It was roast beef, chat. Ghost ship chart. Okay. But no, I, he did say something about a certain chemical that wasn't just about enlarging your heart. There was something he said that was really bizarre. And the thing is, like, maybe there was some truth to it? I don't know. Like, Red Bull doesn't taste natural. Like, there's definitely a battery acid element to it, but, like, dude... Taurine? Like, does your- like, what, what gets enlarged? Does, like, your, your testicles, like, your sperm get huge? Like, tadpoles? Like, what happens? Well, in any case, weird, weird moment. Definitely a weird moment. I don't know how to open that door. Turn the handle? Oh, because there's enemies in the pots. Oh. Vinny, I don't understand how people can stand the fucking taste of Red Bull in the first place. I- I hate it. <laughs> I- I think it's really disgusting. I've had better energy drinks, but I- whatever, man. That's the thing, to each their own, but for me, with my objective taste, where everything I like is best like, um, that shit is just so... non-Earth. Like, that's what I imagine the Energizer from Chrono Trigger tastes like. Like, you step into the Energizer, you get healthy, but you're still hungry. Sorry, the Enertron. 
I should know that. Of all people, I should know that. Yesterday was, I think, Chrono Trigger's 26th birthday. Right? Was it yesterday? Someone said, um, what's your favorite flavor of battery? Taurine. Which sounds like a Metroid level. Like, that's where the Metroids would be. In Taurine. Wait, Chad, do I... Is there another item inside? I guess I have to do this first. Oh, right, there it is. Okay. That would have been the big key. Tingle's pretty good with a sword. I mean, uh, map. Then he know that's the grappling hook. Okay. Um, got the map. Well, welcome to randomizers. Check for treasure chests. Um, I think I need the compass for that, no? How about down here? Would there be an item down this way? I think the compass is the only thing left. Oh, that's a good point. That's the boss key route. Um, well, we can go for the boss first, and then if I'm... I can use the warps to get back. Let's get whatever item the boss is gonna give, and then, uh, warp. There's one chest on the way to the boss key from here. Well, there's also this. This could be the compass. Um, secret cave chart. Master sword, master sword, no. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'll take a piece of heart. No, the cutscenes are, are out for speedrunning purposes. I actually forgot how to fight this fucking thing. Um... I'll figure it out. I think it... yeah. I remember. Oh, right, 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 right. I like how this, um, grappling hook is exactly as long as it needs to be. Whenever the story needs it to be that long. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Tingle! Get over here! I mean, quickly! I didn't even know you could kill with the grapple hook. It's the compass. How nice. Vin, watch the clip. Ryan, look out! Okay. That was pretty good. Um, okay, chat. I thought that the warp would take me to the entrance of the dungeon. It didn't. Yeah, I missed, uh, two chests, apparently. Vinny, not sure if you noticed, but you're playing as Tingle. I'm sorry, who? Who the fuck is Tingle? What shield is this? This is the Tingle shield. Whoever Tingle is. Vinny, what do you think of the Post Malone Pokemon collaboration? I... I... I didn't even know about that. I only know one Post Malone song. And I'm not the world's biggest Pokemon fan, so I have no input. I don't even know what the collaboration is. Vinny, you sounded very defensive right now. I am defensive. What is Pokemon? I don't know why I sounded defensive. Chat is saying very weird things. He s sings about sex while Pokemon fly around him. I am so pissed. I am so pissed off. <laughs> is that fucking real? Three treasure chests. So is that the collaboration, or did the Pokemon company approach him after hearing the song? And they were like, you know what, Post? We want to collaborate with you. So we're gonna do a Pokemon-themed Post Malone in the future. How do you feel about that, Post? Sorry, my name is John Post. Ah, uh, yes, John Post. Tell us, how do you feel about becoming your very own Post Malone Pokemon? It says there's a treasure chest here, but I don't know. Yeah. Go back. Bomb the wall. I don't have bombs. This is like, it's like Pokemon Go. Oh, it's in the top area. I got it. I can't buy bombs because I don't have a bomb bag. Oh, Tone, who are you calling a bomb bag? Walnut, please! Jesus. Um, it doesn't appear to be up here either. Oh, I have to kill the enemies. Vinny, say the funny about Mr. Bucket. Nah, see, now that it's a request, it's no longer fun to do it. Ah! 
Fuck you, Tingle. Vinny, complain about Picard. I- that show fucking sucked. God, it ruined the character of Captain Picard so much. I mean, seriously, was there any reason for this show to exist? Chat, that wasn't- you don't have to actually land- That was a bit. It was a bit, chat. It was a bit. I mean, it's a real bit. You know, it's like a drill bit. Vinny, okay, now talk about Pink Floyd for 30 minutes. It's always 30 minutes when I talk about Pink Floyd. It's a full 30 minutes. Every stream of my four hours, it's a full 30 minute bit. Um, I, I usually talk about the same stuff, too. We go into analysis of Shine On You Crazy Diamond. Then I get upset at chat for JoJo's and I tell them, Hey, it's okay. You can like the things you like, but don't be a dick about it. Um, and then we move on from there. And then Pokemon discussion. And then chat gets upset with me for, for liking cards. Do you like the older Floyd stuff? I like it a lot, actually. Come up with a brand new topic we've never discussed before. Erectile dysfunction is a problem that affects many Americans per year. That's why, Mario, you need to get Viagra. Vinny, you need bombs for the last two treasure chests. Do I really now? One of them is a hidden tingle chest. I really hope hidden tingle chests don't contain any progression items. Holy fuck, let me check the tracker. Or the, uh, the randomizer. Hmm. Alright, so it's time to leave. Vinny Limes was asking if it's alright to play Red Vox without getting a copyright strike. I don't believe anyone is getting copyright strikes anymore. Well, it wasn't strikes, they were just getting claimed. They weren't- they weren't strikes. So, I said this before on stream, but what happens is when you get a distributor to send off all your music across the internet, the default option is to have it claimed. That is like the default option, and it's hard to actually undo that. I spent months trying to get the Red Vox shit out of the copyright system. And... I did. And then someone would be like, Vinny, I- I got- this got claimed. And then I would email them and say, hey, we need to fix this. And it's like, oh, that was a single that we forgot to take out of the system. Like, hey, can you make sure everything is removed from the copyright sh uh, strike system? Again, let me clarify, I'm using the wrong words here. It's not copyright strike. It just gets claimed, which means that your video either gets muted, or this distributor gets the revenue, which I don't get most of it, and I don't need it. It's really fucking annoying. Um, because I've sent, at this point, a dozen or more emails about this exact topic. The point I'm trying to make is, I want to say yes, and I think the answer is yes, because no one's contacted me. I know people have played it on their streams. I know I've gotten most of it fixed, but... It's the eternal fucking struggle. It, it's like a Sisyphean task to get this stuff removed from copyright. So, I hope I've managed to succeed at that. Vinny, I've played it without issue. Oh, good. Alright, cool. Well, that's helpful. Um, a lizard didn't- a lizard didn't get claims. Vinny, did Picard really that bad? Let me tell you something. Picard really did that bad. I mean, no, seriously, its numbers were shockingly bad. They didn't even reveal how bad it did. But, um, I don't think a lot of people- I think it lost a lot of its- its viewers. I- yeah, I thought it was pretty bad. It had some cool stuff in it. It wasn't, like, completely terrible. Um, at all times. But, yeah. It was pretty bad. I think, um... I think some people would disagree with me, and that's fine. I've already had plenty of people talk about how much they liked it. Hey man, whatever floats your boat. You know what floats my boat right now? Tingle. Tingle is keeping this boat afloat. Alright, let's take a look at the tracker and see where we can go next. Probably not treasure charts yet. Has the map? Yes, you can see now all over here. Cyclops platform. So there's, um... With the current items I have... Choo Choo Cave. Probably want to go there, yeah. That's, that's right this way. Let's go this way, chat. Uh, it's Beetle. I gotta see what's up with Beetle. Awful. Speak to the salvage guys for gifts as well. Where's, where's those guys? Wait, who? This isn't a salvage guy. Who, what are you doing here, Moblin? Thing to the left of the nearby island. Okay. 
Oh yeah, these guys. Yeah. yeah. Hoy. Yo. Yeah. Treasure on the sea floor. Uh, you won't get any from us. Din's pearl. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty, uh... That's a pretty insane thing to randomly get. I checked it off already, Dave, so you don't have to worry about it. I guess they found it on the ocean floor in this timeline, sure. One of the most important story items in the entire game. I figured out how to check off everything, by the way. Cool. If you want to, it's easy for me, too, but if I miss something, if I'm in the middle... I'll check off some stuff when I can, but if I'm in the middle of, like, immersing myself in the game... ...then, uh, I'll let you know. It really isn't as much effort as I thought it would be. I, I was being a baby. I'll be the first to admit. Sure, there's a couple times where I don't want to click over and I just want to keep playing. But, you just click. You, you just click. Uh, you know... It's okay. I was... You know, wow! Babu. Babu frick. Master Sword. Oh! That's good. More rupees is, is always fantastic. Considering I've been getting... Dozens of rupees. Dozens of thousands of rupees. What's your favorite original series Star Trek episode? I like City on the Edge of Forever. There we go. The Corborite, Corbinite Maneuver. I always forget which one it is, but that one's pretty good, too. Favorite Soundgarden song? I think I mentioned this on stream. I, I really like uh, Burden in My Hand. So, I have four Tingle statues. Is that all Tingle statues? There's one more. Okay. How much do you want to bet that I will get the last Tingle statue? Like... Right at the end of the fucking run. Or never. Visit Great Fish Island for Deku Leaf Chest. Good to know. Well... I mean, I know where to visit. There's a lot of locations on the map I could check off now. Paw print island platform. Salvage core, so if I can do that, get rid of salvage core. Um, we need to do that, and then here... There's four items. Treasure chart. Which, you know, there could be, like, heart pieces in there. Nothing progression-worthy, but helpful nonetheless. Because of Valheim, I wanted to put my sword and shield away so I'd run faster. And then I realized, no, nope, wrong game. So wait, I got four then, yeah? That's four? Vinny, do you agree that Zelda is underrepresented in Smash? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's Link, Link, Link. Zelda, Zelda, Ganon. Now, there's, you know, it's fine. You, you have the main characters. And you have many forms of Link, which is great. They're not underrepresented, but it's like... I would like more variety. I wouldn't mind having, like, Impa. Or the King. Or, like, Skull Kid with Majora's Mask or something. Like, there's... A lot of really- I mean, look at Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors, like, obviously goes to the hilt, but there's some, like, genuinely great characters in Zelda lore that are, like, fun, that could be fun to play as. Villains, too. Um, well, I mean, Hirohim, maybe, but I think the main ones would be, like, uh, a Goron. There are many Gorons you could choose from, but, like, the ones from Breath of the Wild come to mind, of course. Then there's, um, Impa, which I think is the best choice. And Impa's kind of been there from the beginning, think about it. Wouldn't Impa be another Sheik? In Hyrule Warriors, Impa is very much her own character. Which one? I mean, uh, the Breath of the Wild one. Yeah, I guess Warriors isn't the best metric, but it's... You know. I'm just checking off some treasure chests. We got the Tingle treasure chests, the Dancing Person, Maggie the Lover, Wealth House chest. We got that. Side quests, there's a lot of side quests. 
I'm looking for an island that has the most possibility. Crescent Moon Island. Including Ghost Ship. Oh, you have to interpret the maps. I forgot about that. I mean, yeah, Tingle is the one who interprets the maps, so we have to go see Tingle to interpret the maps. There's a special beetle ship at Rockspire Island. You should go check it out. We're gonna go north first. Such a great, like, fitting piece of music. Whoa! Two pearls? In, like, ten minutes? Holy shit. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Someone said, open Poke cards now. Do you remember the viewer last night who was like, Vin, I know where I can get- where you can get Pokemon cards. They were like $16 a pack. That's not MSRP. Um, Pokemon cards are like 4 to $5 a pack. <laughs> Anything else is like scalper rates. I appreciate it. The chat member was just looking out for me. They were trying to be helpful, and I appreciate that. But yeah, they, that was, um... That was a scalper price. Gouge away! You can gouge away! If someone said I can get them for $5 Canadian. Might be cheaper US. They don't sell loose packs of Shining Fates, which are the new, uh, the new cards, the new expansion that everyone's losing their shit over with the Charizard. So you have to buy a tin or an ETB or, you know craziness. So you can't buy loose. Oh god, they're so loud! Tingle just has to keep killing. Not just for survival, but because he loves it! Hell yeah. Not progression, but god, I'm gonna need plenty of those for, the, for bosses. Ghost chip. Once you get the ghost chip, Wait, that doesn't- that's not the ghost chip. Ah, oh, fuck. That was barrel. Um, ah, oh, fuck. How do I undo... I accidentally clicked on- oh, shit. It is... Right click? I can't... Just click again? It's gone completely. Shift and right click. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you, chat member. Well, shift and right click doesn't work, but I can see it. I can pin it. But it won't let me, um, undo that I've- Oh, I, I have to- Huh? No, that's- that's not working still. You can do the ghost ship now, you have the chart. I'll just do the ghost ship then. I'll just do it next, it's fine. Um, but then we have to find the ghost ship. I don't remember how to read this chart. So it's there. I'm looking for it. It should be an island. Big blind, it was right on the map. You need the bow to fight what's on the ghost ship. It appears now. And it says on the map. Am I dumb? Oh, it's, yeah, it's right there. Okay. We can get there quickly. We have wind on our side. I'll tell you what, as much as I love default Wind Waker, it's kind of amazing to not have to, like, play the wind song and do the raid song every time someone joins your ch uh, every time you need wind. Oop. It was an instinct to play the wind song. Would you say the Wii U remake is better? In many ways, I thought it was better, yes. It, it has some quality of life stuff, and the visuals are gorgeous. Mostly. Um, I think it's great. But it's on the Wii U, so have fun with that. You know, have fun... ...finding one, uh, and then getting the game. But the truth is... ...it's good on Dolphin, too. Remaster, not a remake. Correct. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh god, I'm cursed. Fuck. Oh man. 
Vinny, you need the mirror shield. Well, why the fuck is my tracker telling me I can go to all these places? You can use that light. Still alive. Jesus, the Wizrobe doesn't like to be too close to the ground. And don't forget you have a shield. I always forget I have a goddamn shield in this game. One down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, two down. This is very sloppy. It's a trial by fire, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna have to do more intense combat later, it's probably best I did this now. Hmm. Oh, okay. What will the reward be? Well, at least it's not going to waste. I can still use it. Two letters for Tingle. Treasure chart. Nice. Wait. Command Melody is at Beetle. Beetle is selling Command Melody. Very nice. We need that. I, can I afford that? So maybe I will need some more of them rupees. Oh, is that a... That's weird. You need 500 rupees at least. Someone said 950 rupees. Yeah, I didn't know they fly now. They fly now? This thing glitched? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah! Oh. Just one. Two? Oh, good. Well, that was nice. Whoa! Progression item. Iron boot. Good reward. Wind temple is available. Lots of... lots of stuff is probably available. I guess this is Bomb Island. This is Bomb Island Platform Obliterate Enemies. Oh, fuck it, while I'm here. Get rupees for the song. Um, I'll get rupees naturally. There's probably some good rupees over there now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, I'd probably just missed some good ones. Vinny, is this on original hardware? Yeah, I just, um... I took a piss on the cartridge and Tingle appeared. It was the weirdest thing. Yep, my Wind Waker cartridge that I put in my Nintendo GameCube disc system. No, I, I'm sorry, chat member. That was just too good of an opportunity to pass up, and it was a bad joke. The truth is, I am playing this on a perfectly real GameCube console, Game Console TM. And I have purchased Wind Waker twice in my life. Once on the GameCube game system, and once on the Wii U gaming entertainment system as well. Nice. Oh man, we're getting some good luck on this stream. I'm worried the next 12 chests are all gonna be rupees. Or like joy pendants. Oh god. I'm looking around right now for more places. Horseshoe platforms. Boating course raft. Five star islands. What's the moves for your band this year? Listen, it's hard to say because things got delayed. Because of, um reasons. And also, I, you know, I need to be able to, like, take some time to write the damn songs. Uh, but we are... I think? Unless any new ones crop up, we have, so far, a 12-song album, and we are balls deep in it right now. So, that's my answer. I don't want to go above 12. I think 12 songs is a good amount of songs. And 
you know, sometimes new new ones happen while we're recording, and then that would maybe bump something off. That said, I think this year maybe a single, hopefully, bonus track. Well, we may release some stuff that's not on the album as singles. I'm not sure though. I don't know. I, well, I mean, again, I hope people like it. I like what we're doing right now. And uh, one of the reasons I like it is because I get to use all of my guitars. And we get to use different sounds for each one. Including um, a 12-string guitar. A 12-string Dan Electro. Which is my current favorite in my arsenal. It's new. And uh, I like it. So that's the first time we're using any 12-string on, on our albums. Pretty slick boat you got there, kid. You want to play a boat game? Okay. Am I t too fast for this? Vinny, you don't win a prize from this? Are you sure? Is it just rupees? Well, we needed the rupees. So then, um... Over here, it says... What? Boating course raft. What the hell is boating course raft? It's just a raft near the boating course? One of these, perhaps? Oh, I see it. I can't take out this giant octopus. There we go. Heart piece. It's fine. I mean, it's... Again, I didn't even have to do anything. I just had to, like, get here. If the amount of effort for getting a heart piece is just, like, sail over to a raft, I'm fine with it. If it is complete a dungeon, I would be pissed. Visit Great Fish Island for Deku Leaf Chest. I will. I'm gonna hit, um, the five star islands first. Fury Bowser. Yeah, every time it rains, Bowser's Fury comes to mind. Vinny, if you could collaborate with any musician, alive or dead, who would it be? Uh, did you know Paul McCartney's new album? They're doing a remix album. And, uh, Beck, Damon Albarn, I think St. Vincent, I'm not sure. Josh Homme, and a bunch of other people are gonna be doing remixes of all his songs. It's kinda cool. Who would I collaborate with? I, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm not really much of anything. I don't think I'd want to ruin someone else's day with my collaboration techniques. Um, it says here for Five Star Island, it's a raft. Oh, I'm not even in the right spot. Well, it's, it's not just that. It's also my, my skills. I can write my own songs, but I don't know if I'd collaborate with someone famous without, like, I'm not even in the right spot. Where the fuck am I? 2 I platform, free chest. Oh, okay. I like Damon Albarn quite a bit. I probably... I, I mean... He's a very good collaborator. And, uh, I'm not putting myself on the same level as any of these people, because that question is loaded. But I, I love, uh... Obviously, I'm a big Gorillaz fan. Oh, and Blur. I love Blur as well. But I'd still be really nervous, and I'd, I'd probably shit my pants, like David Lynch once said. Damon can sample the sound of it, and then he can, like, put it through some trippy-dippy synthesizers. I'm pretty sure for one of Damon's, um, solo album songs, he sampled the sound of a guitar pick stuck in his acoustic guitar, and just swished it around and used that as percussion. Favorite Blur song. The only song they have, Blur Song 2 song. Also, am I missing something? Is there supposed to be a treasure chest up here? No, my favorite, uh, my favorite Blur song is... I like, uh, God, I like too many to count, but I like Caramel. Caramel's great. Ghost Chip is great, yeah. I like Badhead on, um, Park Life. I like No Distance Left to Run. I like Beetle Bum. Just a sampling. Tracy Jacks is great. There's a Big Octo. I can't do anything about Big Octos. Octolings, maybe. Big Octos, not so much. Okay, now- well, not yet, no. To be safe, I need like 900 rupees before I go to Beetle Shop. Okay, um... Well, we got this. Outset Island, we got those. Horseshoe platforms. We can do horseshoe platforms. I'm only gonna play this another 10 minutes or so, because FTL, I don't wanna... You know, go too far into the night with FTL, but... Compass is showing east on the bottom left there, but I'm going west. Cool, Vinny can't read a compass. Um... Well, hang on a minute. This is north, then. If I do this, I'm going north. Compass works great. I- I'm a dumbass. Nope. Well, compass is working fine. Absolutely fine. 
Captain, would you be excited if they made another game like Wind Waker? I would. I mean, we already got a semi... Well, we got a sequel in some ways. I mean, Phantom Hourglass is pretty great in its own way. I guess there's no way out of this. Oh, God. Well, I wouldn't say Phantom Hourglass is a, like a sequel. I mean, it is, but... It is, but it's also... Isn't it a different Link many years later? Or is it the same Link just a few years later? Or am I getting Spirit Tracks confused? Oh, okay, it is, it's is—it's a direct sequel. I, I got Spirit Tracks confused. Never mind. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, same Link. Spirit Tracks was many, many, many years later when there became ground. Well, I haven't played Phantom Hourglass since it came out, but I do remember enjoying it, even if, you know, I wasn't crazy about some of the, like, limitations. Like, I kind of want to just sail the open sea, not draw where I have to go. But it was nowhere near as annoying as, um, Spirit Tracks was. I meant Phantom Hourglass, whatever I just said, but yeah. Right. How did I manage to do this? That's impressively, like, fucked up. Are you gonna play Skyward Sword on the Switch? Um, I, I haven't 100% decided yet. Some min chat may be like, well, yeah, you, obviously you are, you're Vinny. Uh, but I don't... I don't... yeah, maybe. I just want to see if any other changes are in the game. Like any quality of life things. More than likely, yes. But... I don't know. I guess Skyward Sword... hasn't been the most exciting prospect for me. Um, it's, it's good, but it's not my favorite. I just... Let's see if they remove some of the... insane tutorials. Don't you love the game telling you the value of rupees and treasure chests every time you reload the game? Yeah. It does so much right, and yet the things that it does wrong happen every time you play the game. And, uh... I mean, people... kind of complain about Wind Waker's, like, Great Ocean, maybe not... or Great Sea, maybe not having as much stuff as, like, I don't know, Twilight Princess's overworld. And yeah, a lot of times you're just sailing, but there's a lot of islands, there's a lot of little things, there's a lot of things that happen on the Great Sea, to keep it somewhat interesting. There could be even more. What does Skyward Sword do right? Um, great dungeons. The upgrade system is cool, like the sh for the shields. Um, good story. Weird characters, like Bruce and that bat dude. Um, the flying is pretty cool, some great music, good puzzles, um, the time shifting, I think, was great. Girahim is cool, um, say what you will about the combat, when it's good and it works, like when the combat actually fucking functions, which it, it mostly does, it can be kind of rewarding. Chet, there's apparently another treasure chest here. Press switches. It's outside. Now I'm gonna keep him. He's my new pet. Oh, there it is. But, um... Oh. The overworld being kind of empty and crusty is, is one of the main missed opportunities. Like, I get it. It's the sky. There's floating islands and everything. Yeah, I'll have to change the wind. Um, but... Skies of Arcadia... Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. So... Anyway, I really love Skies of Arcadia, and, uh... That game had a really interesting... Sky. I mean, it's in the name. And Chrono Trigger had good floating islands, too. I, I wish it was more like that, and less like what we got, which was just emptiness and clowns. And clouds. Skies of Arcadia Remaster supposedly leaked. Huh? Got a source on that, my friend? Big doubt. The Skies of Arcadia hold up. Always been curious about playing it. 
Yeah, the GameCube version's good because it lessens the enemy encounters. But it's still, like, turn-based RPG. I think it holds up. Last time I played it, it was still really fun. I love the story, the music. Um, the ship battles are phenomenal. But... I guess it depends on how much you like traditional JRPGs with, uh, good exploration. Because that's kind of what Skies of Arcadia is. Tingle Woods. <laughs> Octo chart. Okay. At some point we'll probably need that. Alright, we're gonna save here. Wind Waker stream here. Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. It's time. Uh, there are new emotes. We got Blue Ro Bloopy and we got um, Waste Rupee. Is my mic still crusting? Scum crusted? No? Okay, we're good. Call Turtle. Uh, we're t is Turtle crying? Okay, so we did this. Um, yeah, now we're just gonna continue doing stuff. Oh, uh, so we're, we'll do stuff in Wind Waker and then stuff in Cyberpunk. And then we'll get the number one victory royale. I, you know, sometimes I just think to myself, I, I really hope it, I ho really hope nothing bad happened at Tomato Town. Um, you know, and then I find out, God, Tomato Town was real tragedy. Oh, uh, I have to check my map here, hang on. So I have options of where I could go. I just clicked off of a thing by accident. Oh, fuck. How do you... It's the, the beetle... Sh I think I just clicked the beetle shop 20 rupee item. God damn it. That's how I lose things on the map. You can't right click. 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 Now you have to get the coupon. Uh, how do you get the coupon? The Beatful coupon? F11 to show all locations. Yeah, but I just want to get it back. Like, I don't want it to be gone. It's gone. Buy lots of shit and you will get the coupon. Okay. Alright, so, uh, I'll, I'll need chat to remind me. That's the one function of Emo Tracker. If you accidentally click off of a thing, it just... You know, it's just gone. Great Fish Island is a good start. Okay, so we gotta find Great Fish Island. That's Great Fish Island right there. We're gonna go right there now. There's also a platform, uh, dead ahead. Hey Vinny, I just got a record player. What vinyl should I buy? Oh, you should get, um... Vinny, can we get a more reasonable pulp? You should get pulp. That's a good band. Uh, you should get... Another Light by Red Vox. No, uh, you should probably get what music you like. Like, what bands, what artists do you like? Get Stevie Wonder. Songs in the Key of Life. I was listening to that again today. And that is a phenomenal album. Steely Dan is essential, says a chat member. I, you know, I, I, I can't agree as much because I, I don't have a yacht. I like Steely Dan. I find them to be good, but I don't, um, I don't have the required materials to love Steely Dan. I never was able to. I tried. Maybe one day. Maybe one day they'll click for me. But I just got. Uh, into The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway by Genesis. And they Genesis because I know some of the Peter, uh, Peter Gabriel Genesis. And I like it. But, man, what an awesome fucking album that is. Peter, Peter Gabriel. Beetle Gabriel, who sells you things on the sea of Wind Waker. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. Was that a progressive bomb bag? It, it was. Right? Favorite Pixies album? Uh... Probably Doolittle. I don't even have it. <laughs> like, I, I don't even have it. So I need the... regular bomb bag first. Great, okay. Now I can click off that. Why is the broadcast view not... reflecting my map... choices? What's going on here? Is this thing pulped? 
It's having some issues. I had a crash earlier, so I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, the NVIDIA uh, uh, driver has crashed again, so that's cool. Not now, like they did before I started streaming. So that's fun. Uh, let me just see if I can load this. You, you can go to sleep, Tingle. It's fine. No one wants you awake anyway. I wanted to get the, the banner at the bottom perfect, but there are baked-in um, gaps, and it's hard to get rid of them, so I gave up. Okay, let's see if, if this does it. So Beetle is still here. Yep, this is good. This works. So we're going to do progressive bomb, but that's so fucking weird. So I have the bomb bag for 60 bombs, but I can't use bombs yet. Are you into David Gilmore's solo stuff? Yes, his first album is still my favorite. And then On an Island is great as well. We'll have plenty of time to bullshit while I'm on the Great Sea. But yeah, I guess um, in terms of, of Genesis, that's a fantastic album. The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. I was just, song after song, I was like, oh, okay, no, this is a lot more listenable than I thought it was. Because I think I tried to approach it years ago, but only heard a couple songs out of order because it was harder to listen to music at a certain point. And Spotify and YouTube has made it very easy to listen to music. Whereas, like, I could only maybe get a couple songs and albums were a little harder to get. But, um, yeah, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway is a double album and it is, it's massive. And listening to it all the way through is a fucking good experience. So that is an album I'd recommend on vinyl, perhaps. Um, usually anything Jack White sounds good because they, Third Man Records does their own vinyl pressings. So I'm a fan of his stuff. Can I buy this? I don't have an empty bottle. Eh. Well, Great Fish Island, so there's the Beetle one, which we can't get. And then there's a hidden chest on the island itself. Up there. I don't know how to get up there. Uh, you need the Deku Leaf from... Yes, about that. But what, what do I do with it? Oh, you need to Deku Leaf from the island. I see. Well, that's a hell of a journey. I mean, Tingle's used to it. Balloons and all that. Vinny, we saw Todd on the boat. What do you mean you saw Todd on the boat? Like Todd Howard or Toad? By Skyrim. Huh. Todd? I can't believe he's advertising in Wind Waker now. If anyone knows how to do it, it's it's Todd Howard, I, I guess. Sprinkle water from the Great Haven. Yeah, I don't even have a bottle yet. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. And the treasure chest is... Skyrim is closer to the release of Wind Waker than we are to Skyrim. It's true. Ten-year anniversary of Skyrim coming up. And I will do a stream of it at the end of the year. Some Something Skyrim related, even if it's just like a little revisit with mods. I think it did a really good job of being a buggy mess. But also, as an open world game, it's still pretty compelling in its own way. Like, I revisited that game, as many of you are aware. And on the Switch, which was not a great version of it, it was just okay. And I kind of got pulled into it. Like, regardless of the glitches, I got pulled into it pretty hard. It's a good... It's a good game when it's good. I just the combat is kind of lazy. Oh, Triforce chart. All right, it's good. The combat, not lazy. It, they, you know... It's just kind of there. It's influence on open world games. These last ten years is hard to qualify. In some ways, still not topped. In some ways. In other ways, Skyrim has become meme like look at these NPCs with their cold dead eyes. But I think, you know, you go sneaky archer, you can enjoy a lot of the storylines in that game and really get into the world. I like the music. I like the the atmosphere of the world. I I think Skyrim is not as hype as it was and I, I'm sorry for using that word, forgive me. As it was when it first came out. Yet, I also kind of was a little hard on it for years, and now I've come around to it after my stream of it, where I remember it a little bit more fondly, and I'm like, oh man, Skyrim was, was kind of cool. 
and I still didn't even do all the quests. Like, I didn't do a number of, of side quests that are just, like, full and have tons of, like, you know, storylines and things that you can do. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that I missed in that game entirely. A lot of glitches that I never saw. So we got a Triforce chart, which is very good. All right, so we're going to click off Great Fish. What's this on? Um, Western Ferry Platform. Let's go there. Neryl did a very good video about Star Fox Zero. Not that anyone needs another video about the Wii U and Star Fox Zero, but that's exactly what the video was. And it raised some interesting arguments that I've seen presented in other ways, but Neryl makes good videos, and I thought Star Fox Zero got better the more I played it. But watching Neryl's video, I also thought to myself, man, this game really... Just from the beginning, they tried to fit all this gameplay and this whole entire concept into the box of the Wii U controller. And it's a shame. I wonder what that would have been like if, if it wasn't the case. One day, maybe we'll get another Star Fox game. I can dream. That's gonna be a game that doesn't come to the, uh... ...to the Switch, because it's so incredibly in integrated into the Wii U. Unless they, like, do an overhaul. Starlink is kind of fun, but requires those dumbass toys. No. Starlink was on sale for cheap, and you can, like, play it with the Star Fox characters, and you don't need a single toy. I played it with a zero toy. Um, so there's supposedly an item... It's the... There's a platform. Chet, do you see a platform? Oh, there it is, there it is. The digital version comes with all the ships anyway. That's the one I had. And I just used the R-Wing mostly. But... It was okay. Again, I got like a good 10 hours out of that game. And it had the same Ubisoft... Glitz. And schmaltz and, you know, the open world stuff and the repetition. It was okay. The writing? Uh. So, also, Red Letter Media did a video about... Star Trek The Next Generation... <laughs> again! That's what, the fifth video? Hey, it makes them happy. I'm happy they're, they're talking about it. That makes me happy, too. But they did a season one episode. Hour and 20 minutes. That's a lot of edited discussion about season one. Treasure chart, okay, no problem. Well, while we're sailing, I'd like to, someone in chat said, what did you think of season one? I have only watched season one, one time. I've seen a couple of the episodes, like twice. I have avoided season one of TNG because it, it's pretty rough. The episodes they like, I don't even remember, except the Binar episode, which is actually kind of cool. I like that one. I, I like, um, the conspiracy episode because of how campy it is. They didn't like it, but I like it. I like that the dude's head explodes. But mostly, yeah, I think season one is, is kind of a miss overall, and... It just looks cheap, and, and I'm not a fan. But, I usually, when I go back and rewatch, I start at season two, and watch most of season two. So, uh... Someone said, I just started watching TNG for the first time and thought, why does Vinny love this show? Yeah, you should watch that review because they're like... Rich Evans is like, I don't want to recommend Star Trek to people because if they start at season one, as you would normally do, you might hate it. Just start at season three. May as well. So there's um, a fairy girl here, it says. It says, creepy little fairy... Creepy little girl fairy. What is this? What does that mean? She's in... where? You need the pearls? I have two of them. Replaced with the chest. Oh... I understand. Well, I checked that off. She's dead, Luigi. There's no bringing her back now! Oh! Oh! Uh. Oh! Uh. Did I do barrel shooting? No, right? Did you set progression items to minigames? If not, skip the games. Oh, uh, default. Whatever the default is. You said you didn't. You said in the first stream you didn't. I mean... There could be... You know, chat, there could be a heart.
All right, good. I had to get that on screen for at least five seconds. I, I was told to do that. Blink twice if Todd is holding you hostage. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, chat, I, I have um, some exciting news. I have more scummy cards. Not Pokemon cards. Scummy cards. Weird ones. There's a card vending machine in a supermarket near me. I'm not kidding. And I spent like six bucks and got more scummy card packs. Including Alien 3. And I have a couple chat members sending me some, including many packs of the 1989 Nintendo cards. With tips, tricks, and scratch-off puzzles. And stuff like that. So there will be another card opening, and I believe Jackal is sending me some scummy cards as well. So... I don't care what cards it is, I just need my fix. My card fix. You got it, shrimp. He doesn't go sploosh. All angles end in a five or a zero. That's helpful. Just barely see it. The rain is not helping. Now, is that 50 degrees, chat? Or is that more or less? Chat said 45. I was thinking it was 50. Oh, it got it. Too bad. Yo, fuck you! No, I got it! It blew up! It blew up after! What?! Scammed. It blows up when the minigame is over, says chat member. Oh. Never mind. So, it was 50 degrees. That's 45 degrees. Ha! Ha! Sploosh! Okay, just got a yellow rupee worth 10 rupees for spending a hundred rupees. We have an emote for that now. Come back when you're a little richer. There should be another um, prize for this. Little mmm. Yeah, the, the five zero trick is absolutely incredible. I had no idea about this. Or maybe I did at some point, but God, it's so good. I could accidentally kill that fish. I want to be careful. So I should be able to get one. Oh man, what a... What a mess. Joy! There's a platform at Star Island. Uh, it's not on Star Island, apparently. It's this platform. Jesus. Oh man, and the boat is so fucking fast. Look how far it goes. Look how... Uh, look how... Voice it cracks. You can give the... Joy pendants to the teacher for items. How many? You need the spoils bag first. Uh, yeah, Tingle is basically storing these things in his dingle. Until I get the... the bag. Oh, eat dick. What about the statues? Well, I have four, I need five. We just need, like, a pear emote, a joy pendant emote. You know, we just need all of the emote, uh, possible. You should check the beetle shop one square north of Greatfish. It doesn't say there's a beetle shop there. On the map. Star Island has a cave. It doesn't have a, um... The map is not showing. Maybe I can't get in there yet? Chat member, why are you asking me about existential dread? I'm trying to have the fun, funny, haha's video game. It's blocked by rocks that you can lift. Wait, really? The answer to how I fight existential dread is to, um, play baby games from my childhood. Existential bread? I don't buy it. I just don't believe it exists. I mean, however, sometimes I just take a tums, and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one now because I'll be honest, I had a microwavable dinner tonight of Swedish meatball and it was not good. It tasted fine. I was just in a rush. I had a studio day, day today and I was just like busy as fuck and I just, you know what? I was like, I don't really have time 
So here's this thing I bought. Let me put this in the microwave. Mistake. Wow. Decimated. Do you like microwave lasagna? I mean... I, no. I usually try not to eat too much microwavable shit, but... It's good in a pinch, and, like, Trader Joe's and Costco has decent stuff. But my, um, you know, the problem is, I just, I feel it. Like, I could just feel it right now. Stouffer's mac and cheese is really good with fried chicken. Oh yeah, no, I've had good microwavable mac and cheese. That stuff is usually fine, like, again, Trader Joe's. Like, I'm not trying to chill for them because I've had some bad stuff from them too, but their microwavable section, surprisingly good. They have pepperoni pizza. Um, mac and cheese. Again, not good for you. <laughs> Very much no. But tasty, and it works in a pinch. Have you seen How To With John Wilson? I have, yeah. I, I raved about it uh, on stream not that long ago. It's, it's amazing. So what do I do now, chat? The Moblin fell through the floor. Cyberpunk moment, says the chat. <laughs> That Moblin joined, or Bokoblin, or whatever these are, uh, joined the Shrimp Lady. Under the world. Don't fall through the floor this time. Also, what is on Tingle's back? It's like a snake. Why, do, why does Tingle wear a snake on his uniform? Boblins? I believe it's pronounced Bokoblin, but I'll, I'll accept Boblin. Jeopardy would, too. These are the Moblins of the game. Okay, weirdly enough, this isn't even listed on my map, so I don't know what to expect from this one. So, that counts as, um, so here's what I have. Combat secret caves. I have, um, expensive purchases now. Big octos and gunboats. Uh, sub... Submarines. Didn't I do the submarine? How many submarines are there? There's like five? Oh. Should have clicked all this before. I had to like, set the parameters. Okay. Horseshoe Island, three Mothulas play golf. We did play golf. Three Mothulas? No. Well, at this point, the map is so open, I'll take suggestions if anyone has any. Go to Penn Island, lose the shorts. Okay, thank you, chat members. That's very helpful. The Forsaken Fortress. Can I even do that? There are plenty of treasure chests there. It's orange, though. You need bombs and skull hammer. Forest Haven we can do, yeah. Do that. Northern Fairy Submarine Treasure Chest. Northern Fairy Island Great Fairy. Well, we're going west. We're going out west where the wind blows high! Oh, sorry, tall. I just had like, um... That indigestion just hit me on that one word. Who used to date his ma in that... In that uh, song? Tommy Faciosi? Tony Faciosi? He goes, Tony Faciosi used to date my ma! Tommy Capusi. Alright, thanks. It's a song from Tom Waits called Going Out West. Check it out yourself, chat. It's a good song. These long weapons are very, like, environment dependent. Then he doesn't know what a spear is. Why? <laughs> These long, pointy weapons, the pointed sticks. Well, remember, for years, I thought the word halb halberd was halberd. My mind saw the wrong letters. Has that happened to anyone else? Oh, fuck. Not for that specific word, but do you ever, like, you know, see a word, but it, it wasn't the word you thought it was? That's called dyslexia. Well, yeah. But for those that don't specifically have that, I'm wondering, have you ever, like, gone through your whole life? Like, my friend thought Todd McFarlane was McFinley. Now, I know that's, that's also when we were in, like, eighth grade. So, clearly, he just gave up on reading that word. Like, he... 
didn't even care. Um, and for years I was like, you know, that's not his name. He goes, no, I, I know. I just like calling him Mick Finley. It's not the Mandela effect. It's just that you specifically as a person read a word wrong the first couple times. And then you just said like halberd your whole life. It's a dumb bit. I'm just curious if it happened to anyone else. That's all. So what are those words? Everyone said, well, many people are saying yes, but they're not telling me the words. Rayquaza. Ominous. Geometry. Mandatory or mandatory. Albuquerque. Magenta versus... What was the other one? Magenta versus Magneta. What, like Magneto? Turret? Oh, I've heard a lot of people call it Turret. Data versus data? Well, that's different. <laughs> I need a good item. Bestow me. Weird banana fairy. <laughs> Another sweaty, disgusting Tingle statue. Well, that's five, so now we can go to Tingle Island and get the reward. So we have to collect t uh, five separate things to get this one reward. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Do you say Lieutenant or Lieutenant? Uh, Lieutenant is how I grew up hearing it. Like, I think it's more of an American thing, and I think maybe more British is Lieutenant. Yeah, Lieutenant is a real pronunciation of that word. It's like colonial and colonel. That's a regional thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what region. Maybe Albany? I mean, you can't really miss Tingle Island. It is the dong that penetrates the sky. Until the Tower of the Gods appears. Yeah, and then you find out Tingle's not the one with the... girthiest tower. Well, I guess this is Pen- Pen Island? Here's the smelly statues. Salty, smelly, gross fucking statues. Tingle, meet Tingle. Yet again. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? That fragrant, musty scent, sir. You have found a chart. Splendid. Show me, show me. Would you like me to decipher it for you? Oh, you fuck. I mean, it's a Triforce chart. It needed to get done sooner or later. So where's my reward? Thank you for the gift. I know Tingle statues are quite hard to come by. It's not much, but please take this. Scam. Fucking scam. Oh, wait a minute. Not a scam. Not a scam at all. Hookshot. Wow. No, 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 no. You had to be a hook shot, baby. Best tingle is this tingle. Decipher the other chart. I don't really need to right now, though, because I'm going to get more Triforce charts. And I still have to do the um, auction, or not auction, there's another thing I have to buy. But you know what? No, I will. I will, because rupees eventually max out, and I don't want to max out on rupees. I don't want to have to come back when I'm a little... Mm. So there's uncle. There's ankle. There's pinkle. Tingle. Stinkle. And then there's David Jr. Beatles Special Shop. Now, I can't afford Beatles Special sh uh, Shop, so we're not going there. No, 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 no. That would be a big shot. Should we do the, um... Forest Haven? Let's do it. Island in the top right corner. That's the combat trial. Seven star platforms is kill whiz robes, kill ranged whiz robes. Ro robus. Uh, can I do that? Get bow first. Well, it's green. You need boomerang for forbidden forest. Well, you heard the chat member. So we're not ready for, um, the dungeon yet. Unless boomerang spawns in the forest. That is... 
possible, but I don't know if I want to take that risk. Outset Island. Underling's house. This is house. Great Fairy. For the, we, uh, can we do Great Fairy now? Yeah, we can. And then we can go to, um... Did you get the Deku Tree item? No. Let's do that now while we're here. Are you excited? Are you excited for spring? I'm excited. I, uh... Yeah, I, I instantly get a mood boost when the weather's nicer. I just miss, like, um... Going for walks and stuff. And also, the, uh... The fucking daylight savings... Giving us more daylight... Has been... Actually... It's always good, but... It's especially good now. I mean, big time... Wants us to change our clocks and all that, but... It's just nice to have an extra hour of daylight. Someone said, I don't like it, I hate it. A lot of people. Not surprised. You do you, chat. Someone said, I hate losing an hour of sleep. But do you, though? Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how you sleep, right? Because I, you know, just go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time, but now I have an extra hour of daylight. Yeah, but aren't your things moved an hour later, chat? Like, when I worked at, like, various jobs, including a bank, when daylight savings happened, I'd still have to go in at 9. And 9 was, like, the same time. Are we... What are we talking about here, chat? Are we, are we like... 9 was literally moved an hour. Right, but then you set your clock so that 9 is the same 9. Like, I'd still go in 9 the week before Daylight Savings, and then 9 the week after Daylight Savings. It would still be 9 a.m. Your version of Windows 10 will soon reach the end of service. Restart to install a newer version. That's not how it works. Okay, so I guess my, my schedule when I worked at those jobs then just switched to 10. And, and I'm not- I'm, <laughs> like, did that not happen? Then you're going in earlier, though. Yes. But you get an extra hour of daylight. Before the sun goes down. They still called it 9. Like, they didn't just suddenly move it up. But it was 8. New bit, please. I- I just don't understand how many people are confused about this concept. Vinny's doing this on purpose. Yeah, I am, because this is what happened in my life. This is a real non-bit thing that happened in my life. So, if chat wants to implode, they can. <laughs> uh, so, what, what do I have to do to get the item? When you say that you went to work at the same time, do you mean the same number? Yes, the same number. At 2 a.m. on Daylight Savings, your clock jumps forward to 3 a.m., so you sleep one less hour. I'm talking about, like, for the next six months. I'm not talking about the one day. Oh, whatever. I, I, you, you know what, chat? We need to find some kind of... Vinny, but you were. I said daylight savings. You were talking about the one day. I wasn't. I... You think... You think I was talking about just one day of work? I was saying... I was... I... Now I'm confused. Now you confused me, chat. Listen, I need to... Let me say this. Right? Because chat is mental right now. So let me just get this out, and then we can move on. Okay, the one day you lose an hour of sleep. I... that's true. Okay. Fair. I ended up ending my stream really late that day. I'm saying I like that there's extra daylight now that the daylight savings day has come upon us. And that when I leave the studio sometimes, or like when I'm like doing stuff at 7 p.m., there's still daylight. I like that because I like daylight. It makes me feel good. That said, I'm not really a big fan of the, the whole switching clocks at all. But it's just annoying. I wish they would keep it consistent. Um, but big time, you know how it is. Vinny, it's called a time-honored tradition. You are correct. So, um, alright, now that chat is a little bit more... You want to climb the Deku Babas. So I can't get, uh, the Shreku tree won't give me an item unless I climb. Okay, now when I climb, is this Daylight Savings climb or no? That wasn't funny, don't laugh. Are you supposed to be able to do that, this without the leaf? Huh. The leaf will be a good backup. 
Right, this is how you get the leaf. I understand. Okay, it's been a while. It's a <laughs> silver rupee. <laughs> Fuck you. <sighs> I mean, I still need rupees, so... Might as well go to the forest now. Yeah, you're probably right. There's a free chest in the dungeon. Yeah, I'm gonna need the boomerang, but maybe the boomerang is in the forest. Vinny, that's not the way to the dungeon. Is that the way to a free treasure chest, though? Oh, that's... I know what that is. That's trophies. Or Pictobox stuff, yeah. You can kill the flower locks in the forest dungeon with the hookshot. Okay. My favorite thing about this game is if you go to how long to beat and you look at the completion times, the average completion is totally, like, modest. But because of that pictograph quest or pictobox quest, the completionist time is like 150 hours. Hang on, Wind Waker, how long to beat? Usually, like, when you go to how long to beat, it's like, oh, there's a couple hour difference. Okay, yeah, completion is so, um, main story, average, 28 hours, median, about 30 hours, completionists, about 60 to 82 hours. So I was a little bit, I overestimated a bit, but it's just kind of crazy how much time, I mean, it's not just because of that, but it's, a lot of it is that. It's a very long quest, very involved. Someone said that's not 100. I know, I corrected myself, chat member. I'm gonna run out of magic, aren't I? <sighs> Who am I kidding? Stores never run out of magic, only Pokemon cards. That's your cue, chat. Now you say addict, and we all have a good jape. We have a good laugh. Alright, let's see how much I can do. Oh, there's one free treasure chest. Okay. Wow, that actually does work. Oh, no, Tingle! That's alright, he, he likes it. Man, sequence breaking this dungeon is fantastic. It's a fill-up coupon. It will fill every item you have to the max. Give it to Beetle. But remember, it doesn't cover all of his products. The hell? Is that even... listed? Like, I don't even see it on the... tracker. Get bombs with it? I can't... I, I can't use bombs until I get the bomb bag. In the original game, you only get that for buying 50 items from Beetle. Could be the boomerang. Could be the fucking master sword. Okay, it's a key. Oh! No. Oh, this one. Puzzles. Puzzles. Do we need them? What are they good for? You could just shoot behind you. Oh, right, right. These enemies become quite a bit easier with the hook shot. Whoop! Oh, okay. I mean, we might be able to... We can probably beat the boss, but not get... Well, no, I need the boomerang. Can the hookshot do that? I don't think the hookshot can do what you need to do to defeat this boss. Almost positive you can't. Yeah, multi- you need multi-track drifting. Oh, this is just big nut. <laughs> uh, big nut. I've entered the research facility. Very good, Snake. Very good. Big nut. I've entered the tree. I'll be hoarding my food for winter soon. Oh! Well, again, at least that's happening. That's that's making this dungeon a fair bit easier. God damn! The fucking move. The sound effect it makes is so satisfying. It's better than rupees. Yeah, there's the boss. Why not try it? I'm pretty sure it's it's a confirmed cannot happen. Chat is saying it's a soft lock. You could use hot spring water too. Well, I don't have a bottle. I have the hook shot. 
Still need the boomerang to open the boss up. Next time you get... Need to get to the dungeon, you could skip the Great Deku Chi by, by using the Air Gust. The Deku Chi Burger. But yeah, good to know. Um... Is that it then? Is that the amount of progress I can make? Oh wait. No? I can make a little bit more progress. There are six treasure chests left. Hopefully I can get most of them without the boomerang. What if the treasure chest that has the boomerang normally has the boomerang in this? It, it would be just like Tingle starting on Tingle Island. I've been watching this, um, like... I like to have a variety of YouTube videos for when I do random stuff or take a nap. Or sometimes just to listen to. And, uh, there's this dude who wears a bow tie and covers everything James Bond. Like, he's... Probably younger than me. I don't know the name of the channel, but like he reviews the movies, the games. Uh, Calvin, is that him? Yeah, Calvin Dyson. <laughs> He's pretty good. He recently reviewed the uh, World Is Not Enough video game. Nice. If it isn't here, you need to save and quit. Oh, right, right, right. No, but I got the bow. Not gonna complain about that. If only I had that gyro aiming. God. It's the other item I could have gotten that wouldn't have soft locked me. I've managed to avoid. A soft lock. Try cutting the vines with the arrows. Can you do that? Why do people think controller aiming is hard? Says a chat member. It depends on the game. Like, the, the movement required here is... Like, very minimal amounts of pressure. You have to kind of get used to it. It takes some time. But it is doable. Because it's not precise and you need to snap to target to compensate. I mean, gyro aiming is a godsend, because you could do big adjustments with the stick and then little ones with the gyro, and it, it really improved the fuck out of every 3D Zelda remake they did. But there were times in my life where I was decent, you know, aiming with the stick. Vinny, chest at the top of this room. Gyro in Monster Hunter Rise has been a godsend, been playing so much heavy bowgun and it's a blast. Very excited for Monster Hunter Rise. What am I doing wrong here? Grapple again. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I didn't see that. Is this your favorite Zelda game? No, it's not. Treasure chart. It's up there, but it's not my favorite. Link to the Past is still my favorite. I, I kinda... A lot of that has to do with nostalgia. I'll be the first to admit. Yet, I still feel like it's... one of the most accessible... and fun... Zelda games to play. Regardless of whether or not... It is the most, um, most good. Like, the formula has definitely done interesting things since then, but Link to the Past is still my favorite. I can't really describe why. It's, it's very difficult, as you can tell. Well, it's not just nostalgia. No, I mean, aside from the nostalgia, it's also a great game. And I couldn't articulate particularly well why I think it's such a great game in the face of other games like Wind Waker. And, I mean, you know, you can almost divide the Zelda games into subcategories, 3D and 2D. I think Link Between Worlds is great too, but just Link to the Past feels much more... I just, I like the, the way it plays, I like all the, the dungeons, I like the music. I think it's a phenomenal game to this very day. Favorite 3D Zelda game. Pretty sure I put Ocarina and Majora, like, tied with each other. Like, I, I made a top 100 games list. I mean, we've- we've done this so many times, I've talked about it a lot on stream, but the truth is, it's kind of hard to pick because every day, every week, every year, the list changes. It's fun to do the list, but in terms of 3D Zelda, I kind of like Majora maybe the best. Maybe that inches out Ocarina by like a tiny bit. I don't know, I just love it. I love how weird it is, I like how dark it is, I like the- the mask system, I like the interpersonal storyline. 
with all the characters that you get to learn about in their final moments. There's just something about Majora. It has some flaws, but I'm willing to overlook them because the game is so cool. It's one of those games that, as a kid, it stuck with me long after I stopped playing it. And Ocarina has a lot of subtle... despair. There's a lot of subtext in Ocarina that I didn't notice when I was younger. But Majora really just has this... I don't know, this haunting feeling to it. I love it. Subtle is a Pokémon, right? Whoa! Whoa, the Master Sword! Fucking good. Nice. It was just in a random treasure chest in the fucking forbidden jungle of, of the forest. Or whatever this place is called again. The arrow, bow and arrow was in here, the fucking master sword. What a fantastic feast of randomization. Kinda like Breath of the Wild. I mean, you could almost tie this into lore. Like maybe this was the Lost Woods at one point. But yeah, Tingle has the actual master sword. trash. You know what that was? That was me getting another Dreadnought card. That was- uh, that was a coughing. Fifth Cramorant. So does anyone here work at Target? <laughs> I've ceased. I've ceased. I'm all about scummy cards now. I don't- I- I just want the worst possible scummiest oldest cards I can find. Someone said I work at Tops. If you work at Tops, can you let me know if you have scummy cards, like anything in the warehouse, like if, if this is real and not japes, do you have like anything from like the 90s, 80s, just like weird fucking card packs that I can purchase? Vinny, chest in pit. Not in this room, right? Previous room. Well, I enjoyed opening them on stream and chat seemed to enjoy me opening scummy card packs. Boomerang. No. Um, okay, it's the compass. I suppose we should have expected that. It's just like one more room. Were there any side effects of eating that 30-year-old gum? I, I didn't have enough of it to find out. Is Boomerang the only way to do this, for real? You need to do it quickly. It's possible without. I don't have the super spin. You can do it with the bow? It, the bow wasn't working, mate. Possible, but hard. I only have like... 10 arrows left here, anyway. Start with the spin attack. Yeah, at this I don't think the spin attack. Well, let's see. Thought maybe I could get two with the spin attack, but it's not working that way. Someone says to do tilt the stick to do a swipe instead of a stab. Then that happens. All right, it was worth the shot. Um, can I just save and quit to go back to the entrance? Still really good dungeon. Okay, so there's a lot more we can do now. Just need to find out where. Can go to Dragon Roost and shoot the bomb flower chest on the wall. Did you know that the actor of Tingle also voices Ganondorf in Smash, Brawl to Ultimate, and in Twilight Princess? Tingle is Ganon? Talented, uh, voice actor. Cronando himself? Chat, can you get soft locked by these randomizers? I'm stuck. It depends, but I think they try to prevent that from happening. The logic within most of the randomizers I've played was in place to prevent too many soft locks, if any. I mean, uh, Link to the Past. Some of it may be difficult, and some of it may require a scummy trick or two, but I've never been totally locked out, I don't think. People are saying that they've been soft locked on some occasions. Symphony of the Night randomizer? Uh, maybe. One second, chat. No, no, no. Chat is not getting mass banned. You're good. Do you want to buy some Skyrim? Alright, um... Get 500 rupees, go back to Rockspire shop for progression item. Okay, I'll just get 500 rupees. <laughs> Vinny, you were right about daylight savings. Please don't ban. Okay. Cyclos. I'm just looking around. Uh, Great Fish Island has... There's an island east of Forest Haven with mini dungeon you can do. Let's see. Cliff Plateau Islands. And Cliff Plateau Platform. Yep, we can do that. Can't you kill squids now? I think I can, but I only have ten arrows. Nine arrows. You need the boomerang or bombs for big squid. 
Whoa! Aw, oh, Tingle, you dingle. Does any random question, have you ever been on a cruise? That is a very random question. Uh, no? Nope. Oh. There's, uh, that dude who does Ordinary Things videos talked about the cruise industry. And then I watched that video of the cruise ship that crashed. And I gotta be honest, I think I'm good on cruises. I think... I think I'll hold off on a cruise for a couple decades of my life. Yeah, the Concordia. But no, even regardless of the specifics of the Concordia, it's just never been an appealing thing for me. Like, I get antsy. I don't think I could spend an entire week on a boat. Maybe. I mean, it's like a hotel, I suppose, but... Oh, thank you. Um... But it's, it's just never been... I never thought to myself, boy, a cruise would be fantastic. I think I'd rather go to a place than go on a cruise. It's a hotel, but you can't leave. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, please. There is a Star Trek cruise, though. I'm not kidding. They do, like, a boat. Um... And you can, like, hang out and do karaoke with the actors. That is a real thing. Sounds cring. Um, I think it is a little bit. Yeah, I... Like, it might be. But they do, like, uh, panels and, you know, William Shatner does stand up. <laughs> or sit down, as it may be. So, I don't think it's almost time to restart. Fuck you, Windows. Can, can you... St Treasure chart 20. So that's that. And then there's also this one. Oh my god! That's a really good find. Stream luck. Fire and ice islands. Yeah, we can do a lot of stuff. Oh, right. What am I doing? Why have I done this? I was like, oh, another hole. Clearly it's a different one. There's one more thing here. There's a platform. Vinny, you could have just stepped back into the light. Really? Could I have? Could I have? Oh. I have to leave the platform for it to show up. Oh, okay. No wonder. Well, this is another thing I can do. I can fight whiz robes a little bit more accurately. I need more arrows, but... Another Triforce chart. Vinny, remember to open the charts. Well, these are the ones that we have identified. Uh, anything else I think Tingle needs to, you know, take care of. I, I, I being Tingle, am not the right Tingle. Before you open the chart, get the Rock Spire item for 15 rupees left. Well, where's, um, where's Rock Spire? Okay, it's there, so I'm gonna go to Great Fish. Still no delivery bag, no. Watch Zelda give you the delivery bag instead of the light arrows. Yeah, probably. The most mundane item possible. Uh, well, there's some rupees here. Map says there's a chest here in Fish Island. Yeah, let's see. It's the shop. Well, I got the treasure chest here already. Don't be lazy. Change the wind. That's my advice for you, chat. When's the Wind Waker update for Valheim? That's what I want to know. There's got to be like 15, three more rupees between here and Rockspire Island, right? Got it. I'll take it. Will there be an Animal Crossing update for the 20th anniversary? I don't know if there will be an update, but there will be a stream. Oh, the 20th anniversary of Animal Crossing. I thought you meant on the 20th of March, which is the one year release anniversary of New Horizons, which I will stream. Command Melody. That's his last Command Melody. Magic Armor. Well, I don't need this. Treasure chart 31, definitely don't need that. However, magic armor? That could be cool. Magic armor sucks. Oh yeah, it does suck in this game, doesn't it? That might be one of those things that I get much, much later on. Just before I attack Ganon. Just as like a health buffer. It's only good in the Wii U remake, gotcha. You can fight the tornado frog now with arrows. Well, I'm actually gonna take a quick break. Um, this is like the two-hour mark, which is usually the amount I go for. Um, resume this in a couple days. I just wanted to come up here and get some he um, health. Some hearts. And, incidentally, another treasure chest. Which one is this? This is, um, destroy both cannon sets for more treasure chests. So I'm not gonna click this off yet. But, here we go, last treasure chest. What will it be? 
it's another hundred rupees. I, all right. I can't complain about that. You actually need the rupees in this game. Well, thanks for watching. This was a very eventful stream. We got the Master Sword. We got a bow and arrow with ice and fire. We got, um, Command Melody, I guess? Some Triforce stuff. Lots of good stuff. Still need bombs. Still missing some very simple, basic things. I did get the hook shot, though. But the whole world is open to us, so there's, there's so many opportunities to find more items and progression stuff. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna take a break. Uh, bingo with Cyberpunk up next. So thank you for watching. Even in randomized mode, this game is just a joy to revisit. <sighs> crust or no crust? W what would you like at um, pizza sauce? Minimal crust, it should go away. Um, it should, it should be, yeah, it's gone. Well, um, so, I restarted my computer, and my audio worked, and then my mouse froze, and my computer froze. So, Windows Update can suck diseased, fucking petulant. Anyway, welcome to the stream, everybody. Windows Update is very bad. It ruined a number of prob uh, things, and it has caused new problems. I have um, currently... So my audio, my sample rates were mismatched, and I fixed them. And then the second problem is now my computer is freezing. This, this was a big update. It wouldn't let me even up, like, not update. It fucked someone else's audio stuff, too. If anyone knows how to help me with this, or what the problem could be, please let me know. Because, I, you know, it seems like now it's a crapshoot for whether or not I get crust. Whereas for a while it was fine. The answer to this is always just do a clean install. Uh, all my, all of my BIOS, my uh, music stuff would all be gone. And I'd have to reinstall all that. And get a, a bunch of, you know, keys that I had previously. It would be a fucking nightmare. It takes me months to get back up to speed after a wipe. And I'm still going to have to deal with this shitty update. You can move all that to an SSD. Oh, I tried to. Plug-in licenses are a nightmare. Completely different thing entirely. Plug-in uh, for audio, I had everything moved. I thought I did everything right and things still didn't work. So anyway, welcome to my stream. I hope it works. Um, we're going to do Wind Waker. On top of that, I was late today because I had fucking car problems in Brooklyn. And then there was traffic. There's only one lane open on the Verrazano Bridge. I went to go get fucking corned beef and cabbage for St. Patty's Day. That turned into a nightmare. And earlier today, I felt like complete shit again. Like, just physically, my body, I was feeling a little bit better. And then it was just like, uh, and then I took a long nap. And then I woke up. And then I ate, and then uh, and then problems, and here I am. So, so that was my day. How was yours? <laughs> we need um, the boomerang, windfall island, mini games, tingle the prisoner, taught the dancing man. We we did all of that, I think. Sinking ships, kaboom, new record. I think we did that. Sploosh kaboom. There's still some side quests on windfall. There's some auction stuff. The pirate ship, we got some of that. Paw print island, Wizrobe cave. That's our next location for now. But yeah, what a- what an absolute nightmare of a day. I feel better physically, at least. Thanks, Dave, for the raid. But man, Windows update... ...and like, again... ...I think my brake fluid is fucked and leaking. And then, um, again, they closed the fucking bridge. So, yeah, tomorrow I have to get my car fixed now, and it's just... ...it was a lot all at once. I- I am hope that... You know, next St. Patty's Day a year from now won't be so absolute shite. I'm fine with the car problems, because that I can... That's not as much of an issue. The computer problems I'm really worried about. Someone said virus, sweat frog, in chat. You know what? Windows update is a virus. Seriously, that should be the next Windows destruction stream from Joel. Just install the new update. So there's, um... The whiz robes down here, I think. Or, where are these, uh... These lads. Actually, what are you- what are you lads doing here? Didn't I- we did this already, right? You can do the lighthouse at Windfall. Well, we need a boomerang to do the second, uh, dungeon. 
mirror shield too for the lighthouse? Is it? Didn't I go in here at one point? Is there another challenge? Oh, okay, I can hook shot over. Do you think your VR settings are fucked now too? I don't think the bleeps are gonna come back because I have that saved. Uh, other VR settings could be pulped, yes. I would not be surprised in the slightest. You can hook shot from the boat. Oh, right, right, right. Do you think your computer is jealous of your cardboard addiction and is trying to become cardboard? Maybe. You know what, though? I went to my P.O. box and I have now in my possession like 10 packs of Deep Space Nine cards and I have Mario cards on the way and more trash cards. Like, people aren't sending me Pokemon cards, which is fine. I'm more than okay with that, but I don't want them. I felt bad someone got scalped prices and I, I was like, I can't, I can't do this. But anyway, the point is, I'm taking old, crusty cards. Like, I'm taking the weirdest fucking cards you may have. Those, no problem. Like, stuff that maybe didn't cost people money, like, that I can open during a stream. Where do you keep all these cards? I have a, a card, um, like a plastic card case. Do you do sports trading cards? No, I don't know anything about sports. I'm sorry. I have three shoe boxes or more filled with, uh, didn't I do this, chat? No, did I? Filled with baseball cards, but I, I don't know them. I don't know who, whom they are. Like, I collected sports cards when I was younger just because it was the cool thing to do and everyone did it. And I watched only a little bit of sport. But yeah, I didn't even want to do two games tonight because I started so late. I figured more Wind Waker stream is fine. Earlier today, I wasn't sure I was going to stream. I felt better, but then I felt not better. And, and like now I feel like fine. I think my spite and anger are fueling me and I feel like totally healthy now. Just traffic and, um, and car issues are the are the worst. And I'm like, you know, and I had like food. I'm like, I'm, I want my fucking corned beef and cat. And then I got home, I'm like, I'm not even hungry. But I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. So this cave is a nightmare. This is a nightmare cave. I got this chat. I just need to concentrate and, and not let my, um, not let all these fucking scrub enemies distract me. Oh! Oh man, is it over? The reward better be great. I can't get it. Well, I can get a Master Sword upgrade, possibly, but it better be really good. It's, um, a piece of heart. Well, it was my fourth one, so now I have more HP. So that's fine, I suppose. Um, any chest could be light arrows. Yeah, that's true. Chad, it could have been rupees. It could have been rupees. Seven star platform is Wizrobe. So, uh, do we do- do you want to kill some more Wizrobes, chat? Many Wizrobes must be- harmed in the production of this stream. Ah! Sorry, that's the noise they make. I mean, that's a little subjective, but probably should refill magic for ice arrows. I, I'm... Any whiz robes died to bring us these plants. I don't know why Obi-Wan said that, because he didn't say that. I like when in Star Wars they call him Obi-Wan. <laughs> so there's Han, Han, Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan. There's um, Lando, Londo. There's Gunga. Sorry, Gungas, Gungans. Okay, there's... So here we go. Three treasure chests, chat. Three chances to get Charizard. Here we go. It's Beetle's chart. It's platform chart. Wow. Welcome to Chart Emporium. Chartizard? Okay, chat. Alright. That's a plus two for you, chat. No dessert for a week. Ah. Alright, yeah. Oh, it's the asylum was the kind of shit. Yeah, it's alright. I, oh, I hate them. Ah. Yeah, soon we can take out some Octos as well. You can do Cyclos now that you have Bow. Uh, Crescent Moon Submarine. Did I do that one? The top one? The one directly west of here? No. Still no luck on the spoils bag? No, no luck. Cyclos still gives you something. How do you do the Cyclo thing again? Find him and shoot. Is it? Oh, it's the one frog. Right, right, right. One frog. Go into big tornado. Well, we haven't found him yet, but we will. Are we sure I haven't done this? Or is this just... Do they have multiple submarines very similar to this? The, hi, Denny. Oh, hi, Denny. Oh, hi, Denny. 
ladder isn't down, so no, you haven't done this. Oh, that would make sense, yes. I remember being kind of confused as to why the game was freezing every time I hit an enemy. And then I realized they were just doing that for impact. Because it wasn't like that in Ocarina and, and Majora, but a lot of games do this. A lot of Nintendo games do this too, but where they just like freeze it for a couple frames. I thought my GameCube, I, like I used it to store um, items. I think one of the Denes is broken. I think two of the Denes are broken. Nice. Well done. Went the wrong way. Oh, I have to do this again now? Yo! Isn't there a Pokemon named what these guys are saying? Okay, this time... We climb the right ladder. If only you had the hyper spin dash. Isn't that an item? Oh god, I did this already. Oh, fuck! No, Boot, you did not do this. I know. <laughs> I know, I see you did do this. It's okay, Boot. It's alright, chat. I Listen, you, you should not be the ones that have to remember all this shit. I should be the one. You can go to the sword master and get an item. Did you use the bow for the... Ah! Bow for outdoor dragon roost chest. Shoot bombs. Oh. So anyway, the lamb lies down on Broadway. I, I I listened to I finally listened to the whole thing, and uh, it's a Genesis album, and I listened to it again today while I was driving. I really love that album. I really love that album. Thank you, chat member who recommended it. I don't know why I didn't listen to it sooner, and I'm not usually into like overly proggy stuff, but Peter Gabriel has a really great way to make it accessible. Great guitar, great drums, good hooks, good melodies. I don't know what the fuck that album is about yet, but I will find out eventually. And uh, next I must listen to uh, Foxtrot. So this is Hard Combat Trial. Maybe we won't do this yet. I'll hold on to that, because that might not even be a progression item. You know what I could do, chat? I could make this experience even a little bit better, so that I'm not going around for just, like, trash upgrades. I can... So here's what counts as progression. Dungeons, great fairies, puzzle secret caves, free gifts, miscellaneous, expensive purchases. That's it. That's the only progression items. So I'm going to turn off a number of these spots so that we can 100% work on progression before I start doing optional shit. No honor. Mate, this is this is what rando is. Yeah, I don't have the spoiler log. I don't have the spoiler log, so I, I deleted it. Mods have it, in case I get stuck. That said, though, there's still that many greens. So, this hasn't eliminated too much. Fire Mountain has volcano chest. We're gonna go to the volcano chest. Please don't play the game. Vin, you got the command melody. Check it off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. Shoot the bombs first. Okay. Um, yeah, and we get good music. I was also listening to some Neil Young today, and there's a, a really great Neil Young song I want to recommend. It's, it's like an electronic-ish song from the 80s. It's like a weird Neil Young vibe, but it's, it's pretty fucking good. It is called... The song is called Computer Age. It's pretty fucking cool. I guess, yeah, he's kind of Neil old, but he'll always be young at heart. Ugh. God, I can't believe I said that. Yep. Okay. Was there another one to shoot here or no? Why does Tingle have baby feet? Why are you you're asking me? In the cliffside cave. Well, here's the problem with that. It won't be a progression item. Progression item would be Fire Mountain. That's where we want to go to now. Email Miyamoto. Yes, you should email Miyamoto. Miyamoto-san, um, why does Tingle have baby feet, but yet a massive nose? I'll tell you what, Miyamoto, he'll tell you what's up. Wasn't this supposed to be a dungeon? The fire and ice areas were both supposed to be dungeons? Man, imagine if Wind Waker was, like, fully finished. How it would have been even better. Not that it's, like, bad. I mean, the weird thing about, for me, Wind Waker is amazing and one of the best Zelda games. And that's, like, kind of in spite of the fact that it was never fully finished. But, you know, if I'm not mistaken, much of that was repurposed for Twilight Princess anyway, so... We probably ended up seeing what would have been other dungeons. 
I mean, Sunshine wasn't finished either. Uh, Nintendo wasn't doing all that amazing, and so they, uh, they rushed some games out. I think they, they got a little bit scared because the GameCube was underperforming. Wow. Vinny, is this legit or is that a bit? No, that's real. I mean, Nintendo rushed out Sunshine and Wind Waker. It wouldn't be much of a bit if I just said that, like, deadpan like that. Melee as well. Melee. I like when I was uh, struggling with audio problems and chat was like, nice bit, Vin. Though to be fair, I've crusted up my audio on purpose before, so that one I can kind of see. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. No, you're right. I can't blame you. <laughs> I can't blame you, chat. Triforce chart 7. I mean, pretty much almost have the entire fucking Triforce at this point. I think I'm missing like one chart. Two? Okay, so that island is done. Eastern Fairy Island, we probably want to go there. I had a bit of a struggle in my mind about doing Rando Wind Waker as Tingle. I really did. I was like, ah, no, this annoying twat. Um, like, am I going to be able to stomach a full playthrough of Wind Waker with Tingle when Link is great? But I've played multiple Tingle games, and he is my self-insert, as Chad has duly noted. There were other, there, there's like a Wind Waker style of version of, of Snake. Like, there's so many models for Wind Waker Rando. They're all really good. There were, um... Tons of options. There was, uh... You want to see the other options, chat? Now, I went with Tingle for obvious reasons. I feel like Tingle makes the most sense for this stream. Just because, you know, it's, it's this stream. There might be a funny skeleton. So here are the options. So you have various options. You can do casual clothes, and then you can even randomize, uh colors chaotically or orderly there's many ways you can do that there's agent nine from i guess spyro right casual clothes there's arrow okay there's ashley i don't again i don't know why this character has such a huge fan base i'll get ang angry letters about that soon whatever uh beetle captain falcon chocobo cj cj from gta oh my god it's it's gta san andreas cj <laughs> that's amazing Cloud? Cloud looks pretty cool like this. I, you know, you can also disable custom voice or not. Colette, I don't know who that is. It just froze. Tales of Symphonia. Dark Linka? Chat, I don't know what's happening anymore. Dark Pit DS Link, which is just Engineer Link or probably Phantom Hourglass Link. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's, there's OCs in here too, you bet. This one was a consideration. I was like, ah, oh, playing as grandma might be kind of fun. It is this Pokemon. Remember, I, I asked who the Pokemon was during my VR stream. Well, there you go. Uh-oh. Uh, Link Conductor. Trisuit. Link Zora. Um, Malon. M Malon. Ma I don't know why I said Malon, but the teacher from the game. Samus. I was very tempted about the Samus playthrough as well. Red. Postman. Postbox mint? What the fuck is this? <coughs> Sorry, uh, Shaggy. Like, Link! Squall. Whatever. Tetra. Tingle. But also custom clothes Tingle from Rupee Rosie, Rupee Land, whatever. Vati. Vacation Link. Young Link. Zeld. Toon Flip. I think it's simple flips as Link. <laughs> That's great. So there's a lot of really cool choices. Tons of good choices. Show us Snake. Oh, he's not here. Never mind then. I guess Snake was something else? Sorry about that. I thought there was like a, a chibi snake, but I guess he's hiding. Some mods aren't pre-installed. Oh, that could be it. There is a snake one. You might have to look that one up yourself, chat. Shit. All right, I mean, it's progression in some way, right? I mean, makes life a little easier. Is Vinny, is Vine Sauce celebrating St. Patrick's Day? Well, I had corned beef and cabbage today, and uh, I'm playing as a green character. It was good. It was worth the drive. Like, Brooklyn has a lot of good food, and I'm happy I made the drive. I just hated the traffic and the car problems, and it was just kind of a nightmare, but the food was worth it. 
alcohol. Yeah. I don't really, I didn't feel that good today. And, uh, even like a shot, just like one shot probably wouldn't be all that great for me right now. But normally I would. Okay, chat. Confirmed Solid Snake was real. And I did not invent Wind Waker Snake. Ah, Wind Snaker. I thought I had more time than that. He sent me... Yeah, he sent me home. Banished one square to the left on Tingle Island. Did someone say something about telling your mommer? Normal arrows? I know, but I was missing every shot. Turns out that was a me problem. And the magic doesn't give you any more damage than usual, so... I already have this. Let's see if you can handle treasure chart 32. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can. Haha, <laughs> great. Needle Rock Island is light torches. Diamond Step Island Warp Maze. Southern Fairy Island. Tingle's mouth makes me uncomfortable. Ice cave as well, yeah. I'm making weird noises tonight. I, I just, I feel like it's just a weird day. Apologize for the strange meat noises that show up at random. Bone noises? Oh, speaking of dreams, I thought I had another dream and I can't remember it. It was, it was the alien dream. I had a dream about a song about don't check under your bed because there's monsters under the bed. And I don't remember the melody or anything, but I just remember those lyrics. So if anyone needs uh, a song, listen, you can take it. You can have it for free, the Monsters Under the Bed song. Please, Banana Fairy, bestow me something good. Bestow upon me. Okay. Okay. Mirror Shield get. Oh, look, it's, it's a rupee. It's perfectly tingleized. Earth Temple is now available. Old Shield looked better. I agree. Actually, reset. No, I don't. I don't hate it. I think it's it's okay. Would you say the rupee is ripened? I would say Tingle is probably ripe right now. He is ripened. He has become enripened, and he is ready. Remember, if that word is ever strange to you in regards to the, like Tingle. Remember, that's an official Nintendo game, and that's the plot of it. Where Tingle must become ripe. Google it. I fucking streamed it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Christ. Oh, there's a treasure chest here, too. Oh. I'll get it later. Why is tomato soup? Said a chat member. My answer to that question is anything can be soup if you try hard enough. Look at what they did to Tomato Town. How they massacred my boy. Well, that was, uh... A big... hunk of shit. Chad, I kinda wanna stream a James Bond game again. Like, Nightfire. Would anyone be down for that? Rogue Agent? No, no. Vinny, I was gonna send you a copy of Nightfire a few years ago. Well... That's a- there's a PC version of Nightfire, right? Or is it- is it... bad? It's bad? Oh, uh, okay. Vinny, I think you would love everything or nothing. Well, again, I've been watching that Calvin dude's channel a lot lately, for some reason, and like... I'm like, oh man, I, I fucking... I really like that Nightfire game. Gearbox software port of a different engine and missing levels. <sighs> World is not enough on N64 is pretty good. I streamed the early cut levels of that recently, and that was fun. Have you tried Agent Under Fire? I believe I had it. I'm fucking pissed because I think I sold Nightfire, though. My legit copy. The Heat Seeker missiles. I don't remember those, but I do remember there's a- was- was there a helicopter level in Nightfire, or is that Agent Under Fire? First level. The PC port of Nightfire is the Half-Life engine. That's weird. Nightfire is honestly my favorite Bond game. Oh, and multiplayer shit. Yeah, multiplayer and Nightfire was really good. Yo, that's a good treasure chest. I, I thought that was the best Bond multiplayer since Goldeneye. Everything or nothing is great. Well, that and From Russia With Love actually has Connery back 
It's weird, I like the games more than I like a lot of the movies. But I haven't seen all of the movies, so I don't know. I mean... Oh, God! I need magic. One of the Bond movies has Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson? W which one? Was it a Roger Moore movie? It was probably Roger Moore, wasn't it? Or Johnny English. Oh yeah, he played it like it was a spoof James Bond. There was also a spoof James Bond movie with Leslie Nielsen. Never Say Never Again. How about Never Watch That Movie Again? That was the unlicensed Bond movie from the 80s that Connery came back to. There was a spoof James Bond movie with Mike Myers. Huh? Wait, Wayne's World? Austin's Power? Who's... Who? Spy Hard? Oh, I remember that. They had to have made Austin Powers trading cards, chat. When I was at that place, though, like, there are some places that sell cards for, like, really weird stuff. But you have to buy the box. Like, I saw at that place I went to when I bought those cards to open on Saturday. They had Total Recall. It was the Total Recall movie, but you had to buy a booster box. It was like 50 bucks or so. I was like, ugh. What am I gonna do with fucking 36 packs of Total Recall cards? Yeah, I, I don't really think there's a whole lot of Total Recall cards that I need to get. Once you get Arnold, and the thing with the head and the chest, and the three tit lady, what else is there? Oh, you know what? I know what it- I know what there is. The fucking prosthetic head of Arnold suffocating with his eyes popping out and his tongue like going ah! That. That's the card I would want. Hollow foil. The weird lady outfit. Oh yeah, yeah, that like opens up. It's the- the costume that Arnold uses. Sorry, Quato. There's some really good prosthetics in that movie. This is like some great practical effects. That's actually one of- I think that's probably one of my favorite sci-fi movies. It shouldn't work, but it does. Like, it- it totally fucking does. They were aware it was silly and played into it. Well, that's Verhoeven. It still has a little bit of that satire, and it's- yeah, it's a very dopey movie. It knows what it is, and yet the action's really cool. The practical effects are great. Some interesting stuff going on in the plot, like with the Total Recall stuff. I mean, it's a Philip K. Dick thing, you know, you know what else he wrote, right, chat? And of course it's gonna have some interesting sci-fi concepts, but... You know, there's been some pretty bad adaptations of Philip K. Dick. That said, I remember seeing A Scanner Darkly one time, and liking it. Is it still good? Chat seems like it's... Chat seems to like it. I, maybe I'll watch it again one day. Yeah, I remember Keanu Reeves is in it. Robert Downey Jr. is in it too, right? Here we go. Come on. Uh, oh. Well, we got an emote for that. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the one, chat. I think there's another one. Oh, Tingle, please. Tingle just scared the shit out of me. I mean, look at that face. Wouldn't it do the same for you? I have a Tingle plush. I think I got it at Nintendo World. Nintendo New York. You know what I got from them? Um, you know that book? There's a book for The Link to the Past. With Rome. The bird. Yeah. Um, it's- it's basically the... It's a little comic of Link to the Past that I remember reading when I was a kid. My friend had it. Actually, no, my cousin had it. One of my many cousins through marriage. He had it, and I liked it. And then I just bought it one day when I saw it. How the fuck did I get up there? What? Did I beans it? So I need to pull out <laughs> some of them halfway. Did I still beans it? Oh no, 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 no beans. Okay, I see. Come on, boomerang. Oh well. Vinny, the Windstone Islands, where you get the melodies of Medley, Makar, good place to check your bracelets and boots. Well, I only have progression locations enabled right now, so we can go to any of these, uh, places. We can do the Earth Temple. Outset Great Fairy I don't have. Wait. Oh, you can actually click. You can click, chat. You can click. I was wondering why that ha I think Dave inputted those commands. Where you can select a specific treasure- specific treasure chest. No, on the previous stream, the first stream, Dave, like... The- that Link's house and that... 
I'm not explaining this very well because my brain... Bad brain. But don't, don't worry about it, I got this. I don't know how to do that via the chat commands. Well, how the hell did those locations get checked off? Weird. Do you think Tingle just relieves himself in the suit? I'm just trying to figure out the logistics. It's a, uh, oh, oh, it's a diaper. That, that red thing, that's a diaper. Do I have enough balloon to make it over there? He's wearing the morph suit underneath the diaper. Yeah. Hello, Douglas. Hello, Tingleth. Wrong button! Wrong button! Yes! Fucking great! Wrong... Oh. I deserve that for the diaper bit. The diaper bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with that sentence? Hmm. Colonel, I'm looking for the diaper chief. But I can't find him. I've infiltrated Shadow Moses. No one matches the description. Snake. You're a little crybaby, you know that? You were the diaper chief all along. Yeah. What a twist, Colonel. Only genius Kajumbo could have written such a twist. What's that thing called that you put the binti? What's the- what do you put in the baby's mouths? Snake, do you want a binti? A binky. Yeah. Mm, Colonel, do you have my binky? Worst bit? Alright, well... Whatever you say, chat. A moment ago, the tingle diaper bit was the worst bit. And now it's Solid Snake as the diaper chief. Okay? So, make up your mind. Oh, and before that it was Mario trapped in a little box. I, I bet you long for the day. You jones for the day. Of Mario trapped inside of a small box. Vinny, are you okay? Never been. Do you think the turtle guy also uses his suit to relieve himself? I think so. Well, that's your- if, when you're a turtle, that's your entire home. So your- your belongings are in there, your kitchen, your turlet. <gasps> Yo! There is but one last step before it becomes the true master sword again. That was there the whole time? Mental. Something something orange rupees we made along the way. That's true. It's always been about that. You know what else had a good spy... Um... Parody? Spy game parody? Time Splitters. Even though that level could eat a dick. The one in Time Splitters 2. But yeah, No One Lives Forever is the, the quintessential spy parody game. How many James Bond movies have had the word die in the title? Like, there's one coming out called No Time to Die. There was Die Another Day. You only live twice. Well, hang on, that's not the word die. Live and Let Die, which is the best James Bond theme, along with You Only Live Twice, in my opinion. Tomorrow Never Dies on Her Majesty's Secret Die. Wait a minute. James Bond straight up fucking dies? Yeah, that was a good movie. Golden Die? Alright. I don't like this bit anymore. So yeah, there's a, a couple. Die another day. It's a couple. Die pussy? No, that was octopussy. I still can't believe, like, I have to explain that that's real and not me making up a word. Like, I still can't believe that that's a real fucking movie name. Where is Sword Master? The bottom door. Ha! Ha! I won't get the spin for this, right? You would think if someone found the Master Sword by now, dude would be like, yeah, no, they're pretty good. Either that or they found it in a random treasure chest someplace. Which is exactly what happened. 125 blows. 50 rupees. Eh, better than nothing. Did you say Iggy Pop? Speaking of James Bond, she wants to be your James Bond. You need 500 for the real reward? I- I'm good. Come on, you know. It's time to never do the real reward. There's no more progression. Diamond Step Island has... There's- there's a lot of, uh, treasure chests coming up with progression, possibility, progression item. 
it's just a coughing. I'm like, wait a minute, how, how did you get into this game? Did I just see Todd Howards as a chat member? No. Vinny, crack a pack. You want me to crack a pack right now? All right. You can't see. Well, yeah, no shit you can't see. I didn't put my camera on. <laughs> no, it's a Deep Space Nine pack that I got uh, sent by a very generous chat member that works at a comic store. He was like, I got some Star Trek stuff for you. If you want it. I'm like, yes, please. I'll take, st I'll take Star Trek stuff anytime. Sphinx would like that if he, if he were here right now. Sphinx got a, an Odo card last night. And he was pretty happy about that. And I, and I shared it in his serotonin. Overseer Odo. Yeah, very different type of Odo. But still... Good enough. Odo sex card? No. I, st I don't know where it is! I'm so upset at myself that I, I let that card just disappear. The Odo sex card. Fuck. Can this be cheesed? Probably not. Do you think there are Zelda cards? Yeah, I showed them. I have them. First card is The Wire. It's an episode. Second is Trials and Tribulations episode. Third card advertises Deep Space Nine figurines coming fall 2007. Um, Valiant is an episode featuring Nog and uh, Sacrifice of Angels. q -less, the Q episode. And then each card has a back. Oh, these cards are just kind of like front and back. All right. Well, they're just episode cards. Sounds like snooze cards to me. Well, there are. There's the chance of a rare autographed card. I'm gonna hold off on these before I open them until I get the crustiest, weirdest card packs, and then I'll do it for another card opening stream. Like I have fire engines. I have a car. A pack of cards dedicated to fire engines for next time. And also a game that you would never believe got cards. I won't spoil it. But yeah, it says, um, one autograph and one costume card per box. Per box. Nehru's Pearl. Ah. Very good. Very good find. All pearls have been found. There's still one more item here, by the way. There's another treasure chest. Could also be progression. Pot closest to where you jumped. Vinny, would you like Scoot's Animal Crossing, original Animal Crossing card if I can find it? What, the amiibo card? I have multiple Scoots. The E card. Oh. No, I mean, that's, that's a pain in the ass to just ship one card, one singular card. I'm, I'm okay. Thank you, though. It's called a letter. It's like an email, but real life. Oh, it's like the Pony Express. Finally, a bottle. Holy shit. It took this long to get a bottle. We can help Grandma now. What do we need, a fairy for Grandma to not die? That was very good progression. Vinny, aren't these randomizers impossible, or am I dumb? Not impossible. There's logic in place. Plus, you cheated, says a chat member. I think every speedrunner pretty much uses a tracker. Just to help you keep track of where to go. Not that I'm even- like, chat was begging me to use the tracker. I'm not a speedrunner, uh, clearly, if you're joining off the front page of Twitch or the directory or whatever. But, um, chat was begging me, and now that I've done it, I have other chat members saying you're cheating, which helps you- that's a lesson I've learned from today. The only winning move is to not move. So this one, I just have to light all the torches. Someone said, how the fuck would you have seen that on a CRT? Apparently I did as a kid. I mean, it's an extra heart entirely. Vinny, weren't you like 20 when this game came out? Uh, I was 25. In 2003? Uh, 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 30. I was, th uh, uh, 32. 32 in, in 2005, yeah. 2003. Uh, yeah. Vinny is 36, chat. Says someone with authority. I'm actually not 36. I'm, yeah. No, I'm, I uh, got a couple months on that one. <laughs> Guess not. Also, yeah, the tingle bottle is a nice touch. 
Vinny, you need hoi pears to do this? Oh, I can't do that because I don't have, um... the bag. There's no other way to do this, right? Vinny, please stream until you hit the funny number age. You know what's funny about that? When I hit the funny number age, uh, God willing, the chat will be in their 50s. Some in the 60s. And we'll all be laughing at the funny numbers. We'll be like... <laughs> uh, we should save Grandma. She's crying. Are there fairies at Mother and Child Island? Oh... Okay, now, Tingle, I need you to catch the fairy and not the water. Well done. I, I love that Tingle bottle. That is a wonderful body bottle. That It's a nice body, that Tingle... Ha uh, bottle that Tingle has. You know, Choom, you remind me a lot of myself when I was a young Tingle. I saw... When I went to the um, card shop I went to last time, I saw a Johnny Silverhand. Like, it was on sale. It was like a little uh, figurine. Johnny Silverhand figurine. It was like you know, discounted. Then discounted again. The di it was- it was free. They were basically- it was- it was free. No, it was- it was still like 30 bucks or whatever, but... I was considering, I thought like, wow, how cool would I be, like, for chat if I got this and I showed it during one of my- my, uh, streams. I'm like, no, you'd be a fucking loser. Well, I mean, you know, you already are, but... <laughs> no! No, in a good way, though. Like, a good- I have Star Trek cards, that's cool. I like that kind of loser. I I'm fun- I'm fine with that, but... I'm gonna get the Johnny Silverhand action figure? No! I don't need Johnny. I w kinda wanted it, but... Then I could be like, hey, Johnny. Saved. Someone caught Keanu Reeves actu actually purchasing a Johnny. He knows. But why would they post this? Let the dude live his life. The only sad thing here is that CD Projekt Red didn't fucking send him his own action figure. Oh! Wait, is that another bottle? Look at that face. The face only a grandma could love. No, it was just the one bottle. It's just soup. Well, that's fine, I guess. Vinny, can I send you random cards or do you take specifics? You should let me know first. Um, only packs that would be interesting to open on stream. Like, stuff that would be a good jape. Oh, hang on a second, chat. Now would be a good time for me to take a sip of my drink. I'll just randomly leave that on screen for a moment. Just whatever's randomly on screen. Just whatever's randomly there, I'll just leave. Alright, cool. Checks should be in the mail now. So I can buy my own Johnny Silverhand. Vinny, speaking of checks in the mail, what can you tell us about the next album? I- I see you- you do this. You want to know the details. I don't have anything for you. The check bounced. No, I don't have any furnishment today, I'm sorry. Is that forced perspective? Kind of looks like forced perspective. Have you gone to the maze thing on Outset Island? Have I? Alright chat, it's time for medley. It has been Everybody has been <laughs> I forget who made this texture mod, which included Todd and Scoot, and Scoot Medley, um, but yeah, it's- it's a really small mod. Zenny made it, was it? Are you okay, Vin? I don't know. There's a song from the police, the, you know, Sting police, where it's, uh, walking in my footsteps, it just occurred to me. And- and Sting has the fucking audacity to sing the line, Hear thou Mr. Brontosaur! And he actually starts talking about dinosaurs. And he says, Hey there, Mr. Brontosaur. I forget the rest of the lyrics, but... It just- for a moment, I don't know why, but... It just reminded me that the dude was writing about, like, Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, how are you? No, I don't have a problem with that, I like it. I just don't know what made that, that pop up into my mind. Like, just random brain problems. You can't proceed past the next room without the skull hammer. Oh, really? Well, I kind of have bad news. It's that I've almost exhausted many of the progression um, areas. Most of those green dots you see there, chat, those green dots are, in fact, t uh, beetle. Isn't the Tower of the Gods open? Tower of the Gods... ...is yellow. 
There's a path you can't take without the hammer, but you can still do a hefty chunk of the dungeon. Vinny, place the pearls. We can do that. Why? Medley, why you do this? Left. Regular. Right. Regular. Wait, is... I just realized something. So, look at the froggy shirt. <laughs> so, if Medley... Is Scootly... Sco Scutly? Sco Scootly? Scootly? <laughs> this whole time. This whole time they were in my vetting team. Wow. I, chat members, never mind, don't worry about it. Bad joke. Twitch user. Yeah. Vinny, thoughts on Jello? I will buy a Jello from time to time. I will. I'm- I wouldn't call myself a Jello fellow. But, on occasion, I will buy an orange Jello. I like the orange one. This could be the hammer. Okay. Well. I can complete the forest haven. Vinny, you checked magic upgrade, not empty bottle. Oh, you're right. So, what, what's the rest of the lyrics? Hey there, Mr. Brontosaur. I know what your neck is for. Uh, you, I, uh, hey there, Mr. Brontosaur. Hey there, mighty Brontosaurus. What less, what... Don't you have a lesson for us? Wow, M&M level of rhyming. He did Brontosaurus and lesson for us. I really need to be careful about making fun of people's lyrics because I have written love as such an ugly five-letter word. Well, I've written some other bad lines too, but that's, that's, you know. I, I'm sure I will write several more bad lines. But you gotta keep trying, you know what I mean? I give Sting credit for rhyming Brontosaurus with lesson for us though, I really do. I really do. What are some other cool lyrics, chat, that you can think of? Similar to the Brontosaurus Lesson For Us lyric. Can, can you... Give me a couple good lines? Shat my pants on a date. That's cool. Door hinge and orange. Don't eat glass because it's bad for your teeth. How about she was a mink hand-jobbing sar sarcophagus in heels? Actual Mars Volta lyric. True story. Real, real lyric. Hippopotamus, hip, sorry, hippopotamus and bottomless. Oh, I'm the hip hopopotamus. My lyrics are bottomless, and then he stops. Yeah, that's a good one. Tingle, your body is in the way. Oh, here's one from Frank Zappa. Watch out where the huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow. I'm looking California and feeling Minnesota. I kind of love that line. I kind of love that line. From Outshined Soundgarden. The moon is ripe. Like two flamingos in a fruit fight. That's the real winner. Tropical hot dog night. Like two flamingos in a fruit fight. I look at the floor and I see it needs sweeping. Still, my guitar, my guitar gently weeps. Guitar. Uh, he apparently opened a book, and the first line he read was "gently weeps," and he was like, "All right, I'll write a song about it. Whatever. I don't care. Never cared. Whatever." And that's how we got while my guitar gently weeps. No, no, I'm serious. That's how we got it. He like, opened a book. That was his exercise, was to open a book, find a random line, and it was Gently Weeps. And, uh, yeah. But it's, it's great. Great lyrics. Kill for another treasure chest. Big time, hard line, bad luck, fist fuck. That's a good line, too, from Nine Inch Nails. It's true, yeah, I like that one. His dick is smaller than my toes. I'd rather have a Squidward nose. What the fuck did you just type, chat member? Tell me that's not real. You just won. Cupcake lyrics? You just won. You won. Good good luck, rest of chat, trying to figure out a better line. Electrolytes smell like semen. That's another good one. That's a Nirvana lyric. Genius, that Kurt Cobain. Seriously, though, I do think he wrote some amazing lyrics, but every now and then you get... A line like that. Doll meat 
or sorry, doll steak test meat. Uh, I don't, dude, I don't know what the fuck that guy was on about. Like 80% of his lyrics, I just, I'm like, you can scream at me. I'm, I don't mind. <laughs> God damn, chat's got some real good ones, good lyrics. Fingernails are pretty, fingernails are good. Oh, Dave Grohl. Musical genius, the Grohl. Just wiped out Tomato Town. My friends just go down. The real struggles of modern life. You know, wiping out Tomato Town. Friends going down without a revive. Vinny, I still remember when you streamed Fortnite. I did several times. And not just because of the... the meme points. It was a very competent Battle Royale shooter. Was? Oh, I don't know. I haven't played it since it first came out, pretty much. I think Thanos was when the last time I played it. I liked the building aspect of it, until I realized that people were just gods at building, and could build, like, little caves around themselves. Easily. No problemo. It was a whole other level of skill that I just didn't have. So... Yeah, this, this I think, is my limit. But yeah, as much as, um, it's memed into Oblivion, and it's, uh, you know most popular joke game, and, uh, there's shirts of it. The truth is, it was alright. It's fine. Didn't keep my interest for too long, but for a little while there, I liked it. I think I just enjoyed the accessibility of Battle Royale. It was very, like, easy to jump in. And, uh, PUBG at the time was actually kind of... It was cool. I liked the concept for, you know, it was new at the time. But also, PUBG felt like a living nightmare from time to time. So, fell off of that pretty quickly. And then, my favorite is actually Warzone. I, truthfully, like, the, I think it's... For me, Warzone is a really good way to get kind of a little arcadey, but a little bit more... You know, the, the shooting is still pretty precise, and um, you still have to coordinate with your uh, friends and not just build yourself into a home and raise a family of, you know, Keanu's. Warzone, to me, was just a really good take on the genre. Nothing revolutionary or mind-blowing, but yet, like, everything just felt was easy to jump into, easy to jump out of. Decent shooting, when the netcode wasn't shit. What about Final Fantasy VII, the first soldier? <gasps> Can't wait for that. It's gonna be hot fucking garbage. That's gonna be like... Ugh. That's gonna be like a McRib uncooked, or a McRib cooked. I think they're- they're just taking a gamble. Really. They're like, listen, what- you know, we- we can spend a couple bucks on this shit. We know it's shit, but we'll spend a couple bucks on it. What if it becomes something big? We didn't spend a whole lot. You never know. Who knew Fortnite would have jumped to the popularity that it did? Like, fuck it, Final Fantasy VII, people know it. What's the worst we've got to lose? A couple hundred thousand dollars? Probably more than that for development. I'm still in this dungeon. I'm gonna keep going until I can't anymore. I, I've already hit a couple... Um, dead ends. Uh, not the enemies. Dead end. Not them. We got him. Square Enix announcement tomorrow. I won't be home. I'm gonna be, um, doing some recording. Oh, at 10 a.m.? Oh! That's what time it is, 10 a.m.? No. Whatever it will be, I, we can talk about it. I'll watch it. I'll talk about it tomorrow night. I'll actually try to stream on time tomorrow night, too. And hopefully not have fucking car problems. Well, there is- I don't have a schedule, but I still feel like if I tell chat, oh yeah, I'll be streaming my usual time, that's between like 11 and midnight. And then here I am showing up 11, uh, 12, 40, and I'm like, uh, that doesn't feel good. Vinny, didn't you say you were gonna do some gambling things with Smash soon? That was gonna be tonight, but, um, probably can do that in the next couple days. It wasn't just car trouble that- that shanked the stream. It was also... it was a combination. It was the perfect storm. It was me falling asleep. It was... me eating dinner really late because I lost my appetite. It was the Verrazano Bridge having only one lane open and, and there being an extra 30 minutes of traffic leaving Brooklyn. It was just... you know, 
St. Patty's Day at its most fun. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, I can't fight the boss without the hammer, but... Oh yeah, then the Windows Update. Yep. More fun with Windows Update. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Forgot I didn't even have that. Sure. Just some dead person's telescope, I guess. Have you even tried- have you tried installing the optional update that Microsoft put out? It might help with your issues. Uh... Should I? Vinny, are you playing Majora's Mask anytime soon? I did a rando stream of it last year. The update is for printer issues that people are having. What, like the printer that destroyed God? So then, no. Is there a way to get Medley into this room, or do I have to bring her here? Well, there's probably a treasure chest in that room. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to bring the bird with me. Kill all the chews in that room. Does that- what happens then? Do you get a treasure chest? Hey, Choom. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. <laughs> Fifty years ago. Oh, shit. Um... Does Medley respawn? Where, where is Medley? Bridge room, use command melody. Okay. Least favorite game genre. Um... Data Design Interactive. No, I mean, I can't even say sports games because sports is such a wide variety of games. I like Mario Golf. I've played various sports games throughout the years that I liked. I don't go for them often, but yeah, I've played some sports games that I've liked. Tennis and shit. Wii Sports. Visual novel. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of visual novels, unless it's Seinfeld related. Uh, fighting games? No, I like fighting games a lot. I don't play a ton of them, but I like them. Is there really a treasure chest in here? Buttons. Yeah, I pressed them already. I'm not really crazy about a lot of simulators, but that is such a... a blanket thing. Like, I like Flight Sim a lot. It depends on the type of game, the, the type of sim. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, gotcha is a component of games. I like cards, which some people don't see as anything different at all than gotcha. Even though you are getting a physical item that you can display, store, or trade, or sell, or play a game with. So, I disagree, but I don't really particularly care for gotcha in video games at all. Um, but I wouldn't call it a game genre. Hey, let me do my copium however I so choose, okay? Where- where? Oh, this room, right. I gotta kill them again. Imagine that you're a ghost. Someone makes you alive again so you can die again. But for real this time. That's the real tragedy of Zelda. Rhythm games. Not a big rhythm game person, but I don't mind them. Like, I- I did enjoy Guitar Hero a lot. Um, you know, stuff like Friday Night Funkin'. It's all well and good. It is truly not my favorite genre by a mile. Necrodancer, if you want to call- Yeah, that's a rhythm game, right? You, but it's got other elements. It's like a mix. Puzzle games, well, I like- I don't like visual novels that much, no. Um, puzzle games. I like, obviously, um, Poyo and Tetris and stuff. MOBA. Yeah, MOBA is also not my genre of choice. No many people that love MOBA and have explained it to me. I've played a lot of it when Warcraft 3... I've talked about this plenty. You've heard me say this a million times, but... I've played lots of the original MOBAs uh, in Warcraft 3 custom games and all that. But it was never something I thought to myself, Boy, I'd like to dedicate many, many, many hours of my life to this. I, I never thought something like that would become huge. But I don't think it's, uh, bad. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't mean to cough on stream, it just- I couldn't mute fast enough. Do you consider Smash a fighting game? What a vitriolic topic that is. Something I never gave more than a second thought to... ...is something that... ...will send people into a frenzy. There is no winning in that conversation topic. None. Whatsoever. Except, if you play both sides. I think it's a party game and a fighting game. You fight in it. Some characters have combos. You have to learn how to do the moves. 
It's is it a Ultra Fighter? I don't think so. But it has fighting game elements, and I really like it. And the reason I know it's a game with fighting in it is because I'm bad at it and because people can fucking mop the floor with me. Whereas if it were simply just a party game where, you know, everyone's having a nice old time and, and it's all, all luck and party, I, I would win a lot more or at least a lot more evenly and I get my ass fucking handed to me. It, it takes a lot of skill to be very good at that game. And, um, you know, you just watch my streams, you'll see what I mean. But you can customize it however you want, and if you do have people who are bad at the game, you can just make it more of a party game, and it works perfectly well as that, too. Get the chew chest. But here's the thing, it, are you serious? I think it's the same person. You missed two near the stairs. Oh. RTS games? Yes, I love RTS games, I'm just not great at them. I've streamed Command & Conquer recently, I've streamed Warcraft 3 in various, uh, various times, I've streamed some Starcraft 2 kinda recently. RTS is a genre I hope makes a, re a resurgence. Because it is a genre I like, I'm just, you know, again, uh, bad at it. Because the, the skill ceiling is really high in RTS games. Non-cart racing games. Vinny, how would you feel if everyone constantly berated and belittled you for wanting to take some seriously? Like people en masse calling your music not real music. That's how competitive Smash players feel. Well, you don't have to tell me that. Um, because I think Smash is a very real competitive game. It's just the topic ex itself turns into, like, huge amounts of vitriol and salt, and I just, like... It's such a miserable topic, I almost don't ever even want to talk about it because it just makes me miserable. So I got- I got it. That's fair. You know, whatever you say, but... You- you just can't take it that serious. You just have to let people... ...say what they want to say, and you- you feel the way you feel about the thing that you like. I mean, you can still play it competitively, as a fighting game if you so choose, regardless of whether or not someone says it is. So, um... Is there really- yeah, I don't- I don't see another, uh... I don't see another one. I'm guessing it's just one guy. The buttons. Yeah, that opened the door. I already did that. I think two dark chew spawn after activating the stairs, but I don't know. Press button, drop stairs, then more. If this really is the case, I'm assuming that this is just an optional treasure chest. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. They spawn. Um, yeah, cool treasure chest. We weren't sure. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I'm not even really upset, but that's still like 10 minutes of gameplay. There is a treasure chest, but it's not in this room. Well, that was beans, is what it was. It's okay. It's alright, chat member. You tried your best. If I had the compass, that would have helped tremendously, but I don't. Vinny, please get mad. I think some people probably would like to see me get mad from time to time, yeah. Like, just fucking go mental on a chat member. And then people would be like, Psycho Streamer. Psycho Streamer! Casca C! Ba 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 better! Run, 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 run! Run, run, run away! Vinny, I don't think your music is very good. Eh, neither do I. No, they were trying to, uh... They were trying to get the reaction chat. That was the joke. That w oh. And they can be serious, too. It's fine, though. You smell funny? Oh, fuck. This chat member. <laughs> Vinny, your music is party music. <laughs> I like that. That was good. Let's see. So, um, with Boomerang, I could finish Forest Haven. Do I have enough money for Beatles shop? Yeah, you know what? Let's finish the Forest Haven. Norts is ugly. That's where I draw the line. You. Twat. That alien cost me... Like, over a hundred dollars. How dare you. So, is there a way to... Use that tornado to get up there as a shortcut? There is, right? Yeah, it was like a hundred and twenty dollars for the alien. What do you think? It's like a four and a half foot creature. It's only half an alien, though. It doesn't have an ass. This doesn't work? 
Gotta use the leaf real fast. Uh, buy one of those 20 pounds of ass toys and put it on Nort's. That would make for a funny visual, but I don't think I want to ever own an ass toy. Yeah, I don't- I don't really know how to do this properly. Or I could just do that properly. Yeah, that's fine. Vinny, I cannot believe you owned two dildos. What? Everyone owns a dildo, you don't? To be fair, they were sent to my P.O. box. You know, Red Vox, Red Cox. Yeah. So, it was at that moment that I decided to never give my P.O. box out again. Okay. I understand how to do the trick now. And you'd have to use, like, um... What I should have done was change the wind. And... Tried to get a little closer to the thing, but yeah, you need some... You also need to time the, the tornado right. Weren't the red cocks toxic? Yeah, apparently those particular cocks were toxic, yeah. There was like a cancer ca causing agent within uh, within them. Wow. Not joking, by the way. It, it kind of like the diarrhea kazoo. Similar, yeah. Gotta be honest, I was dreading coming back to this dungeon for this exact reason. Now that's what I call beans 15. The most beans you've ever been privy to in one album. Tell the kazoo story again, chat's confused. You know what? <sighs> Leave it. Let them be confused, it's fine. I'd, I'd rather people be confused about the diarrhea kazoo, I don't- I don't mind. I just explained diarrhea kazoo like a week and a half ago, maybe a little bit more or maybe a little less, I don't know. Point is, they can dig for the diarrhea if they want it. I'm not holding anyone's hands anymore when it comes to diarrhea kazoos. Yeah, this is not a new story. Like, I've told it a bunch. Well, how about this one? I got a new story for you, okay? Now, I'm not going to say the name of the chat member, because, um, it's a little embarrassing, perhaps. I don't think it is. I think the chat member is is a actually really cool person. Okay, so chat member at Too Many Games a couple years back gives me... I think it was Too Many Games. I forget which convention it was, actually, but... Gives me a bunch of Godzilla DVDs. Wanting me to get into Godzilla. Uh, Blu-rays, actually. Really, really generous of them. I got, like... Five, four or five Blu-rays of Godzilla movies. Some were double features. I was like, hey, that's awesome. Are you sure? They're like, yeah. And it was like, okay. They were, they're a fan of Godzilla. They want me to check out Godzilla. Fuck. So, I accept. Now, I haven't watched them, but one day, if I'm in the mood to watch some Godzilla, perhaps I would. I'll tell you the rest of the story as soon as I get over there. So that's the whole story. There was a chat member who liked Godzilla and gave me a bunch of Blu-rays. Uh, that's it. No, there's more to it. Okay, so I recently got an email from the person saying, Hey, hey Vin, you know, I gave you a bunch of Godzilla Blu-ray, uh, not that long ago. And I was wondering, there's one particular one, here's the cover, could you just send that to me back? And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, well, I wonder why, you know, like, they could just buy another one. I was, I was gonna say, well, I can give you the money to buy another one. It turns out, this particular Godzilla Blu-ray, instead of the Blu-ray, it was porn. No, it wasn't. I'm- I'm lying. It was actually- I'll tell you the truth. It's legit. It was a Godzilla Blu-ray. We looked it up. It is a Blu-ray that is now worth over $200. Possibly $300. So, I'm going to send it back to them. No problem. I'm sending it back to them. I wish them luck. I actually am happy that they gave me this stuff. It's actually kind of funny to me. But here's what I want to tell you, chat member. Do not give me stuff at a convention unless you're 100% sure you want to give it to me. Like, make sure you do not give me a thing that could be worth something one day, because that could suck. But, yeah, I mean, it's just extra work for me. I mean, John chat member, whoever they are, I don't mind. I'm happy to do so, because... You know... Oh! Oh! Because... <sighs> 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 
because I understand money is tight right now. And the world is all kinds of fucked up. So I am... I don't mind. It's just, you know, it's some extra work. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's, it's just funny to me. <laughs> I was like, they didn't tell me specifically why they wanted the Zilla, and I'm like, oh, okay, I think I know why they want the Zilla Blu-ray. I get it. It's like the person who gave me the Deep Space Nine cards. What if you find out there's a big Deep Space Nine resurgence in five years? It's like if someone sent me their Charizard, you know? I'm, uh, at conventions, I'm more than happy to just say hello. If you want to just say, hey, Vin, I like your streams. That's good enough. You don't have to give me shit. Vin, I'll buy it from you for 300. Wait a minute. Am I getting counter offers for the Godzilla Blu-ray? Make it 320 and we have a deal. We got any more bids? Hey, going once, going to with Godzilla Blu-ray. We got Godzilla Blu-ray. What, 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 300, 400, 400, 20, 400, 600, $699. We got any more bids? $699 sold. How about someone said something about farting inside of the case? What? Did I just make that up? I don't think anyone said that. What Godzilla is it? Oh, I don't know. I have it over there somewhere. It's a double movie. It's a Godzilla doubler. Send him a coughing inside the case. You know what? I will. I will send a coughing. Sign the coughing? I will sign the coughing. I will. It's opened. It, it was given to me opened. So, just close it. Actually watch the movies. I, I'm not really in the mood for Godzilla. Like, I, I had a couple, like, Godzilla phases when I was younger, but... I don't know, I just haven't really been down to watch any Godzilla lately. I still have the other Blu-rays, which I'm hoping won't increase in value dramatically in the next, uh, couple months. Were you ever into Power Rangers? Vinny, you still have half the dungeon to do. Oh, yeah. I can come back in, right? I mean, it's... Should I just save warp? You have to warp... Ugh. You'll have to climb again? Were you ever into Power Rangers? I was, yes. Briefly. It wasn't a huge thing, but I had a couple toys. I had the pogs. I, I played the games. One of the games, I think. Vinny, my dick is bleeding now. Okay, well, that's, that's how you get... That's how you get yourself timed the fuck out. Um... This funny thing, I tell you the shit! Uh, no, just like... You know, go see a doctor. Don't fucking tell a Twitch chat, you know what I'm saying? Why read it? Oh, I, I think it's because chat members wanted me to get angry before, so there you go. That was... That was it. Oh wait, wrong room, wrong room. Anyway, going from the bloody dick thing, uh, to Power Rangers. Yeah, I... I thought Power Rangers was pretty cool. I liked it. I, I had a- everyone liked it. It was huge, and I- so I had a couple of the toys. I had, um... Like a sword, but... It wasn't like the mo- I liked the turtles more, Ninja Turtles. But, I guess Power Rangers was a couple years after that. Four treasure chests in here. What a satisfying noise that is. Vinny, what do you think of Costco pizza? Stop <laughs> the Costco pizza. It is the most mediocre pizza ever. It's so basic. It's just cheap. People were hyping this shit up. I had it, and it was just fine. Hero's charm. You can see the life forces of your foes. Even better. Yeah, Costco pizza was overhyped by chat. I had it. And I thought it was, it was okay. It was just like... Again, chat, I, I know I say I'm a pizza elitist. We do this topic a lot. So, the truth is, I am a bit of a pizza elitist because I have, uh, I live in a city with good pizza. I still think New Haven, Connecticut has the best pizza. Um, there I said it. But, the truth is, if people are like, oh, Costco pizza is primo, that's the good shit. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. If you don't want to spend too much, you're at Costco. I'm not gonna go to Costco for it. Wow, of course the New Yorker decides what's good or bad pizza, huh? Well, per on a personal level, yeah. Even though this particular New Yorker thinks New Haven, Connecticut has better pizza than New York. So if I am- if I'm the, the one eating the pizza, then 
Yeah, I'm gonna tell you I like a certain pizza over other pizza. You can like whatever you want, but growing up with the pizza that I grew up with and still, like, eat to this day, I go to Costco, it's like, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's no Little Caesars. Then you telling the Godzilla story made me realize that I have a copy of that $300 Godzilla box set, so thank you for telling it. Mate, you're getting a Dell. I mean, dude. Dude, you're getting a Dell. What's, what's the trick here? Just light it on fire? Okay. Okay. You should try buying rocks, opening them up, and seeing how much they cost. Can I taste them as well? There are tasty rocks. We use them... We use them in every day. Food. All the time. Pop rocks. Opinion on deep dish pizza. Well, here's the thing. If I share my opinion on deep dish pizza, you you have to ha adopt this opinion. And you are never allowed to ever stray from it. Because I am the pizza authority. So if you like it, and I say that you can't like it, you have to stop liking it. Capiche? Okay, you ready? Here's my opinion. My official opinion as a New Yorker on Chicago deep dish pizza. I've never had it. Vinny throw bomb. There's a, a treasure chest over there, but I can't... I don't know... Huh? That's a hidden tingle chest. Oh, I wonder... I don't think anything vital can be in hidden tingle chests, though. Well, if I had access to bombs, I'd be able to do that a lot more easily. I'll try one more time. Yeah, can't spawn it. I don't know where to drop the bomb. It's fine. I don't care. Yeah, we should... I'm gonna wrap this up shortly. I just want to defeat the boss, and, uh... There's one more treasure chest down here that I need to check out. It has to be Tingle... The Tingle Bomb. Wait, you need a specific bomb? Tingle... Needs specific bombs? The Tingle Tuner Bomb. You can use regular bomb in Randomizer. Go around for the chest? Not, not this way? You need to use the giant flower? Oh, like a raft. Okay, here we go. Final treasure chest of the dungeon until the boss... ...is... it's be it's beans. Calling bottle? It could be bottle, it could be bombs! Heart piece. Alright. What? Man... If only there was a separate touchscreen... ...gamepad of some kind that I could press and get all the items easily... ...without having to pause. Hey, we should make an entire console around that, chat. I'll make it, so it'll be called the me. But you'll also make it, so we'll call it the you. As well, so the... It'll sell. Like, hot cake. Okay, now we can fight the boss. As soon as I find where the... the thing is, the, the, the jar... Boss door is right below you, is it? This jar? Uh, this <laughs> door? Or... <laughs> brain not work. Here it is, though. Here it is. We're approaching Yam rapidly. So it's probably good that we're about to finish this dungeon. I wonder if you can one-cycle this. Like, if I had just done that a little bit better. You can. With forest water, you can. No, I meant with my current level of Master Sword that I have. By spin attacking? Oh. It was the map. Oh. The truth is, though, chat, there were no vital progress progression items. 
in the latter half of this dungeon. And I did not uh, need to fight this lad. But you saved Makar. Do I get an item for saving Makar? No. His love? Great. Alright, well. Still, good progress today. Lots of progression items, including the fabled bottle. Did you see Makar's face? No, I didn't. What was it? Was, was it, um, replaced by something? It was a Lenny face? <laughs> God damn it. Can you... Can you take a picture of that, chat? And... Oh, I want to see it. Alright. Um, well, thank you for watching tonight. Even though, if it was only just one game. And, uh, I was marred with technical problems before I even ever went live. And, you know, starting late. I appreciate it. Appreciate you watching. And even the, the chat member I put on blast, you know. But, uh, thank you, everybody. Sorry for the chew thing, Vinny. No, don't worry about it. Check, check. No. Um, I, I restarted yesterday and I... Yeah, that happened earlier. Okay, let's do the art. Was that intentional? No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. That was Windows Update. Doing it's it's fun for me. You know what's cool? When you go to click on stuff in the tracker and your computer crashes, it freezes. You know what else is cool? This only started happening after Windows update. Crust mic, how bad is it? It's okay now. Okay, thank God. Oh, fuck. I hate Windows Update. It, oh, it ruined everything. Vinny, I think Windows Update has been doing this to multiple streamers. It's so... cool. <sighs> Can you downgrade Windows? Yeah, that chat member killed the stream. Revert the update. 21H2 is coming in the next few weeks. You can just get ahead early this time. I I I'll figure something out. Time to go to Linux. Yeah, that'll... I'm sure that'll work well for all of my streaming endeavors. I've streamed... I used Ubuntu... ...a while back, and, um, it's just not compatible with a lot of the stuff I do. I actually liked Linux when I used it, but God... Yeah, it wouldn't be that great. The tracker also... ...crashes. And then I, I can't save. Like, for example... What happened was, I just was unable to use the mouse. And the screen just froze. Didn't blue screen. Everything just... You know, froze. Does the game look good though, chat? Are you able to see? Is the frame rates good? Is things okay? Audio is all timed up with the video? Okay. Well, small mercies, I guess. Maybe ask mods to update the tracker. Well, I just wanted to prove a point that if I use the tracker, um, and I- if I didn't have randomized possible locations for progression, it would be- it would be awful. We'll get it. We'll get it. Chat, can you not hear me? Chat? Hello? What is going on? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know, I guess... People thought they couldn't hear me? I can hear you. Your voice didn't cut out if you were wondering. Oh, the chat thought it cut out because I didn't finish my sentence. The- Okay, what I was trying to say was... There's a reason these are the default options, because if you enable every single location... This game... This rando run would take 40 hours or more. I don't know what's going to be in the locations. And I've been plenty disappointed going to a location and getting gar garbage. But, um... I would encourage that chat member to do a full Wind Waker rando run... ...with every location having a potential progression item. There we go. I'm also not a speedrunner, I don't really... I mean, I haven't played this game since the Wii U version, so I don't know... ...all the stuff, you know? That kind of run would take me forever. Did you send back the Godzilla DVD? I did, yeah. Where was that damn submarine, though? 
Did you include the sign coughing? You bet I did. Ha! <laughs> Someone said, how much do I have to pay for a signed coughing? Um, the amount of time it, it takes me to go to the post office is not worth me sending out signed coughings. Thank you, though. I, I don't, I'm good. I'm good. You can... If I go to conventions ever again, like, they announced too many games is gonna happen this year. We'll see what happens. I don't know, I'm not signed up for it yet. Um, but if that does happen, or next year, if I feel comfortable going to a convention wearing a full-body, uh, latex condom suit, so I don't catch any, you know, any kind of weird diseases, then yeah, um, I'll bring coughing cards and I'll Jackal already helped you out with some of the suit. True. True. But I'm still not signing up for anything this year. Until I'm sure. You know. I still don't have any, um... Any shots or anything. I'm just... Just chilling. Just waiting. But biding my time. Seeing what's going on in the world. And, um... Just trying to... You know, like not be a fucking intense hypochondriac, because I was feeling kind of crusty the past couple days, and I'm, like, immediately getting a little bit like, hmm, that doesn't bode well, but I'm feeling okay. Today I feel ten times better. My car might have transmission problems, by the way. So that might be a, a very expensive replacement, and is still in the shop. So, that's been the one thing that sucks. The car dopamine was nice, though. It helped me forget about that. Did Windows update your car, too? Yeah, probably, right? Ask your buddy Leno for a loaner. Oh, yeah, you can come into my garage. I got how many want. I got, like, 40 cars. And, like, he just presses the V button and summons cars, and they just go fucking flying across the map. I'm like, wow, thanks, Jay Leno. So, a chat member has informed me I can get exactly one treasure chest in this place. I need bombs or a hammer. Otherwise, I, I cannot progress and we have to go search other places. Yeah, ghosts and goblins, I've been procrastinating heavily. What is that texture? That's not an original chat. Do I need command melody for this? No? Oh, okay, I can just lift them, yeah? Okay. Very good. Well done, Tingle. Well, well done, Vingle. Oh, right, right, right. I thought I... For a moment, I was like, do I have to set these crates up and jump across? I don't remember that. I like this dungeon. I don't remember the puzzles, but I like it. You get way more boxes in the HD edition. Oh, so they really, like... They added a lot of different things then for quality of life assurance. So was it generally regarded like by Mega Wind Waker fans as a good HD edition? Like it, it didn't piss anyone off like Majora's Mask, right? Because Majora's Mask had a number of issues that were very vocally discussed when I streamed it. And it was after I played it that I learned about those issues and I thought to myself, yeah, I guess you're kind of right about that. It's a shame, too, because it looked so good. It had the camera control. Oh, well. But, yeah, Wind Waker. I don't remember having any problems with Wind Waker HD. I thought it was cool. I wonder if I need bombs yet. So, what's the one treasure chest I can get? Past the gate you open. It's now been one year since New Horizons came out. Well, I'll be streaming it tomorrow early. Doom will be early as well. Animal Crossing and Doom will be at, like, um... Late afternoon streams. Um, and then I'm gonna join Ross in VR for a bit later on that night. I won't be streaming it, though. But I'll take the night off. I'll do that for a little while, and then I'll just, like, play some music, I guess. But, yeah, I won't be streaming it or anything. Um, but I think Ross will be. Or, or he's recording it. I'm not sure what he's doing, but his new world is, uh, is dropping. It seems like something fun to do. All right, here we go. <laughs> I mean... You know... I needed that too. You can do the seagull island switch now. I can, yeah. And the big pig as well, yeah. Does beetle, uh, rotate items? Because there's still a green over beetle's 20, um, rupee item. 
I wonder. Vinny, no, you got all this stuff. Actually, I don't have rare beetle. Bird Peak Rock. Yeah, I see it. Bird Peak Rock is over here, and I need to go there. I Like Ikea, I need to go there even more. Vinny, what day of the year do you watch The Shining? <laughs> um, usually close to Halloween, but like... I like to watch The Shining when it actually snows outside. For added effect. Just to every Tuesday? Sure, every Tuesday. When you get a shiny. I, yes, I watch The Shining when I pull a shiny card. It's almost Halloween. Not in this part of the Earth. Not, not on this planet. The rare beetle items aren't progression items. Oh, okay. I think I still need to go and grab them, though. I remember wanting to grab those. Alright, maybe I should go buy some beetle stuff now, because... I'm just gonna keep getting rupees, and I'd rather actually get rupees to buy stuff with. Also, beetle snuff is what Ferengi sniff. Oh, cool. Thanks, Grandma. Shit. I don't know if there's, um, a tracker element for that. Even though I didn't have the bag, I had two pairs anyway. God. Why would you do that to that poor seagull? There's also an item at the very top of the island of the Earth Temple that you need a hoi pair to get. Okay. That may not be progression, but if I go over there again, I'll be sure to get that. Nice! That opens up a lot. It's- oh my god. It's a gold tingle statue. <laughs> Just when you thought the tingle retextures and re- um, and models were over, Wind Temple is now fully accessible. And Fortress, too. Let's take a look. Fortress... It's- oh, there's a lot of yellows. Meaning, some I can get. We're gonna go to Beetle's special shop. Western and Thorned Fairy Islands are open now. That's good. What a really- I mean, granted, we needed that. Ah, oh, fuck this place again. Oh well, I'm here. May as well grab a fairy. Or, you know, just grabbing water. Now we head north. North? By northwest. No. no, we just head north. Oh, you know what? Let me go to regular beetle first. Like, common beetle. I think he gives an item. Bye. When you- yeah, when you get 50, you get an item, but it's- it's not gonna be a progression item, so... Could be a heart. Could be a full-ass heart, though. Thank you! I still have a couple charts that aren't open yet. We need Tingle to open them. I keep thinking I'm gonna hear Yoshi music whenever I open a chart up. Can someone get me the Yoshi song? And I wanna see if it's in the same key, if it's that similar. I will guarantee this is not the Yoshi song that this chat member has linked. Oh. Okay, this is the one right here. Thank you, decoy. It goes... Da -na -na -na. Almost, almost. It's not in the same... it's close, but not quite. Never mind. Well, now I can stop thinking it sounds like that. That's good. I wonder if I should just check off Beetle from the map. Because it, it claims there's a progression item, but I don't believe it for a second. Let's check Golden Beetle. You bought a map from him in the bait bag slot. Really? Man, because Beetle's all over the damn map. I'm gonna remove it. Wow, that helps so much. If it turns out we need Beetle, I'll know where to find him. He's everywhere. So this is what Beetle has. 30 arrows for 30 rupees, magic armor for 950 rupees, and treasure chart 31. 
Honestly, it's kind of shit, but I have it. You got the command melody from Beetle previously. Okay. Directly west of here is an island, and that's where we need to go next. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a treasure chart. Um, I saw the thing, I saw the light pillar in the sky there. I want, I want to grab that, or not the sky, but you know what I mean. I'm going to grab that real quick. Oh! We went without bottle for so long, and now we can't stop getting bottle. Um, I need bombs for this section, right? Oh wait, no. Not, not necessarily. Uh, yeah, mate, well... Mm. No, I need bombs. There's no where to lift them from. Even the hammer, like, it's- I think I'd just be too far away. How's your alien? What's he been up to? Uh, he just watched me dissect a Charizard to find a key between Jesse's boobs. So, uh, sorry, uh, James's. So, he's probably a little traumatized, but... I'll buy him pizza tomorrow, he'll be fine. Imagine what's hidden inside the alien. <laughs> I already did this. I figured, hey, it can't hurt, there probably is a treasure chest. Yeah, the alien autopsy. It's just nougat. I open him up, it's just nougat. I'm like, wait a minute, there's no Pokemon cards in here. Oh! Alright, here we go. I need bombs. Definitely not the Tingle Tuner, just bombs. <laughs> or the delivery bag. Spoils bag. I mean, there's so many things that I still need. It's bombs! Oh, man. You can carry up to 30. Actually, I can carry up to 60, because I got the progression bombs, but not bombs. Blessed by the bomb fairy. You can break the wall and outset now. I could. I could. I honestly, most of the game is open now. Now you need Triforce pieces and light arrows. I do. They could be in dungeons. Spoils and delivery bag. I don't think I need, right? Last sword upgrade, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can do everything that doesn't involve the delivery bag now. Okay. Forsaken Fortress is now totally open, and there are many treasure chests up there. You want to do that now, chat? Let's do it now. Fuck it. Let's go there right now. Look at the single yellow dot on the map. It's Private Oasis. You know what's funny? I started with the deed to the Oasis. That was the first thing I gave myself on purpose, just because I figured it would be cool to, like, have this little story of Tingle owning his own Oasis. And then I couldn't open it. Oh, uh, well. I screwed that up. You marked off that boulder island on accident? Um, probably not on accident. The story is now Tingle traveling to find his keys. Let's be honest, Zelda was always about gotcha mechanics. You burn a bush in Zelda 1, you don't know if you're gonna get... the old man who makes you pay? Whoa, weird rock. You don't know if you're gonna get the old man who makes you pay for the damage, or that, like, a goblin, or sorry, a moblin is going to give you... rupees. It was always... crapshoot. Vinny, that's RNG. I know, I'm just busting balls. Imagine if Pokemon cards just sometimes had $100 in them. That's... actually a good chunk of the reason why people buy them, as opposed to just collecting and playing the game, because they like the cards. I mean... That's exactly what happens. Sphinx, did you see me pull the Enterprise earlier? It was... I was, like, expecting a crusty, fucking disgusting Kazon. Oh, well, you... you'd enjoy it. No, I just got a TNG booster pack. Yeah. Imagine if you had the light arrows here. Oh, you mean the light arrows that are in this treasure chest right here? Fuck. And Master Sword upgrade. Forsaken Fortress dungeon map. That'll help me find the sword upgrade. I don't remember where all the treasure chests are, but uh, I'm sure we'll just randomly stumble into them. There's three left. So one is the compass. Should I just say it as compass? We'll, we'll chat. Like, do you think chat will appreciate that more? I might not need to do any of this stuff. I think the randomizer makes it a little bit easier so that you don't have to do all the busy work at the Forsaken Fortress. Double magic would be a pretty nice upgrade. Whoa, rat! 
Whoa, what the hell, rat? Let's just uh, look around here. We're gonna go all the way this way until I can't go all the way this way any further. If you use this, the hammer spin attack on the Denes, they go into another dimension. Oh, I forgot you could do a spin attack, yeah. Vinny, that's jail. Isn't There's a treasure chest in there, no? I see it. Um, oh. Okay. Two treasure chests remain. And then Helmarok as well. I don't know if I can get up there from here. Oh, I have to do some wackiness. Which, yeah, why are they giving, like, bombs to rats? Let's see, maybe there's a spot I could hook shot up. Mm. No, not not from here. If you put bait in front of the rat holes, you can buy things. Oh yeah, I remember that. I want to send them into another dimension. Well, that's pretty cool too, but... NICE! That was a grand slam, that wasn't a home run. It's fucking things... Well, at least they didn't feel it. Tough motherfucker to survive a hammer hit like that. I still can't believe I had to operate on Charizard to get cards. What... What is my life? Jackal... goes... to some pretty amazing extremes for a good jape. I didn't eat rocks, to be fair. At least I didn't have to eat rocks. Thank you, Jackal, once again, if you're watching. That was... amazing. I enjoyed that segment thoroughly. Ocarina of Time 3D Randomizer came out today. Oh, fuck. How is Ocarina of Time 3D running on Citra these days? Real good? Great, actually? Nice. Vinny, wasn't that bit entirely scripted? I didn't know what was in the box. <laughs> entirely scripted. You've watched my streams. Come on, or maybe you haven't. I don't script a lot. Really, truly, I, I kind of am too lazy for that. But I also didn't know what I was going to get in those card packs. And when Jackal told me... Like, hey, there's gonna be a package soon at your P.O. box. I was like, huh. Okay. I didn't ask. I've learned not to. It's like Sunday stream will have a general kind of idea, and then the vetting team gets it together. Usually as much as possible without me knowing exactly what I'm gonna be streaming. Like the, the specifics. Triforce Shard. Oh. Uh, that, that just seems like a weird place for a Triforce piece. Um, Helmarok has an item too, yeah? Off to Helmarok we go. I just- <laughs> I like doing that, it's fun. So yeah, I'd like to do- apparently there are patches for Majora's Mask, um, 3D. To make some of the more egregious changes go away. And revert back to original Majora while keeping the good things. Next time I stream Majora's Mask in full, whenever that would be, it would be a couple years from now, I'd imagine, or a year or two, because I did a rando run last year, and, and that was good for me for then, for, at that time. But if that ever comes along, and uh, it, it runs really well on Citra, and all those patches are good, I would stream that. When we, um, Ocarina of Time rando sounds fun, too. I mean, I've... I've done Ocarina of Time Rando, and the run, I think, was slightly shorter than this in Majora. But, like, the only, um, Rando runs... The only Rando runs that take, like, two streams are, like, Zelda 1 and 2. And maybe Link to the Past, if you know what you're doing. Like, the, the 2D games are a lot more, I guess, expedient. The 3D games can take a while. You have to, like, kind of... Majora sounds like... Majora Randomizer sounds like a nightmare. I did it last year. And you know what? It was fun, but you're right, it was kind of a nightmare. Some of the games in the 3D series are just, like, massive. And there's a lot of different places where all the little stuff can be. And all the big stuff, too. All the small things! Sorry. Uh, so I don't know, really, if... Without customizing them, you could do a run in one sitting, unless you're Simple Flips. Because Simple Flips is amazing and knows the game. For someone like me, where I played the games, I love them, but I don't know them inside and out. These runs are fun, but they take a lot longer. Would you do Breath of the Wild randomizer? 
what could what could even be randomized in that? You can go straight to Ganon from the beginning. Like, I, I feel like it would be much less interesting or exciting. And then, like, you get more health by going to shrines. Items inside shrines. Randomized Koroks. <laughs> um, uh... Champion powers and treasure chests. Ganon is replaced with rupees. There's not a whole lot of permanent items in that game. Enemy randomization would be best. You know what would be even bester? More enemies. Good. That's what I get for trying to show off. Chat, the other day I found that I have Lilu Dallas multipass. Like, I have the actual multipass. It's not the, you know, screen used prop. It's a replica. It's a cheap replica, but it, I found it. I'm like, why do I have this again? It was in like a poop crate or something. All that for a drop of blood. Oh, I watched the Falcon Winter Soldier first episode. Because it's something to watch. I, I, it's okay. I actually thought the action stuff was the least interesting stuff. The character stuff is good, though. Um, I don't have Disney Plus. I just, you know, find it. But um, I liked it because it, it actually explored the character stuff. And it wasn't just punch, 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 punch in the face. Um, so I like that. I think this is actually a better... TV's a better thing for Marvel to do now after all the, the craziness of Thanos. And uh, I really like Bucky's plot. I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen there because... You know, it, it's, I, I say I like it, but it's depressing as fuck. And uh, it's, it's a sad frog. Also, that dude really could play Luke Skywalker. Like, there were a couple moments where I was like, just recast, recast, use Sebastian Stan, he's good. Very good actor. Same for, um, Falcon's actor, I forget his name, he was in an episode of Black Mirror, that dude is... ...very charismatic. Anthony Mackie, I, he's also funny, I like his interviews. And he was not afraid to talk shit about Marvel, even though he's a part of the fucking MCU, there's an interview where he just, like, takes the piss out of it, or take... Not takes the piss out of it, but you know what I mean. It's cool that they're exploring the lesser, you know, the lesser characters. And again, I say this as someone who's only seen most of the movies and has never read a comic a day in his goddamn life. This is a cool fight, uh, boss fight. Fight. However, difficulty... This game had a difficulty balancing issue. I think I played Wind Waker Wii U on... Oh, On, uh, hero mode, if I'm not mistaken. It was better for it. Someone said, I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, neither did I. Ah! Splish. Are you ever gonna watch Breaking Bad? One day, yes. Have you ever watched Cobra Kai? Uh, no, I don't, I'm not really that interested. I never really grew up with the Karate Kid. I remember Mr. Miyagi. Paint the fence. I don't remember a whole lot. I watched it probably once when I was a kid. Have you watched Netflix Marvel shows? No. Vinny, you, you'd like Breaking Bad. I know. I'm definitely excited to watch it one day, whenever that day may occur. And, uh, Better Call Saul as well. Why haven't you watched it? Why- there are many things that I haven't watched in the world. More things than I have seen, I haven't. And it's like why I haven't watched all of The Sopranos. Just no reason. Just haven't. So we've got... Wind Temple entrance. That's completed. Well, that will be, you know, that's needed. Private Oasis, we're still waiting on. Thorned Fairy Island. We're gonna go to the Thorned Fairy Island, because that's easy. And then, uh, we'll figure out which dungeon to go to next. Vinny, you should watch Star Trek. I think you'd like it. No. Vin, you should watch the Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> no problem! Have you met V-Dub in person? I have, but I've, I've, uh, also met E-Dub. There is no new lore. E-Dub is the original dub. When I was younger, one of my best friends growing up introduced me to a number of his friends. And he had a friend who called himself E-Dub. And so when V-Dub needed a name, I helped him come up with it. 
and uh, I remembered the the E Dub name from nearly 20 years ago. E Dub is real. Now E Dub used that name as like a rap name, but I don't think E Dub ever rapped. So more mail. Three letters. Why so many letters? What? Beetle's shop ship. We have bombs. Yeah. Treasure chart 14. Incredible chart from Tingle. Wow, did I really just pay that many rupees to get a shitty 50 rupee from Tingle? Myself? I sent a letter to myself. What? Thank you, Arrol. See, now Arrol is very nice. Because Arrol was like, I'm going to give Tingle an item that actually is needed. So who gets the money when you scam yourself? Like, I just paid myself 200 rupees to give myself 50 rupees. Who- who gets that? The Postal Service. Oh, shit. I wonder if it's a tax write-off. I mean, Tingle is still paying for that private cabana. And hasn't been there in months. Okay. Disregarding dungeons, there's only one more place on the map that could have progression. Jabba at Outset Island. Try fighting big octos, you'll get more rupees. Yeah, I'm gonna have to identify the uh, charts soon. The Triforce charts. But we're good for now. Even I get bored sometimes, Jabba. Yeah. Jabba, have you seen my hollow foil Millennium Falcon car? Worst emote? Oh, the long solo emote. Is that mine or Mike's? I, I don't even remember. Solo lull? Who whose is that? That's mine? Forgot we even had that. I just started blasting her. It doesn't matter where, everywhere. Not here. Instead, raft with treasure chest. It's the fourth bottle. Three bottles in one stream. I do love the extra steps window waker. Rando takes to make sure that you have a good play session. It's nice. And then remember, chat, I still have um, the Zelda 2 randomizer. After my last Zelda 2 run was updated in the best possible way. Like, there's community dungeon sections, so now dungeons will be different. There's all kinds of shit. Half encounters on the overworld. It's it's gonna be good. Next wind, uh, next Zelda two rando I do is gonna be awesome. You should make sure there isn't another update after that. I hope there is. Check right now. Z two randomizer. Um, check for updates. You're up to date. It's I got the newest version. Still though, really, it was the December fifth update, but the big one. From November 28th was the one that uh, I was most excited about. Are you going to take a quick look at Risk of Rain 2 once the anniversary update arrives this month? A pasta possible. What's um, what's the update looking like? New survivor and a bunch of content. New survivor, new boss. Awesome. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, Cyberpunk is finally getting an update, and they're just making the uh, the cops spawn further behind you so that they don't spawn in your face there's um so there's that there's a way to not like dodge to the point where you like get confused and it makes the cars handle a little bit better was that it three fixes there was four fixes i don't remember what the fourth one was but it was nothing substantial i don't know if they're releasing more updates but it just blows my mind like, that system is so awful. It's just GTA has a similar system, but at least it masks it, masks it really well. I just feel like if we're going to get any substantial updates to that game, don't get your hopes up for this year. Like, maybe by the end of the year there will be something. But I don't know what they could possibly do. I really don't. At least, that is, like, again, I'm not playing this game... I will never defend this game 
the way some people would, and I would never bash it the way some people would. I'm kind of just sitting here liking it for the wrong and the right reasons. The point is, though, uh, I don't really care one way or another. I'm getting my entertainment value out of it through the glitches and everything else. Though I wonder, I really do wonder if they spent, like, a good chunk of time really trying to fix the game up, would it even, like, be that much different? I, I just don't have high hopes for that. Like, making it so that the police spawn further behind you is not really the best kind of fix. It's nice because at least now you have a chance to run the fuck away, but it, the whole fucking game just needs an overhaul if they're gonna make it feel anything like the same living world that GTA has. And, uh, clearly that was their intent. They did say they needed more time on Cyberpunk, but they had to rush things at the end because people are getting mad. I don't think they were able to test it properly on console, even. Well, the console shit show. That's a whole different story. Listen, the Cyberpunk conversation has been done and done and done and done, and I don't really even want to go into it. The truth is, though, it was, yeah, obviously it was rushed. Either it was CD Projekt itself, of course the fans wanted the game to come out because it was delayed over and over and over again. But ultimately they're the ones that pulled the trigger. So yeah, now we're four months away from the game. Right? Four? Three? Three months or so? And we're getting a patch that fixes a couple minor things like the dodge button and some driving stuff. And uh, a, a broken system that shouldn't have been implemented the way it was in the first place. Just a shame. Those are the only parts of the full update. Only parts of the full update. We'll see. I don't mind one way or another. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up finishing the game just because I got so far in. But I haven't even seen Takamura and he's crying. Like seriously, the thing about it is if I stream the game for two hours, an hour of that is me trying to glitch it. Ten minutes of that is the game glitching anyway. And then maybe we get 50 minutes of story that I barely pay attention to unless Keanu is twisting his arm around his neck. So I don't even... Like, my investment in that game is so minimal. But yet, I kind of want to see what happens to Keanu. So I'll probably finish it, patch or not. And then, you know... If two years from now, people are like, No, dog, you gotta see what they did. It's like No Man's Sky. They made it good. I'll probably, like, install it, boot it up once, drive around, go into space, visit the shrimp lady, and then just turn the game off. But hey, you know what? Had a lot of good streams out of it. A lot of good clips. Light torches for a treasure chest. In where? In the room I was in? Right outside the lower room. Okay. What is the Zelda 2 randomizer Vinny's talking about? What is it called? It's called Z2. Z2 randomizer version 4.0.3. Someone said, um, Vinny, there's a Nintendo ninja in chat. Nintendo doesn't give a shit about Zelda 2. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, uh, always really nice to just find a Triforce randomly. A Triforce piece randomly in a treasure chest. Triumph Forks. Right. Yeah, Miyamoto thought Zelda 2 was a failure. And the thing is, I don't fully disagree with him. It was a shit Zelda game. It's it's just a cool game. I like it. I think it's got a lot of cool things in it. Um, but it, he was right. It was rushed and, and flawed. And there are many annoyances I have with that game, despite my um, my love for it. I would love to see them take another shot at it, though. Like, that's a game that would be good for a fucking remaster, or like a reimagining. Keep it side-scrolling. Maybe do something similar with the gameplay, because I think the gameplay is cool. This is my, of course, my opinion. This is what I would do. I would fix up the way the items work and the magic. And, uh, the overworld. Horrendous enemy spawns. And just try to do justice to the Zelda, original Zelda timeline and, and theme and then charge 60 bucks for it, and then make it unavailable after a certain date. Good evening, 007. This is a remake of Zelda 2. 
It will self-destruct in precisely five minutes. Enjoy your time with the game. GoldenEye Remaster would be dope, says a chat member. I mean, I just played it. They remade it in Source. Not the single player, though. Wow, I am doing this in the worst possible way. I'm going to assume there's no treasure chest up here, right? There is one. The one you already got. But why would they do that? There's, there's nothing there. Is it a Tingle treasure chest? You can't- you just can't see it, or open it, or interact with it in any way. But it's there. It's there. <laughs> it's okay. These things do happen, chat. Sometimes there are rooms that have little japes in them. Did you like the Link's Awakening remake? I streamed it. It was alright. It had some frame rate issues that weren't enough of a problem to ruin the game for me by any means. Um, but I thought the style was pretty cute. It was okay. The created dungeon feature was a lot lamer than I thought it would be. I want to see his beautiful face. Nice. Bomb the top platform for a tingle chest. Like up there? Or back here? Oh, back here. Great. Great. What is Link doing in this timeline? Um... Home in his PJs? Yeah. Donkey cock. <laughs> okay. Probably have to bring these things over. Oh, you... You jerk. Hoi! I'm not even gonna bother fighting them. Oh! Be patient, Vinny. I don't know what that is. I've yet to learn that lesson. Um... I guess maybe I don't. Tingle decimated Tomato Town. Oh, hey. Thank you, Joel. I don't know a raid song. I don't know how to do a raid song. I guess I don't need to do this because I have the bow already, no? As I was saying, chat, uh, this room is, is pointless, right? For now? No, you need to do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. It's stupid. <laughs> what the fuck was that sentence? Why am I tingle? Look at him. Enjoy. If you think tingle's cool, wait until you see tingle's shield. His old shield was better. And tingle's hammer. His old sword was better, too, yeah. Wait, did you just imply that his old sword was better than the Master Sword? You know, the Sword of Evil's Bane? Oh. Good night, Joel. Thank you again for the raid. Hope your stream went well. Hi, everyone. You're stuck with me now. Could be worse. I could be opening cards. I could have, you know, I could be dissecting Charizard to find Pokemon card. Luckily that, nothing like that ever happens here on this channel. Show James. I like how chat is now like the excited friend to show the other friend the bizarre thing that happened. Yo, you gotta show them. You gotta show them James. I will, I don't have a, I don't have a link to it. Because when I showed it before, my computer crashed. Aww. That is a key in there, in between there. Betwixt the cheeks of love. You know the song Between the Cheeks of Love? That, that stupid song? I don't know who wrote it, but... At one point, I almost added the lyric Betwixt the Cheeks of Love. I, I really, if I could go back and do one thing different, I would have, I would have added that. Vinny, I think that would have been too much. Vomit in the ball pit, step right up and take a shit. That's fine. Betwixt the cheeks of love, too much. Vinny, I actually kind of like that song. It's catchy. I like the song. Arnell did a really good job on the vocals. 
Oh, you just learned the command melody here. This to me this means I'll get an item. Wait a minute. Most obscure band you like? Oh god. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything as obscure as I'd like to. Um, Dead Meadow is the name of a band I really like. Pink Floyd, yeah, I don't- no one- no one knows. Dead Meadow's great. I'm a big fan of them and- and, uh, Butthole Surfers. They're not that obscure, dude. They were on Letterman. Dead Meadow's not that obscure. Well then- well then, shit. There's a lot of stuff on my Sunday stream playlists that- not Sunday stream, just stream playlist from when I was doing BRBs. There's like a lot of random stuff that I only know one or two songs from the particular artist, and I'm just- I'm not sure who they even are, I just heard the song and liked it. Some of those might be pretty obscure. Vinny, no one I know besides you likes R.E.M. Dude, R.E.M. was one of the most popular bands of the 80s at one point, and early 90s. They were an extremely... On Spotify, their monthly listeners are 12 million. Losing My Religion has 608 million listens on Spotify. They're still played in grocery stores to this day. So, that- I mean, that said... What you said was, I'm the only one that you know that likes them. And that's a different thing entirely than popularity. But I- I think they're one of the best rock bands, or alternative rock bands, I think, of all time. I really believe that. It took me years to believe that. It took me, like, an album of theirs every year. And now, I don't doubt that for a second. But that's just my personal opinion. Ugh. Um, not an obscure band, but just something that came to mind. Not obscure at all, but I love Echo and the Bunnymen. They're great. It's just that name makes people laugh if they've never heard them before. Great 80s band. I've talked about them, I've played their songs. They're not obscure at all, but they're just fantastic. Do you like Dire Straits? Yeah. I was never, like, a huge fan, but... Yeah, they have some pretty good songs. They're, um, some would consider them one of the best rock bands of all time, but I, I don't, I don't... I mean, Mark Knopfler is one of the best guitarists. Do you like the band Garbage? Because I love Garbage. Yeah, uh, Butch Vig is their drummer who produced a lot of great albums. And, uh, Garbage is cool, yeah. I had one of their albums as a kid. It's gone now. Alright, Dark Nut. Mine now. <laughs> Yo! We got fully powered up Master Sword now. I need one Triforce piece and light arrows, yeah? Do you like Dinosaur Jr.? Actually, yes. Dinosaur Jr. is awesome. Do you have any vinyl records? I have a, a modest collection of vinyl records, yes. Any hollow vinyls? Actually, King Gizzard infest the rat's nest is kind of holographic, if I'm not mistaken. So, kinda. Coolest vinyl record you own. My favorite is the White Album reissue they did, the remix. There's just a lot of stuff in there. I'm a big fan of it. It's like a book. It's book fresh. Do you still have no way of playing a record? I don't, but I will remedy that soon. Do you have Nonagon Infinity on vinyl? No, I don't. My current thing is, I'd like one record of each of my favorites. And I'm fine with that. I don't need their whole discography. Because it, it becomes expensive. If you think cards are expensive, you know, vinyl collection can be even more so. I got it. It's just, I've had this damn command melody since the beginning of the game, pretty much. Do you have any Radiohead vinyl? You know what? I saw it in Rainbows at Rough Trade, and I was gonna get it. And I didn't. I don't think I have any Radiohead. What's your opinion on emo shit? It was- I- it was the wrong- I was the wrong generation for that. I didn't understand it. I knew someone that liked it, and I was like, okay, but not really for me. I had a couple songs I liked, I don't remember what they were, <laughs> but yeah. I'm sure there's- there's always good stuff hidden within everything. I just never got into it. Vinny is always happy, says one chat member. Another said Nirvana is emo shit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the music I listened to, even, like, Nirvana, yeah, that was, like... 
There's a lot of sad shit in there. I like that stuff. I like sad music. So, I just- it's the- the emo... I think I'm confusing emo with screamo. That's... maybe a little different. I just like the way Kurt sang, even if his scream was like- I, I liked his scream. Whereas a lot of the screamo stuff... It, it was just- there's something about it that the stuff I heard didn't do anything for me. You know, don't take this as Vin hates the thing you like. It's not the case. You can still like the thing you like if the streamer doesn't like it that much. Good. Bad. Vinny, do you listen to much prog? No, but I'm I'm uh I'm open to prog rock. I just I love Mars Volta. I love I don't think they're really prog. Um, but I've been really enjoying Genesis lately, like early Peter Gabriel Genesis. I'm sure there are prog fans that would be like, Vin, that's not any of- that's- uh, none of that is good. That's not real prog. Real prog is this. Because you get into the weeds with genres and people have very strong opinions about it, and that's been my experience with prog. So, yeah, I mean, it's not my go-to. I kind of like simple, poppy songs sometimes that can be a little bit longer. But, you know, I'll listen to it. But I'm loving The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. That's a great album, and it makes me want to listen to, um... Early Genesis a whole lot more. Porcupine Tree? Yeah. I actually really like Porcupine Tree. I don't know all their stuff, but I... I really enjoy their albums. Uh, Steven Wilson, I know his solo stuff. It's good shit. Got a noteworthy outlier favorite artist to the stuff you normally like. I really like Bobby Womack. I like a lot of soul music that I grew up listening to and hearing. And, um, Billy Preston, Isaac Hayes. So, maybe that's a little unexpected for some people, but... That and the song Eyes On Me from the Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack. <laughs> I really like that. And maybe people would be upset to learn that I had the first two Smash Mouth albums. Now, Smash Mouth, they're kind of tools. But I really like those first two records. I'll be honest, they were catchy as fuck. And someone bought me Fushu Meng and Astro Lounge, and they were in my rotation. They were definitely in my CD player, more than I'd care to admit. That and Odelay by Beck were the things that weren't strictly rock that I listened to, even though Beck, you know, is kind of a rock musician. What's a CD player? Um, I listened to Odelay again, by the way. Just all the way through. Fucking hell. What a great album. You can't ignore being reminded that you're old, Vin. What, what's a CD player? It's like a record player. You know, those new things that everyone is spending a lot of money on? But the discs were even smaller. Like baby vinyls. Yeah, baby vinyl. Shit. Apparently the Master Sword has some new detail. Oh shit, Tingle's on it! Nice. It's a little detail, but it's- it's cool. Uh, there's supposed to be a treasure chest here. It's another Tingle chest? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's the map. Here's the map! Where do you wish to go? Golly! Gee willikers! I can't wait to dong some babondos! Someone made a video of Morshu singing Somebody That I Used To Know by Gautier. And it was- obviously you can only use the sentences that the Morshu actor said as Morshu. And yet it- it weirdly worked very well. I mean, I know people have been doing this for years now for the poop sentence mixing. I'm just amazed that they're still finding new and innovative ways to do it and to shit posts by, for example, posting um, more shoe singing Gautier, somebody that I used to know, song from the time that it was made. Amen. Is this the song right here? I'd like to play a little bit of it. It won't get claimed. Oh 
myself that you were right for me. But you didn't have enough rubies. <laughs> have one time to come to me. Oh, I want to hear the, the chorus. I was richer. But you didn't have to come to me. Hey, no, I can never have it in fact here. No, they can't. I don't even need to ruby such a tree. My life is on me and I feel so rough. No, you didn't have to stew so low. Have your friends cut up your anchors and then change your love. Okay, I've had enough. It's, it, <laughs> it's, it's good, but Jesus. Do Link's part? Wait, wait, Link sings in that too? Vinny, you, you cut him off. I didn't have to cut him off, but I did anyway. Now then, I think of all the times you screwed me over. This is so fucking dumb. Oh, do you believe me? It was always something that I done. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one of you that we we don't get to every word you say. You said that you could let it go. I want to catch you hung up on some rubies that I used to go. Oh my god. I just wonder, like. God, what if you told these actors what was going to happen to their voices? That was fascinating. Um. Yeah, I, I just wonder, like, do you think. In the grand scheme of the universe, that like if you could go back in time and tell those actors, like, listen, you, you're gonna be a part of a thing that's way bigger than any one of you. You will do 25 minutes of work that will last for decades. They'd be like, for this project? And you'd say yes. Mark Grau returned from Hotel Mario to voice one. That's true. He did. Yes, Mario's voice actor has embraced the meme. Somebody that I used to. You know, there's a lot of things that people thought would just be a paycheck and ended up becoming big. Yeah, any of the room. Troll 2. Not that they were really able to really monetize the uh, Troll 2 that, like they did the room. Because Tommy, whatever you say about him, is probably true. But he's also a very good businessman. I'm just saying, he knew how to monetize that room selling underwear the, the day after it became a meme. He's like, how oh, you wear my underwear on your balls? <laughs> this movie is black comedy. It's supposed to be funny, but la you laugh, you cry. Tommy did it to an obnoxious degree. I actually agree with that. I think Tommy's acceptance of his meme status in many ways became, it diminished some of the fun of the room because it just became too self-aware, and then he made a bunch of, like, awful projects that were attempts at comedy, and then, like, he did, like, you know, 50 showings of The Room a year anywhere they would have him at a midnight screening. And you know what? I've been to one of them. It was fucking awesome. But, like, that dude has to really think about... He has to know people are laughing at the movie. But, you know what? While they're laughing at the movie, Tommy's laughing all the way to the fucking bank. I do think there's part of what he wanted to do was become like this famous, respected actor-director, though. I really do believe that. I think that was the original intent of the film. But, you know, Tommy. But the weird thing is, too, for me, is that Tommy didn't really make anything else after The Room. He just kind of sat on it for years, and then it became like a meme, and then he started doing more work. So it's not like he was working on the film, like, in the film industry, m like, further after that movie. He just kind of disappeared from it. He did. It's called Best Friends. No, no, I mean, like, you know, the, the immediate couple years after the Room movie. He did Best Friends with Greg, um, recently. F wow, five rupees. I watched part one of the Best Friends movie, and then I was just like, I'm good. Like, I, I didn't see part two. I don't really want to. I'm, I'm fine. Tommy pretty much only acted in Best Friends. Part two is where it gets good, though. We still got Neil Breen. Love that guy. Yeah, Neil Breen is actually trying to hire someone to do special effects. Which I think is... I'm a little worried about because I wonder if that's going to take the Neil Breen magic away. What I mean by that is his movies have a particular look. 
like a stank, if you will. And I worry that if he hires someone very professional in a professional movie, then the movies will just they'll lose some of the charm. But you know what? We've gotten five or so really, like, non-self-aware, amazing Neil Breen films. I'm happy with that. I think his charm will still be there, whether or not he edits the special effects. I was just a thought. Hand boss. Yeah, you'll still have his acting, you'll still have his editing. Man, Nintendo was just having a field day. They, we got hand and eye boss. Also, this reminds me, this this music reminds me of how um, Uematsu said he was a fan of a lot of prog rock, western prog, like um, Genesis and um, ELP. And there's a song on The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway that sounds like a fucking Final Fantasy song. It's so good. This sounds like ELP. A little bit. I'll tell you which one if you give me a minute. Not too bad. This dungeon took a lot longer than I expected. So I'm only gonna get an hour in of the other game. But that's okay. I wanna play it. Uh, I just need some water. Okay, what item do we get from this? It's, um, a C chart. So the name of the song... is... Hairless Heart. I can't really play too much of it, but I'll give you an example of the, the tone of it. It's like that. It's like that kind of thing. Um, it's good. It's really cool. I wonder if that influenced um, some of my favorite composers. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's it for this for now. Uh, someone said next stream will be the last stream for sure. Now, I think you're right. However, we still don't have the deed to the cabana. We still have Wind Temple. We still have the rest of the Earth Temple. We need Light Arrows. And one more Triforce. The problem is, there's a chance that... I will need the spoils bag, or rather the uh, mail bag, before I can get one or the other. So, we'll see. I mean, I'm thinking I'm probably also going to have to get some more hearts, but having... You know what? Having four bottles is going to make Ganon a lot more tolerable. Okay, Wind Waker Rando, possibly one more stream. I guess we'll find out next week. This has been a really fun stream for me. Randomizers are also a good way for me to revisit games that I like without having to go through the entire game. So, it's kind of cool to be able to um, play Wind Waker in like 10 to 12 hours as opposed to like 30. chat. I just discovered that there are some good emote submissions. So, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. So, I, I started my computer. I was like, why does the audio sound like this? And I listened through my headphones. I listened through my speakers. I'm like, something just sounds fucked up. What is that? And then I listen a little closely, it, it, it sounds like everything's stuck in an echo. Like a slight slapback echo. I realized that my Sound Blaster Autogy control panel likes to default to an auditorium setting. It thinks it's nice. I like, what? And it, it was routing everything that I would hear through a little delay. I don't know, man. I, uh, Sound Blaster does not need to exist. Um, just like Windows Update. I hope I can go through this stream without a crash. Did you check your headset for centipedes? Oh, yeah. Okay. First issue of the night. Controller doesn't work. 
did you watch the new Red Letter Media? I did, yeah. Uh, I didn't see the Zack Snyder. I didn't see it. But now I'm more interested hearing that you can watch it in chunks. Ugh. GameCube adapter. It worked two days ago. Let me switch the USB ports. Hey! All right, chat, let's figure out what we're doing. Still don't <laughs> have access to my own private oasis. We, we find more rupees. Well, maybe. Triforce charts could be it. I'll tell you what we need. Apparently I need the, the song. All right, so I have missing one song, one tune. I don't know if I need that. Can I go to Hyrule? There's a reason to go to Hyrule in this, yeah? No delivery bag. What if I go down to Hyrule? The Master Sword. Something should be at the Master Sword location. Now... The question is, how do I get there? I don't remember. Vinny, you need all the Triforce pieces. Oh, right. What dungeon haven't I gone to yet, chat? Did I do Gale Island? Or was I at Headstone Island? You haven't finished Headstone. Okay, so then we go to Earth for the most chance of treasure chests. I... I need, uh... Light arrows. How do you do this again? Wow. Hey Vinny, I just joined the stream. Why the hell are you tingle? I want... I want you to tingle when you see tingle. Like I do. Do you know that Peter Frampton song, Do You Feel Like I Do? And then he goes, wah, 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 wah. Just like that. So I'm a little addicted to that Peter Gabriel um, Genesis uh, stuff right now, chat. And I, I'm going to be listening to a lot of Peter Gabriel again. Because, man, that dude, that dude has got some great fucking music. I remember the video for Sledgehammer when I was a kid, and I always liked that, because it was like cool stop motion. But then, my friend Bill got me into Peter Gabriel more. What's your favorite song off of Lamb? I really like Counting Out Time. I- that's the one in my head right now. I'm counting out time. I can't get that song out of my head. I like, um, the one I mentioned, Hairless Heart. I like, uh, New York City. Carpet Crawlers is so good. Carpet Crawlers is so, so good. Wrong island. No, this is also the right island. I'm just looking for items, chat. I don't need to actually finish the dungeons. I need the Triforce and I need some items. We can do this one, and then we can go to the other one. Carpet Crawlers aren't those centipedes. You bet they are. Niantic announced they're, announced they're developing a Pikmin mobile application to make walking more fun. I like going for walks. I like Pikmin. <laughs> Cartoon noise intensifies. It's nice having a fully powered up Master Sword. It's really great. Plant seed with mind control? What? what? Can I actually plant seeds? It sounds like Mario 64 level. With Makar you can? Is, is it worth it? I don't remember this dungeon. <laughs> I really don't. You need to. I'll tell you what, that Dominion Rod in Twilight Princess... Sure, it doesn't take too long to play the song, but... being able to, like, just use an item... is nice. Why can't you just ask him to plant it and not forcefully take over his mind? Honestly, that would be fine. I would- I would prefer that. I, it would be faster. The run would go faster. I- I really don't want to have anything to do with mind control right now, but... Wow, wow. Link can't talk, but Tingle can. Treasure chart 41. Rattle me fucking bones. I, I feel like that was just punishment for that skeleton. Skeleton! Auto! Starting any new games this week? Um... Monster Hunter. And then, next week is RimWorld, I think. Again, don't expect, like, everyday Monster Hunter, crazy, obsessive Monster Hunter. I'm gonna probably be addicted for a little while, because Monster Hunter is the shit. 
but it's only the shit after like three years. It's like the Animal Crossing cycle. I need to go to Ikea. I need the time and space away from Monster Hunter so that I can like it. And I'm ready for Monster Hunter. I'm ready for it. How do I do this puzzle? Do I have to fly him up there by controlling his mind? How do I turn those fans off? Vinny, I hope you're not feeling compelled to play RimWorld if you don't want to. I promise you... RimWorld is the shit. I fucking love RimWorld. And once I start playing it, I'm gonna get addicted and, and really enjoy it and get into it. I just... ...haven't had a chance to start it. Like, I ha I've had a lot of other stuff I was streaming. So... Uh, those fans really are kind of lame. Well, I know I can get my car up there with the, the melody. Um, you can fly up from the other side. Oh, I guess you just need to hit the switch. Is Season 2 going to continue off Season 1 in Terraria lore? Um... Uh... Loosely. I don't really have the capacity to think about these things that much. What I mean by that is I'd like to just enjoy it and start fresh. I'll probably have a couple of familiar faces. Dreeb will be there. There's gonna be a couple little mods, I think, too. Are you accepting suggestions for mods? Only a couple. I'm gonna do, like I said, expansion. And, um, expansion plus vanilla expanded, some of it, and a couple of quality of life changes. Um, milkable humans. I don't know if I'm doing that yet. I might not do it just despite the fucking weirdos in chat that want me to milk my colonists. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, and then I think a couple of little character mods. If you have suggestions, I don't want too many mods, but if you have a good mod suggestion... ...for something that's not going to overcomplicate the RimWorld experience, then, um, yeah, let me know. Come on, Nintendo really... ...really giving the player plenty of chance to destroy that thing. Game audio is super fucking loud. No. Oh. Why does the dolphin keep... No, it's weird because I, I think the volume, every time... Windows Mixer, the volume, you're right, though, uh, it was a little loud. Um, it was at 100%. The Windows Volume Mixer does not save dolphin... ...like, settings at all. It saves other things, but just not that. Windows hates dolphins, that's why they're dying out. Oh, they're dying- oh, yeah, yeah. I like blaming Windows for everything, really. It's just, after their update that pulped my computer, I have no problem blaming Windows. And I wasn't really like that. You know, some people like, just like, Windows 10 sucks, Windows 10 sucks. I get it, we don't like the old thing. You know, we want- well, we don't like the new thing, we like the old thing. I can get that way too about a lot of stuff, but I felt like Windows 10 wasn't causing me any problems, so what's the problem? And now I hate it. Dolphin has a built-in volume slider that overrides that. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that that's something I need to probably... If I wanted to save, I'll just use Dolphin. Yeah, it's there's bloat. There's, like, ads I can't get rid of on the start menu, the, the, the panel. It, it was giving me the weather in Washington for, like, a month. I, I've heard you can disable it. I, I just got lazy. Um, you can remove those. Literally just right-click and click remove. Um, yeah. Okay, then that- okay. <laughs> Alright. What the fuck? That kills Tingle? I gotta be honest, the Yoda voice they use in the cartoon... Weird. Like, I... I can't... I can't get down with it. It's not bad. It's fine. It's not as bad as Sam Witwer's Palpatine. But that Yoda voice is just so not Frank Oz that it just ah. the Clone Wars begun. They have like I, like I do a worse impression, but I like mine better in my own head at least. Sam Witwer's Palpatine is amazing though. I don't I don't agree with that, but that's okay. We're allowed to have different opinions. I I think um, how do you how do you do this room? I like Sam Witwer in general, like, a lot of his stuff is good. I think he does a good maul. I just, the Palpatine voice, I, it's just not Ian McDermott at all for me. Where does Tim Curry's Palpatine sit? I, I don't remember. Go up? Can I go up? Oh, with Makar I can go up. That little twat. Alright, let's get him up there. I have to remember my- when I'm talking to chat, I don't remember all my, um, my abilities. So, hang on a minute. 
Sam Witwer does not do the voice of Maul, or does he? He does. Yeah, he's he's good as Maul. I like I like that stuff. But when you get too far away from like yeah, that's the problem with some of the Star Wars stuff aside from all the other problems with Star Wars is that like I'm so used to certain actors portraying characters that it's going to be real like even the solo shit. I was like, "Oh, this is a just call him Glopkako." You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be Han Solo. He can be someone different. He's likable. I like the the, the dude who played Solo was cool. Need hookshot boot combo. Ah, you're, lo you're alone. Your name is Solo. Booty, please hook. Hook onto what? Oh. Oh, my brain. You know what the problem is, too? Playing this game out of order means that some of the things that I'm supposed to be recognizing... Th really, this is gonna sound like a lame... There we go. Like a lame fucking complaint. But... I really believe part of the reason I've been, like, um, beansing some of this here and there, not that bad, but a little bit, is just I forgot a lot of the mechanics of this game. Eh, it's a lame excuse, but it'll pass. I wonder if you can... Yeah, there we go. Why has Chap been spamming Resident Sleeper so much lately? Oh, um, I think Star Wars, in tonight's case, if, if not, I mean, they can... You know, whoever resident sleepers. It's a- it's a very interesting emote, because you can't help but feel like it's a cunt emote. But it has uses. It actually has its uses that aren't just passive-aggressive, like I don't like what the streamer's talking about or doing right now. Um... So I- it's hard to know, and I just ha I don't really care anymore. Sometimes I see it, and I'm like, alright, well, I guess I'm not that entertaining, but, you know, whatever. Such is life. I'll get over it. But, um, then I bring up Star Wars, and people post it, I'm like... Are they tired? Oh, they're tired of Star Wars! Someone said, that's why I filtered that emote. <laughs> I have to know who said it, when they said it. But what happens when a, a video game character is sleeping? What the fuck do they post then? So, like, you know, double-edged sword, really. Talk about Star Wars. I looked into those Topps cards, by the way, from 1995. And, um, yeah, it's a set. They- they were doing a Galaxy set, I think, almost every year. Cool cards, though. I saw some of the other ones in the set. They're cool. Again, it's just cardboard, but if you like that sort of thing... You know. It's cardboard with stuff printed on it. Sometimes, there's a texture etched into it. FF7R integrated for PS5 only. That's okay, I don't want it anyway, but I- I- yeah, I've heard that. And I will be opening more cards because I have, um, on the way, an even more bizarre set of old crusty cards. Addict. Yeah, I suppose so. The addict bit is old. Yeah, it, it- it is. Again, such is life. Ah, yes, apply the gel. No way is it more bizarre. I'll tell you what, it won't be as great as the Charizard bit, but it will be entertaining. Chat is addicted to the addict bit. Oh. Vinny, do you play the card game or just collect the cards? What card game in particular? Because, um... Are you talking about the Fire Engine cards? Or the Garbage Pail Kids? I play- yeah, the horse game I play. Um, I- I, uh, I played the Pokemon card game. On the on- like, the app that they have currently. And it's pretty fun. It's alright. I'd play it again. I think I- I booted that program up, like, three times. So I played it a little bit. Cards, believe it or not, I've- I've liked Slay the Spire a lot. It's the exception. The fun of the Pokémon stuff is opening them. And, uh, the game itself is all well and good. Like, I like reading the effects of stuff. But, um, I was never, like, the biggest into card games, and then Slay the Spire, like, just rocked my fucking world. And Monster Train as well. But in terms of collecting stuff, I think it's just kind of fun to collect. I'll be honest, chat sleeping is Resident Sleeper. As for card games themselves, though... I played... Boss Monster? I played Story War. Boss Monster was cool, you were like... A dungeon master. That was actually really cool. But it's all there in the deck, like you buy it, you can play it... ...without having to buy booster packs. So, I enjoyed that. But, like, KY is really into- I'm sure we'll talk about it on Wednesday. 
but I think we're gonna try to stream Slay the Spire together on, on Wednesday. Um, KY is into um, more board games and, and card games than I am. Vinny, say Among Us to wake up chat. Amagus. But yeah, the cards that I'm talking about are like, you know, Full House, the card set. Stuff like that. That's the kind of... That and like... The more... if Like, if you've avoided my card opening streams because cards upset you, I understand, I guess. But, um... I think they're entertaining just as a slice of, like, why does this exist kind of stuff. Like, I have Flintstones the movie trading cards. Fire engines. Surprisingly horny fire engines. And you missed Charizard dissection, which will never... I don't think that bit will be topped for quite a while, but that's a different story entirely. The Yeah, there's the pumper. Just remember, with fire engines, there's the pumper on Pound Ridge. Wow, this is cool. That's nice. So, did these fucks stop being as annoying at any point? Oh, may as well get the rest of them. It's weird that ice arrows... Oh wow, fuck you. Ice arrows take away their scum for a limited time, but otherwise arrows in general are not good against these. Deku Leaf does too? Oh, okay. Light arrows take care of them. I like the way Makar shimmies. It's cute. Monster Train DLC this Thursday. Cool. Microsoft is trying to buy Discord. Why? <laughs> to ruin it like they ruin Skype, says chat members. Oh. Right, fair enough. Also, someone said something about Sony doing something with their online services for PS3. They're shutting it down. PS3 and Vita stores will be shut down. The website that reported it isn't very trustworthy, though. A uh, lot of, uh, video game news here on the, in the video game world. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Who was that supposed to be? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's an impression that Dana Carvey did of a news anchor. Gerald Ford died today. Is that what that was? The, the Gerald Ford bit where he just read every possible way that Gerald Ford could have died? Tom Brokaw? Dan Rather. Chat is saying many different people, but yeah. Who's Dana Carvey? <laughs> He's just some guy that carves. He, he was like the Turtle Club owner for a while. Was it Tom Brokaw? It could be. Yeah, it's like the bit being like, just in case Gerald Ford dies and he's not there, they have to record like every possible way that Gerald Ford could have passed away. Gerald Ford died today in a tragic jelly accident when he drowned in a vat of proboleptic jelly. That That's the whole bit. And they just, you know. They just recorded stupid stuff. But I remember the impression more than I remember the bit. And for some reason, it just popped up now. No good reason. Light arrows. Eh! Norm impression, eh? No, I don't have a Norm impression. You're more accurately impersonating Jimmy Stewart. Well, that's another Dana Carvey impression. I like th this game is all cute and cuddly, but then you kill an enemy and you hear, like, baby noise death rattles. Vin, please do your world-famous Nathan Fielder impression. Bro, that request is very Resident Sleeper. It hasn't gotten worse or better since the last time you heard it. Just like the Turtle Club. Oh, I love the Turtle Club. It's getting an emote. We're getting an animated Turtle Club emote. And I'm disabling the feature that allows you to turn it off. Yeah, I'm actually adding it to the alphabet. I could do that. I could replace every emote with Turtle Club and just edit one pixel on each one so that they count as different. I could also replace the subscriber badges with Turtle Club. April 1st. Here's the... Here's the problem with that. That's more work than I'd like to do for a stupid joke. And now that I've already revealed it, it's not gonna be a good jape. Someone just said, MAKE US DO IT in all caps. My name? Can't believe Tingle's dead. I thought today would be the, um... Would be the final Wind Waker stream. That's not happening. Why don't you have a Garfield impression? Uh. Just sleepy, lazy, bored Bill Murray. AKA Bill Murray who doesn't have a phone. 
so that people can't contact him to be in his, uh, to have him in their movies. Okay, he has a phone, he just doesn't have an agent. The only person that has his phone number is Wes Anderson. Vinny, did you hear that Marlon Brando gave the number of a Chinese restaurant to screen calls? I did hear that recently. I forget who called him, but someone called Brando and got the Chinese food restaurant, and then Brando was, like, happy to talk to him. It was Sam Jackson? So crazy. And then, like, Val Kilmer and Brando clashed big time on, uh, that Moreau movie. And apparently Val Kilmer was, like, a huge dickhead in the 90s. But he seems so affable. Like, we watched Real Genius the other day. What a fucking fun movie that is. And, like, top secret. But, like, I can't picture, like, Val Kilmer showing up to a movie set and being like... Oh. Brando's here. Well, I don't give a shit about Brando. I'm the real star here. Which I don't think is the case. Was he the nipple suit Batman or other Batman? I'm pretty sure Val Kilmer had, um, had the nipples as well, yeah. I know George Clooney had, uh, bat nipples. But I'll be the first to tell you, I think Val Kilmer, I, I'm a fan. He's been in some of my favorite projects. Like, the movie Heat. I say project. Like, it's, oh, fuck you. Doc Holliday, Tombstone, Doors movie, which isn't that good, but I like it. I've said it before, he's like one of, I think, he's one of the biggest names that's kind of, for, kind of like, semi-forgotten about, or like, underrated, and like, he just didn't have the longevity, but he was an extremely good dramatic and comedic actor. Michael Keaton better Val Kilmer. What? Wait, he's a better Val Kilmer? Or you mean he was a better Batman? Because I agree, I think Val Kilmer was kind of not a great... He was fine as Batman, the movie was just goofy. It was like the first after Tim Burton movie, but it's not as... It's not great, but it's not as bad as Batman and Robin. He couldn't move his neck in that suit. Keaton, both. Keaton is a good comedic and dramatic actor. Oh yeah, actually I agree, Keaton's great. I mean, of course he's great. Beetlejuice, dude. Beetlejuice, think about it. Beetlejuice. My favorite, oh man, my favorite line of Michael Keaton ever was, uh... She touched my peppy, Steve. That one. Classic. Vinny, you don't have the song yet. Isn't this how you learn the song? Not in the randomizer. Oh man. In Vanilla, you learn the song behind the waterfall. So, I guess when I find the song, I can return there and get an item. Hopefully that doesn't have to happen. It would be best if I never have to come to this dungeon again after I de defeat it, after I beat it. Not an item, there's a passageway. Take Makar back and play the song. I don't have the song. Wait. Fuck you. <laughs> What's your favorite Zelda dungeon, says a chat member. Ocarina of Time Water Temple. No, I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Arbiter's Grounds from TP, that's a good one. Yeah, that, that's one that immediately comes to mind because that was an enjoyable dungeon. You know, there were some really great Twilight Princess dungeons. Ah, uh, Spirit Temple was pretty good. Jabu Jabu was great, yeah. The Forest Temple is kind of annoying, but I love the music and I love the twisty hallways and I think it's really cool. It's not like my favorite dungeon structurally, because it can get a little windy and annoying, but I think... Just... It's it's really cool, it's like an... You go inside, but you're still outside from time to time. And there's Phantom Ganon fight. And it's just got weird music and things that happen, it's cool. Maybe a weird choice, it's not one of my favorites, but another one that I, re I remember fondly is Link to the Past. Dark World Water Dungeon. It's just kind of cool. Not the Swamp one. Turtle Rock. Yeah, Turtle Rock is really annoying, too, because I get my ass kicked in it, so therefore it's annoying. Uh, but it's- it's good. I'm talking- the one I like is the one with the, um... With the boss that... Split! No, um... You get- what item do you get from that? The hookshot. That is the swamp one? Oh, my bad. What about Misery Mire? Isn't a mire a swamp? Misery Mire, I'm not a fan of at all. I always dread that one. But one of the reasons I like the lake temple, or the swamp, whatever, 
is... I like the secret passage. I remember figuring that out as a kid made me feel like a fucking genius. What do you, what about any of the Skyward Sword dungeons? I remember thinking they were good, the Ancient Cistern in particular, but I barely remember them. I mean, we've had this conversation on stream, as all things must, you know, eventually be rediscussed. Um, and I had different answers each time, I'm sure, years later, but... The truth is, the Ancient Cistern stuck out in my mind, where a lot of the other temples, or just dungeons, whatever, felt a little bit... Like, good, but just your basic Zelda dungeons, in terms of theming. The Sand Shop? I don't remember that. Time Travel. Oh, right, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that was cool. Time Travel one. The Sand Ship. Snow Peak Ruins and Twilight Princess. I like Snow Peak Ruins because you have the... The item you get is fun, and then you get to shoot it through, like, cannons and shit. And also, it's like a house. It starts as a house, and then it's just... It's weird. City in the Sky. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Man, Twilight Princess had a lot of great fucking dungeons. This game... I don't like this dungeon or the Earth one all that much. The switching character thing is, is not really something I enjoy very much. I'll be honest. The best dungeon for me in this game is the first one. I think it's just a really great starting dungeon. One of the best. I love the way the lava looks. I like the boss. It's just cool. It's really good. Um, Tower of the Gods isn't too bad. I think, uh, for me, the fun of Wind Waker, the dungeons are fine. They're not, like, oh, for me, they're not as great as some of the other entries. The fun of this game is all the uh, hidden stuff. The sailing to different islands and finding little, like, caves with different minigame. Like, I like the, um, little mini dungeons a lot. Not to mention the style is unmatched. Agreed. No, I have a lot of love for Wind Waker, but in terms of dungeons, the best one... Like, I love going to Hyrule in this game a lot, but the best one is, like, the first one for me. Uh, Majora's Mask... I'm trying to think how I feel about those dungeons. They're all pretty good. Stone Tower is amazing. Stone Tower is a little confusing. But, once you get past that, like, and that's just a personal preference... It's... fucking amazing. Like, it's just really... creative. And then you have to use Ben. But it is a pain in the ass. When I streamed it last year, it wasn't so bad because randomizer, but... In general, that temple, I remember being a huge pain in the ass. Like, why does this room exist? What is its purpose? Pain. Pain. Great Bay was aesthetically neat. Yeah, I mean, a lot of... A lot of the, uh, the Majora's Mask stuff had some interesting aesthetics. What about the 2D Zelders? Well, I mentioned... Link to the Past. I think Link to the Past has pretty solid dungeons all the way through. And it also pretty much defined the series. Because Zelda 1's dungeons were push block, kill enemies, proceed. Zelda 2's temples were side-scrolling gauntlets. So, Link to the Past was so good... ...in so many ways so early... ...that it defined much of what made Zelda Zelda later on. Um, that said, I think... Minish Cap had some pretty cool dungeons. I mean, it's hard to give specifics of the handheld ones, because they are so... You think about the ones that I just streamed. There's so many dungeons. 16 dungeons in total. And then you have Link's Awakening, which I have a lot of fond memories for Link's Awakening's dungeons. Especially Eagle Tower. Wait, this doesn't work? Boot only. It's only boot. Alright. I hate it. Yeah, stand right in there. Yeah. 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 Favorite dungeon music and why is it Stone Tower? Stone Tower's dungeon music is incredible, but like I said, Forest Temple is just so memorably sh memorably strange. Okay. I am in pain. I was stubborn. I didn't want to use the arrows. I just wanted to... Because you can take them out with the sword if you're fast enough. I just... Like, the sword gets stuck on the wall. Use the sword Y hammer. I don't know.
good. I mean, Tingle's already 35, and now his knees are completely destroyed. Spine, knees... I wonder what a realistic interpretation of what uh, Tingle's spine and knees look like right now would be like. Artists. Someone said, could someone explain the thrusting motion of the spikes? Oh, the thrusts? Uh... To guard the key. Clearly. Someone said, break all the tiles. There's an extra chest for doing so. I'll be honest. It's kind of lame. Knees pulped even further. It's just jelly. At this point, it's just like bone and blood jelly. You could use, like, Tingle's jelly to make a healing potion the likes of which this world has never seen. Vinny, please stop saying jelly. Do you remember skeleton jelly? Wasn't that a thing? It's like a comic, or a video, it's some weird fucking, like, unlocked memory from years ago. Wow, okay. I'm assuming this chest was entirely optional. You know, normally. It's required in the randomizer, but... It's normally a treasure chart. It's normally a treasure chart, so that's not a required chest, it's just randomizer is being randomizer, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay, motherfucker, okay! Okay, I don't know if I need Makar for this. Mike Hawk? For this? Ah, oh, Chad, that's hilarious. Who's Michael Hawk? Brother of Anthony Hawk? Oh, that's cool. Isn't that the guy who's, whose knees turned to jelly? Wait, there's a treasure chest in here? Pull down all the heads. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to go back up there anytime soon. How was there an enemy hiding behind one of those large stone heads? Don't think. Oh, don't worry, I have no problem with that. Good. Yes! Chat. This could be a shiny. Fuck. So I'm probably gonna need Makar for this. Need Nut Lad. Why do they aggressively open their mouths at you? Humans do the same thing. So I watched the episode last night of Deep Space Nine where Worf eats a hamburger, and he aggressively has, like, a fucking, like, virus from it, and then gets possessed by, like, a fucking spirit, because Klingon physiology doesn't, um, process human beef. So he's, like, has, like, violent diarrhea. And then, because of how much body weight he loses from shitting his brains out, because Klingon physiology doesn't like beef, um, he actually gets possessed because his guard is down. Crazy episode. Then he fuck you that isn't real. I just want to see if people were awake. I don't know. Favorite type of bean. I like the black bean because rice and beans is what's up. Or just black beans in general. Big fan. Come on, light arrows. It's the Wind Temple dungeon map. I clapped when I saw the dungeon map. The boss probably has the compass. Probably. Every time you enter the fan room, I think the wall is starting to play. Like, the wall is shifting. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. Oh, the wall, the, the music, the wall. You! Yes, you! Stand still! It's my best impression. Well, yeah. Hmm. There's a treasure chest in that room. There's one. Oh. I missed one up there, too. Well, 
Uh, there's no treasure chests down here, just the boss. Oh, uh, you know what? Just... Hmm. Let's just go fight the boss. Some of those you probably need the song to enter. That makes sense, yeah. We've had some really good luck in this randomizer run that's probably wearing out right about now. You need the song for the boss, I'm pretty sure. Just to get to the boss. We can probably get the treasure chest up here. Here, where the donkey is up here. Uh... Down the oh, shit! Oh, no! Did you know that Roger Waters did an inhale scream in, like, half of the Floyd album? Not a half, but... Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. That's an inhale scream. Careful with that axe, Eugene. Run like hell. The sound at the end of the break, where it sounds like a car is screeching, that's him just doing his inhale scream. What is he? I... It just... He could do it. It's weird. You know who else does it? Cedric from Mars Volta on uh, Francis the Mute. I hear that scream on Cassandra Gemini. Can you talk while inhaling? Yes, I can. It sounds like shit, though. Vinny, for 20 years I thought it was a car. Let's, um... Let's do a little thing. This right here. This is not a car screeching. This is Roger Waters inhale screaming. That. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to. It's not going to change what it is. Secret Birdman, exactly. So, boy, this room sucks. Alright, it's not that bad with arrows. So, we need this to be the song in order to do more of the dungeon. I have a feeling it won't be. The song is probably at Tingle's fucking cabana. Oh my... God! Vin, did you- what do you think of the feature Twitch is gonna roll out where you can save some audio tracks to VOD and not others? Will you start playing music during BRBs again? I don't know enough about that to make a judgment call yet. Live DMCA is still a thing. That's already a feature, chat saying. Yeah, that- that's um... The problem is they're gonna start going after live channels. I think they already did. Aren't all channels live? Well, traditionally on Twitch, the thing you had to worry about were, were your VODs. That was the wrong button. I mean, I'd like to eventually be able to play music again in some capacity. I just don't know how. I don't know what the best way to do it. It doesn't feel like it's going to be happening anytime soon. There's a treasure chest here. Is this the Tingle treasure chests? People are saying Twitch says no fun allowed. You know, like there's people ragging on Twitch. And the truth is they, they're rolling out better tools, which they should have done years ago. And I have my issues with, with Twitch and the way they handle copyright, but it's the U.S. copyright laws that are, like, broken. And, uh, Twitch is at their mercy as well. Now, I have had, in the past, long discussions about this, and, you know, how I would love for Amazon to step up and find a way to, like, have a, a library that you could use, maybe... Shit. Like, Amazon Music? Like, for streamers? I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's probably ways to make that work. But, um, they're not doing that. It's just- it's just a shame. Again, I- I know a number of these artists would probably not have a single problem in the world with people playing their music because they enjoy it. Unless it's Metallica. Well, Metallica did a fake 180 on that. I was just thinking about Metallica today. The, um, Load album. The song Until It Sleeps. Like, I had the, um, the CD for that. No, that's after Metallica went into, like, a grunge... Well, they didn't even do grunge, really. They just, like... Alternative, that was, like, then. But I remember... I was like, oh man, I haven't heard that song in a while. I actually think Load has a couple good songs on it. 
Um, it's not anywhere. When I got into Metallica later on, and I'm not like the biggest Metallica fan, but you know their earlier stuff. I love I love the Black Album. I know people have very strong opinions about Metallica's music, but I I think they just have a ton of great stuff. And then I still think there's some great stuff on this on the album Load, Ride the Lightning. That's a great album. Yeah, I had a little Metallica period for a while. I'm trying to think about where we could go next. I mean, there's still the dungeon. I have a question. Chet, the Tingle's Cabana thing is yellow. Can I still get a treasure chest there? Is there one treasure chest I could get at the, the Oasis? Let's go there now. That way, just in case there's something vital there. If the, if the delivery bag is there, I'm gonna shit. Thoughts on Lulu? Oh, the Lou Reed Metallica album. I, I hate it. <laughs> there's a couple, I listened to the whole thing once. And there's a song on there, I don't remember which one, but I like the riff. There's a couple good riffs. And some cool guitar tones. But, what? It's just a weird combo. Lou Reed and Metallica. And Lou Reed not giving a fuck at that point in his life. Especially. Especially with his vocals. I, I, I am the table? I don't know, man. Lou Reed should have done something with Iggy Pop. And then just called it a day. Alright, well this is Tingle's private oasis cabana. That, when I started the randomizer, I gave him the deed to this place. However, I can't open it because I don't have a mailbag. So... Like, this whole time Tingle's been looking for his keys to get inside his, his own house. And... He can't. It's very sad. In fact, that's what inspired this entire quest. Which, in many ways, sounds exactly like a real Tingle game. Okay, chat. If this is the mailbag... I don't know. Man, I don't know. It's a Knight's Crest. Alright, never mind. Have you done the big Octos? I don't believe there's progression items hidden. Those are just, like, optional extra things. Again, default settings for the randomizer. What about doubling your magic meter? While that would be great, it could be anywhere in the world. There is a fairy in an octo. Well, everything... You, you'll notice on my map, there's only two locations. Maybe I made a mistake. In which case, there could be more. Ask the mods for hints. No. Vinny, there's a big octo in this square. Which one? This one, or this one? Ice ring? Private cabana square has one. I think I... I yeah, I just left. Too bad. So sad. No, if... If I find one, I will make sure to go to it. But, um... According to this map, the progression items are only... Either at the cabana... Or the earth dungeon. Check on top of Earth Temple with a pair. You already found an item at a location you weren't supposed to. Really? You haven't done the big pig thing yet. I haven't. It's a silver rupee. Was that it? Was that it? Alright. I can, uh, get Tingle. I mean, myself. I mean, other Tingle. To, uh... Do the things now. Yeah, we're just getting, you know, knees pulped, brain damage. It's fun in these dungeons. We have a good time. Where's the warp pot? Which is also my name. Is Was it in the previous room and I just didn't see it? It's in the next room? Okay, so... Yeah, I don't remember what we did here. Warp pot again? Do another one? Third warp pot. This was the second... This is the first warp pot. You didn't have the hammer last time. Stop. Stop! Vinny, are you referencing Neil Cicerega? Yep. Yep. That's, that's, uh... That's him. It's the Pixies. Didn't Neil Cicerega sample the Pixies? Or no? Uh, yeah, so that, yeah, so then it was the Pixies being sampled by Neil Cicerega. What didn't he sample? My own fart. Ah? Ah! With reverb. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's a funny joke. 
Guy walks into the doctor's office, samples his own fat for a Neil Cicerega song. I had a... Uh, in my family, there was this... Uh, did I ever tell you about PFOT? I, I've told the stream about PFOT. There is some dude, I don't remember, I don't know who this guy was. There's some like, cause Italians love their stupid nicknames. So there was just some guy called PFOT. I don't know if he was a family member or a family friend, but like there's all these daffy pals that knew my grandfather that were all like these old guys that hung out that worked at the Earl company, I guess, or knew people that worked at the Earl company. And there was a guy named PFOT. I don't know who he is. But also, they would say fart as fought because that was funny. And now I say funny words for a living, so I guess I'm one to talk. But, um, the truth is... There was a man called Pfot, And I don't know who he was. I hope you've enjoyed the story. No, it's not P-Fart. I think it's P-E-A-F-O-T. Could be wrong, actually. I will write my thesis on this story. It's good. Yes, but you said they pronounced fart as fought. Okay, good point. Good point. I did. I did. <laughs> okay. Well, that's progress. You know what, chat? When you told me to do this temple first, I should have listened to you. Chat was the spoiler log all along. Well, now it's time to finish this dungeon. Captain's log. It's Shatner's birthday. Old, uh, cantankerous Shatner man. Yeah, he's 90. Ni 90 year- Jesus. 90 years old. Yeah, I'll give him credit. He does not look at all 90. You know, dude shit posts. Doesn't understand some stuff. Or he has people shit posting for him. That's also a theory I've heard. You know, whatever he does. Does he moisturize? I don't know. Wait, chat, how do I get back up there? Ah, yeah, yes, he applies the gel. Clearly. You don't. I have to go up and around. Get some new jokes, funny man, from Bad Joke Joel in chat. You want to write them for me? I need good writers, even if they're bad joke writers. I like bad jokes. I could use the uh, Garfield book. Could. Or I could just watch, like, two hours of Joe Piscopo joke material and just borrow that for the stream. All right, listen up, there was a plane crash, right? No survivors. Yes, and? Well, some say D.B. Cooper was on the plane before there was a crash. Oh, thanks, Joe Piscopo, that's, that's awesome. The crazy thing to me, though, I don't know, actually, I really don't know Joe Piscopo's jokes. I, I don't, but I do know that he was a pretty famous comedian, and he was, like, working at the same time Richard Pryor was, and, like, George Carlin. I guess if they needed someone for like um like an elderly thing or or like a, like wedding they called joe piscopo because you know richard pryor and george carlin they're, they're not gonna go there yeah like if, if at the auto zone they want to do like a stand-up comedy night they called joe says the unfunny person so chat's saying that bombs hammer and boomerang are good oh well the bombs are fine Ah, uh, oh. Kill bones, get- get bones. I kind of half expected... Medley to make the noise, CHA! Like from... Peach in Smash Brothers? After that noise? Why is Medley a sickly green? It's Scoot! So I, I don't remember where I... Stopped progress. Hammer? Here? Here? The left room? No, this wasn't a hammer room. I got all the stuff here, I think. I'm pretty sure it, So I'm just gonna go where there's... Like, stuff. That wasn't the left room. I'm looking at the mini-map. Oh! Medley just standing there like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, right. Right, this room. Oh! Uh, what are they do- Oh, shit! Sorry to jet, but I gotta go! It worked. I did not want to deal with that room. Sorry to jet, but I'm in a hurry. That's the line. 
Wrong button, I have to press the A button. To use shield with uh, Tingle or Link, it's... you press, um, R. But when you press R as Medley, it goes back to Link. Who the fuck is Link? I don't- I don't even- I don't even know who that guy is. I don't even know who that guy is, man. I hate their laughs. It- lav is the plural of laugh, by the way. L-A-U-V-E-S. Lavs. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Big item. It's the map. Gotta go. Run. Oh, it's... There it is. That, no. No, that seems... Hands. A red mist. What's left? Jelly. Vinny, stop with the jelly bit and go back to diaper snake. Oh, the diaper chief? <sighs> snake, who's my little crybaby? <sighs> snake, turn the console off. Now. My. You're shitting yourself, Snake. It's over. Chat, like a dentist appointment. It's now over. The diaper chief can't hurt you. He's not real. <laughs> it's not over yet, Snake! Who's a little cry baby? Who goes wee wee doo doo in his diapers all day? Meek. I'm not pleased with myself. Anyway, um, let's figure this out now. Chat, you can't vote to kick me. I'm the I'm the streamer. It won't work. You can't you can't vote kick the streamer. Like there's no Oh bad treasure chest. Yeah, not my favorite dungeon. Like I said, this and the other dungeon, the earth dungeon. I'm not too crazy about oh. Why would I why would I do that like that? where I can't even get the light. Why would I do that? This is the Earth Dungeon. Uh, the Wind Dungeon. I'm fine with the first three dungeons in Wind Waker. I think they're varying degrees of pretty great. Some of the, the ones where you have to play the command melody. I said it before, but I'm not really crazy about having to play a song every time you need to switch to a different character. Congratulations, here's some rupees. Full rupees. I just wanna fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I wanna fly. Do you remember the game from last night, the Smuggler's Run game? Where the voice kept calling you, baby? Babe! Babe, you missed the package delivery! I thought about that today, I was like, what? And then I thought a little bit more, I was like, okay, I think I know why. It's because there is nothing in this game at all. So they figured if they had, like, a voice that was calling you, babe... Maybe you'd feel like a little... Like, I don't know, maybe you'd start to fall in love with the voice, like that Joaquin Phoenix movie. Joker? And then you have to just keep playing. Oh my god, I got it. I got the delivery bag, chat. Finally, I can now enter... Tingle's Cabana. How many more treasure chests are in here? Because I don't really even need to do... ...this, I don't think. One? Beat boss, get item. There's two in that room total, well, I got both. And I wanted to, but I wanted to play Cyberpunk. Well, not that I want to, but you know, it's it's almost kind of become a tradition. I do. No, I do want to. And it's it's getting a little late, so I want to try to wrap this up. But now I have to go to Tingle's Cabana. Yeah, but then you have to do the maze. Oh, okay, never mind then. We'll just beat the boss and then we'll hold off for Tingle's Cabana. 
play today before they patch. Supposedly. Supposedly. Suppose- I like supposedly better. Just sounds better, but it's- it's apparently supposedly. Sorry, supposedly. Ugh, that word. I've been saying supposedly my whole life. It sounds smart. Supposedly is the correct version. Well, that's a pretty big find. Triforce complete. Vinny, it's not supposedly. Okay, hang on. I think it would be a good idea to Google. Supposedly versus supposedly. Supposedly means as may be conceived or imagined and is the adverb form of supposable, which means capable of being supposed or conceived. On the other hand, supposedly usually means allegedly. The words are often conflated when one intends to say supposedly. The two words have distinct meaning. Oh. Oh, they're both correct. In different ways. Okay. Hi. Professor Sauce is here to teach you Hi. the things. Yeah, I've heard people use supposedly on like podcasts and shit. And just random videos. I'm like, that, that sounds wrong. But then... At some point, I read that supposedly was correct. And I got confused. And now I know they're both used in, way, in various ways in, when you prepare your body for the English language. It should just be one that you can break. It doesn't need to be four. And yet, I'm still grabbing rupees. You can shine on the big mirror to bust them all. One one ring to bust them all. Okay, so this room is confusing still. Good to know. Mental. Vinny, my dad is browsing Urban Dictionary. Tell him to stop. I I'm the one you want to help you get your dad to stop. Tell him to look up Clunging Gobshite. Well, hopefully there's a good item in here. I mean, we already got the Triforce in the mailbag, so... I'd say we're up. I hate them. I really do hate them. They're the worst. Along with the Wallmasters, they're pretty bad. And yet, not that hard to defeat. It's just like... Video game bad itis. Y you could just use the leaf. Again, the game teaches you that, but I, I didn't have to learn any of that. Should have known. We didn't even we did not even have to do that puzzle. That that scummy puzzle. This is some clown ass music. Oh, I forget. Yeah, you have to lift. Again, I got that so early in the in the game, I totally forgot. Yeah. The speed run is over, chat. After that cycle, that was such a bad cycle that I don't think this speed run is in the contention for world record anymore. The game only lets you kill max five per cycle. Max five? Oh man, that's it? What about Max 3? Or Max Weinberg? Yeah, Hurricane Spin would have actually been very helpful. That's somewhere just random. As implied by the name Randomizer. Do you think anyone ever named their child Maximum? So like anyone that we've ever known that goes by Max, their name is just Maximum. Like Maximum Dong. What was the Homer Simpson name? Max Power? Is that Simpson? Because if you have a good name, then you- you are powerful. It's a very common name. Well, no, Maximum isn't the actual... It's... It's Maximilian. Or Maxwell. Maxwell Silver Hammer, awful song. This is like Clown Fight. Seriously. Maxim is not an uncommon name in Russia, close enough. Maxim? So there's common, uncommon, rare, ultra-rare, did I tell you about the Mewtwo that I pulled from a random-ass pack? And it was the ultra-rare of that pack? It was just like, at Walgreens, there was just a, like a pack of cards, I bought it. And I ended up pulling like the rarest pack- rarest card from that set. This guy is addict! I'm- Chad, I'm trying to tell you a cool thing that happened. 
I could sell that card if I get it graded and I could probably make a couple hundred bucks. Maybe a hundred? What card pack was it? I don't know. I don't remember. But I was surprised to see, like, it wasn't any of the new stuff, but I was surprised to see something. And so I bought it. It was retail price. And I was like, nice. And then I ended up getting the ultra rare Mewtwo. I was like, oh, that, that's pretty good dopamine. Did you get your Charizard yet? I've given up hope of Charizard. I don't need it. It's fine. It's just for fun. I don't need the money. It's more like for fun just to have the, the rarest card in the deck in the set. But it's not going to happen. Meanwhile, the deli guy I told you guys about, who um, got the Charizard and sold it immediately, won another one from a Facebook raffle. Is he gonna sell that one too? Probably. Oh god, it was a purple rupee. Here, I don't know if this is the rarest card in the set, but it was, um, I'll show- I'll read it. Mewtwo EX 103 of 108, 2016. So, that one. $20 on eBay? Oh. No, oh, never mind then. Um, $650 to $222 bucks. $14. $23. Okay, never mind then. Vinny, when and why did you become a card addict? Do you want the real answer, or is that like a joke question for, like, stream funnies? You, it happened on stream. I found my old cards, and then I talked to the person, the deli guy, we had a conversation, and he started to like say, "Oh, it's really fun. You should you should collect again." And there's this new set coming out and all that. And then Elizarin was like, "Hey, you should get an ETB and open it on stream. It'll be fun." And so I ordered one, opened it on stream, and the moment I pulled that Lapras, I was like, "Wow, this is actually kind of addictive. Maybe we should like, I don't know, tell Nintendo to stop that." Vinny Tracker is saying there's still stuff in that dungeon. I haven't updated the tracker. The problem is there's a tingle chest in that dungeon. The thing is, I I um I agree that it could be a huge um, waste of money, and uh, I collected like magic and uh, Pokemon cards. I I'm aware of that. My friend, the deli guy, has said he's made thousands of dollars from it, but he's not doing it because he likes the game or the Pokemon as much as he likes to, like, the thrill of collecting and selling. Um, I believe him because he sells individual cards on eBay. Two, it's a little bit different than gambling. I, I do not like gambling in Atlantic City. I put $20 in a slot machine and I'm usually done for the whole night. You actually get cards. Like, you get stuff that you can play a game with. I'm not planning on selling. Vinny, it's gambling. But hang on, why is chat posting cap is when I say I don't gamble at Atlantic City? You just don't believe it, do you? Alright. I don't really need to convince chat, you know. I don't really like gambling, I don't like slot machines or that kind of stuff. But I guess I kind of got into the card thing for a bit because it was kind of fun. Vinny, I went to Vegas and never gambled. Yeah, gambling is not in- it's not in my blood, like, it's just not who I am. Chad is accusing you of gambling, but they tried to take part in brain cell bets. Oh, shit! That's fine. At least, uh, it's not real money, right? But no, I mean, whatever, chat, it's fine. If you- if you think- If you think one way or another about it, I- I kind of don't disagree in regards to the card thing. Because it's- it's a lot of, you know... It is a lot of money, and there are kids that get really addicted to it, and adults, too. I'm thinking... It's not gonna be something much like most of my phases. It's not gonna be something that lasts too long. Right now, I'm more enjoying the crusty cards. Because it brings good stream tidings. And we enjoy the fire trucks. Gambling is literally throwing your money away. Well, yeah, again, with if you buy a thing and you get the thing, that's still getting the thing. I mean, it's... I'm not gonna try to convince... people one way or another. There's- there's an enjoyment to getting a card you want. So, there's that, and then you get to keep it. But, um... I still don't like gambling. I actually had gambling addiction in my family. And, um, it was really sad to see what happened. Not to be- end the stream too much on a downer. But, um... It turned into- I actually had a cousin who played Kino on a cruise, and he lost $32,000.
that's a whole different story, but it can be really, like, gambling addiction's, like, fucked up. And I've always stayed away from, like, that kind of stuff. Like, I'll, tr I'll drop 20 bucks on a slot machine. I might even play a little bit of cards. But I kind of, um... I kind of don't want to get into that stuff. I don't find it interesting or fun when video games are much more fun, truthfully. And honestly, video game gambling is even more fun. But, uh, that's a different story. But yeah, I like the cards. I like the pain. Chat, have I used... this one? No? Alright, perfect. Welcome back to the tingle of Dingle, Wind Wingle. I'll be your guide for this, this evening. Alright. <clears throat> Vinny, you haven't used the Turtle Man one yet. Which Turtle Man one? I had a Turtle Man? There is a Turtle Man one, I forgot about it. Yeah, Turtle Club. It exists. If I don't finish th this tonight, then you get Turtle Club. All right, so chat, we have to take a look and see what, what's going on here. Um, Master Sword Chamber in Hyrule. And Private Oasis. Those are some locations we can check. What's more hated, Turtle Club or Hurdy Gurdy? Turtle, tur- <sighs> The Hurdle Club. I don't know, man. I think Turtle Club is hated pretty fucking vehemently. Um, Hurdy Gurdy is just an annoying noise. But if you listen to the Donovan version of Hurdy Gurdy, man, it's a good song. It's not shite. It's just the butthole surfers, they use the most annoying effect. Vinny, you haven't finished the Wind Temple. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're gonna hope we don't have to finish the Wind Temple. So we have some locations here. It's mainly for progression items. Temples and Cabana. It would be fitting if the light ar or arrows were down here. I can say words. Vinny, where are you going? Oh. Say I'm the hoody goody man. Try the barrier skip trick? I don't really know how to do that. I mean, I don't really want to either. Nice view. Do I actually have to kill all the enemies here to open up the Master Sword Chamber? I don't remember. Vinny, it's already open. Oh, right, right, right. The statue. I forgot about that. I forgot many things. Okay, instead of Master Sword, we get... Dark Nut. The game's difficulty is gonna start catching up with me. Do they have goatees? I have to use the ice grenades, chat, and the flamethrower. I'm just saving my BFG ammo, don't mind me. Is the game's audio out of sync? Well, look at Tingle's mouth. He at the right time. I think it's okay. Tingle has a rectal mouth. I would never cast him in one of my movies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well listen. It's always nice to have more hearts in Zelda. But that was not the Master Sword, nor was it Ice Arrows. Uh, Light Arrows. So, chat, technically all I need is a light arrows. That's it, right? Once I get light arrows, I can fight Ganon. That's Ganonical. You need the sack for your house? Ganonathan. That's right, KY. Ganonathan. Is there stuff still in the Earth Temple? Yeah, I believe I still have some temple stuff left. I'm hoping Cabana has the stuff I need. Also, I'm wondering if I identify those Triforce charts. I don't think those count for progression items, though. It would be perfect if the Cabana had the light arrows. Truly, there would be no more perfect a thing. Th again, let's recap the lore. I started Tingle 
with the deed to this cabana. This is Tingle's Oasis. However, it took 85% of this playthrough or more to just find the spoils bag or the mail bag so that we could actually get into the cabana. So we couldn't even get in here. And if there's light arrows, it's just that Tingle owned this, needed to find his keys to get in so that he could get the light arrows to defeat Ganon. That would be the story. That would be the canonical story. I got the chest in the waterfall already. Are you the new master? Are you Master Tingle? I, again, it's just a door that talks. I don't really get it, but that's fine. Vinny, you didn't mark off the deed. Oh, it was yellow, now it's green. So yeah, I'm in the right place. Um... So in order to do this, I don't have to do this slide puzzle, right? No, okay, thank god. Do it anyway, it's fun. Oh. Fun being a very subjective term when it comes to slide puzzles, my friend. Did you see my, my rare slide puzzle? Cat slide puzzle that I have? Still in the packaging? It was on my most recent Vinny Shows You Random Shit video. Try to do this maze in one go. Never mind. Yeah, tingle ass. Reverse dump truck noise. <laughs> Chat, trust me. I wonder. It's, it's possible, though. It is possible. I was told by chat members this is possible. It's pixel perfect. So, if it's pixel perfect, I'll give up. <laughs> Feels pretty good, chat. I think someone just lost a bet in chat. Let's find out where the angle is. Nice. Chat, if the light arrows are here, this is the perfect end to the tingle tail. Will it be a vine common or a vine rare? Oh my god. The tension, chat, the tension. I'm unbelievable. That is the perfect, perfect ending to this story. We got good tingle lore from this playthrough, chat. Fully canonical. Vinny, open cards now. I'm saving some packs. I, I'm not opening cards now. Um, what I will do, before I fight Cronando, though, I'm gonna go and look for some hearts. I won't spend too long. But, I'm gonna head over to Tingle and give Tingle some money from me, Tingle. Double magic might be good, too, yeah. How many people lost bets? Jesus. I mean, oh god, this fucking- I always do this. So you'll notice the C-chart, uh, the map just opened up with a ton more stuff, a ton more things. And that is all just non-essential items. Um... Will you fight the giant octo that spawns a great fairy on Outset Island? Wait, so the great- the giant octo is at Outset Island? East of Earth Temple Island. I'm going to spend at most 20 minutes doing all the extra shit here. That, maybe 25 minutes. I mean, the treasure charts could have a full heart in them, technically. Despite all the memes, the seed overall was amazing. This has been the kindest Zelda seed I've ever gotten, I think. Mail letters? Um, how do I do that? I think that's the only one I have. No address seed written on it. Oh. Oh. Okay, sent. So we'll start with this one. Mm. 
Wow. Banished. Grandpa Seth must be banished from your mind. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. That's one way Tingle can make money back, by, uh, scavenging. Could shake his moneymaker, too. I mean, look what happened earlier. Tingle shaked his moneymaker on stream, and people donated to see it. I'm telling you, it happened! You saw it! Tingle was crawling around. Is there a treasure chest from doing this, too? From, like, taking out all these, uh... These ones are not gonna be fun. Just climb and kill the moblins? I think I might have done this, though. It's not checked off. Maybe I didn't do this. Um... Do you think they're, like, they noticed that Hector just got fucking... ...randomly yeeted overboard? I can't believe it. Hector... ...and... ...Marco. Oh. All three of them gone. Well, I think that covers the, um... ...the Moblins, or Bokoblins. Place bombs on the ground above the turrets. That fucking works. Wow. Learn something new every day about Wind Waker. Mental. How many treasure chests are here anyway? Destroy cannon sets. So it's it's more than one. There's, there are maybe three. Yeah, there could be three. Vinny, you knew that when you played HD. I hate that I had knowledge at one point in my life of things, and now it's gone. Like, what about all those days I was in class not daydreaming? What days? Uh, what day? Which day? Probably... Like, September... 31st... 1997. That day. Or, like, maybe February 31st as well. Goldeneye had just been released. Actually, Goldeneye wasn't 1997. Goldeneye was 98. Oh, wait, no, no, it was 97. Goldeneye was 97. August 97, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I have to use the leaf to get over there. Vinny, there was no 31st of September in 1997. Man, I guess I didn't pay any attention in class then. What was life like in 1997? It was before Pokemon. That, that's just on my mind lately, for obvious reasons, but I'm just thinking about that, that, like, um, the Pokemon TCG video I showed on Sunday. And all that shit. It was during Pokemon? It was before Pokemon North America. I, well, I didn't know what the hell a Pokemon was, chat. Wrong? Wasn't Pokemon 98? When was Pokemon Red and Blue released? In the, in the United States, chat. I'm talking about in the US. 98 in the US. Okay, so 96 in Japan, 98 in the US. So I didn't know what the fuck a Pokemon was. Pre-1998. 97 was the anime. Yeah, but it was stupid then. It wasn't until much later that we discovered what it was. And I told you my story with it too, but... Otherwise, the world was... Kind of simple. I still had a lot of CDs and some voice cracks then, as I do now. I was playing a lot of Turok. Um, I think that was even before I got a PlayStation 1, 1997. That might have been just on the cusp of me getting a PS1, because I got Final Fantasy VII late. I didn't get it when it first came out. Still renting a lot of games at Blockbuster, yeah. Nintendo Power released a monthly pull-out Pokemon guide. You could... Ugh. You could rip out the mag, and it had, like, a comic in it. Yep, I, I showed that, actually. I found it. I, I have one. Um, or two. I might even have all of them. But I showed it on stream. Um, not stream, but I did, a, like, a pre-recorded segment on... And I showed that specific thing. I didn't get the VHS, though. I had, like, a lot of the other VHSs, which I, again, I found, and I now have in a box. They're, they are safe. Oh god, I, I... Mm. Alright. 
so a couple more treasure chests. Truthfully, I don't expect any full hearts. I th that is a potential in the randomizer though, right chat? Because, you know, boss fights give you a full heart. So there's like five. Oh, that's right, Dave, you have the... You picked up some full hearts already, I forgot about that. Um, Dave, you have the spoiler guide, right? <laughs> Vin, you've gone this long, don't do it. Vin, you don't spoil, you have no spoils bag. Oh, I spoiled myself on your light arrows moment, so that moment was no fun for me. <sighs> that sucks. But then again, you probably also had a different experience watching the chat lose their shit, but knowing what was going to happen. Vinny, that's not what I said. Oh wait, what did you say? You said you had fun with it because of the spoils? You read my message entirely wrong. He said it was fun. Oh, good. I'm glad. Chat, there's supposed to be a giant octopus, right? Somewhere around here? Oh. Right over here. Sploosh. Arrows would probably be the better choice here, but that's fine. Oh yeah, boomerang. It's time for a banana fairy. Magic upgrade would be nice. It's probably just gonna be a rupee. Yep, 200 rupee, in fact. Then you never got Beatles coupon, no. It's another chart at least, uh... I'm just looking around here. I'm seeing there's a lot more platforms. Shark Island, Enemy Hell. Two heart pieces. There were two chests in... Oh, wait. There there wasn't two maze chests in the, the private oasis, right? No, I'm looking on the map chat. I'm, you have to click it in order to find out where things are. Rock Spire platforms destroy both cannons. Um... I'm gonna head over to one more location, maybe two, but I see potential for many treasure chests. Why was I muted? You didn't... How long was I muted for? Oh. I wasn't. It's weird, All right? Uh... Okay, I'm gonna head... There's three treasure chests directly this way. No. This way. Vinny, do you need to apply the gel? The gel fixes all. These cannons can only be destroyed with bombs. Boomerang apparently works. Okay, this is good. And yeah, someone mentioned it's a shame that Jessica Walter passed away. She- she was great. She was amazing in Arrested- in Arrested Development. And, um, it- yeah, it fucking sucks. You know who else passed away? I didn't get a chance to mention Yafet Koto, who played, um, Dude in Alien, and also in the Bond movie, uh, Live and Let Die. Two really great actors, yeah. Sucks. But, uh, you know, this happens. All I can do is- yeah, he was amazing in Alien, because, like, they really nailed the whole space truckers thing. It was just, like, some fucking... Some people just working. And it sold the whole setting so much more. But anyway. And Live and Let Die is a pretty good Bond movie. Roger Moore's not my favorite Bond, but that movie's pretty cool. I like it. I thought he did a- he was actually a very good villain. Paul did a great job in Live and Let Die. Oh, but, like, McCartney? Because, <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. And George Martin did the, um, arrangements for it. Like, the, the scoring. Paul Blart. Sorry to bum you out if I did chat. Someone said I bummed them out. I didn't mean to. Oh, there's one that spawned on each platform. Well, how the fuck do you get up onto this platform? There's no, uh... Do I, do I have to use the leaf? 
I will not be able to get up there. I won't have enough magic from the other platform. You could actually jump out of the boat and get some wind, but yeah, it's not that easy. Let's see if I can... Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Maybe we'll get some magic up here, too. This is a lot of work. This chest better be worth it, man. Good. Eat the soup? No, I have full soup. I don't want to waste it, because the, the Ganon fight. Finny, you can get more. Okay. Unlimited soup and breadsticks. Okay, now I've got this. No way I could fuck this up now. Sunken cost fallacy at this point. You're right. I just want to see what's in there now. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> Do I want to try the Wind Temple? Absolutely not. There is a treasure chest up here, though. I wonder if I could hookshot to that. Probably not. Vinny, why did the hearts glow? Um, soup. Soup make you strong. It's not no good. It's not trash from the sea. It's so satisfying. Are you ready for Outset Island 50 Floors of Pain? No. You should go to Ganon now or the stream will last until Yam. No, I'm not- I don't have the log. I deleted the spoiler log. I'm just trying to- We have to go get more soup, I think. But before we get more soup, we have mail. Q Blue's Clues mail theme. We just got a letter. Oh, damn. Two more treasure chests over here, chat. Two more. Vinny, you should go to Ganondorf ASAP. Last dungeon isn't so short that you'd complete it in under an hour. Oh, wait, really? What, what you... Oh, man, I wish you would have told me that earlier. Fuck. I, I thought it was quick. Oh, um, enemy gauntlet's off. That's a default option, I think. So I don't have to refight the bosses. So maybe that's helpful. No boss gauntlet. Not enemy gaunt- you know what I mean, boss gauntlet. I- I have to just use the light arrows on Ganon's gauntlet. Anyway, I don't think I did this one. Come on, I need just a- a full heart or a heart piece and I would be happy. Or, magic. Ten rupees. The game lured me in. It's like... it was like Lotto. Alright, there's one more chance. Still chasing that Charizard. I mean, I need to find the heart piece. Someone said I pulled a gold Etern Eternatus VMAX today. Oh, nice. I got the V. But not the VMAX. Sea Shrimp Fresh. Hey, Danny. How you doing? <sighs> Pretty good, Chum. What are you looking for? I don't know, Jenny. I'm looking for a Charizard. I there's a Charizard emote in the chat, but, um, I don't know. I kind of think, like, someone should- does anyone have a Dragonite emote? Like, to replace the Charizards? Whose Charizards are these, chat? It's a default emote? Oh. 
Where's the Dragonite? The imposter fake Charizard. Oh, it was like a Pokemon tournament thing. How dare you, Dragonite is a good lad. No, Dragonite's fine. It's just, it looks so much like a Charizard. You could almost like have it, like sneak in there. No? Well, I'm talking in emote form. It might be like kind of a fake Charizard. I, I, never mind, chat. It was a joke. It was a bad one. Vote kick this guy. It's like a Pikachu parade and a Mimikyu shows up. You still haven't updated the tracker for the light arrows. Okay, done. I'm gonna go to Ganondorf now. I think the dream of getting that last heart piece has come to- Are there treasure chests in Ganon's castle? In Crenando's land? In Crenando's Lando? There is one. Chat, we have one more chance. Vinny, what's your favorite Zelda chest? Mine is the Great Fairies. Streamer has vote kicked. Chat member. The chat member was funnier than you, is that why? All chat members that are funnier than me, please report to the principal's office ASAP after school, please. Thank you. Alright, so then there's a whiteboard. We're gonna come up with some material for the next stream. What do you got? What do you got? Diaper Chief? Oh, I did that bit already. What else you got? There's the barrier skip. When's the Balan Wonderworld stream? I don't want to give chat seizures. Uh, let's start with that. And also, I've, I have had zero interest in that game, other than the fact that Balan sounds a little bit like Banan. Which is kind of like a banana. Other than that, I heard it was pretty, pretty rough. The demo was fucking god-awful, says chat member. Yeah, many people have said the same thing. I... I don't know how it became a thing to the point where people were expecting it to be amazing. But, like, it looked cool, I guess, in a trailer, but... It just seemed like this could be a fun little game. And then it got really hyped. And I just thought, oh, it's Balan Wonderworld. Yuji Naka? It's by the creator of Sonic and Knights. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was just some random game that came out of fucking nowhere. Anyway, I love this part of the game, like, going, you know, into- further into Hyrule. Drowned underwater Hyrule. Even if it doesn't look like Ocarina of Time Hyrule. I mean, Zelda games in their Hyrules, there's loose consistency, but not full consistency. Like, you get to see some spots that were maybe kind of there. Like, Breath of the Wild has some really nice, like, callbacks, but some games have direct stuff. Like, obviously, I'm talking about the best of both worlds. The, uh, Link Between Worlds. But regardless, the high rules usually look different. And you just get used to it after a certain point. You, you gotta- you have to not expect continuity and... And then it's better that way. Vinny, you don't have to do these. Okay. I turned on boss skips. I- I believe- was that? I'm not sure if that was the default option. But I just kept most of the defaults, which was you can skip any of the refights, yeah. It's default, okay. Oh, uh, the treasure chest. Where's that? It's later. Nice fight. <laughs> it's amazing how, like, few of the important things I remember. I missed the treasure chest. Which one? You missed the one treasure chest. Do I have to do both of these doors to get it? Jump into the big hole. Hey! Hey! Thanks, Fi. One, two, three, four. Jump into the pit. Such a cool effect. Oh, you really can't just... Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not even here, okay. There's a, a lot of these rooms. Oof. This treasure chest is coming up. Okay, here we go, chat! What could it be? Extra magic? 
A heart piece, a full heart, or rupees? Hurricane spin. Huh. I forgot about that. Kind of a little late for this. Uh, kind of... Mm, spoon! Uh, the order of the torches were two, four, one, three. Do I even have to do those? I'm pretty sure I... Do I... It's a shortcut to the surface. Mm. Just do it, it takes like two seconds. Yeah, I have full soup. Two... Four... Two... Second from right first... Two... Four... What, what's happening here? Who counts like this from the right to the left? Japan. Oh. Well, I mean, specifically people giving me the information and the advice. They were saying two, four, one, three in the order going left to right. They don't count backwards. Yeah, they start at uh, infinity and then they go backwards. <laughs> yeah, so light arrows are a little bit overpowered. They get obliterated even more satisfyingly. Holy shit. Reduced to atoms. Oh, right, you actually have to kill all the enemies here, huh? Hmm. Colonel, my light arrows didn't alert the guards. Hard to forget this boss. But easy to forget how to fucking defeat him. I think I did this in the HD edition, where I actually got a number of good hits with the light arrows. Shit. Link's, uh, sorry, Tingle's one weakness, spin. Nice. Oh shit, spider time. Maybe not that? I don't know, I thought, like, you'd throw a bomb into its mouth, I don't know. I can't believe that the power of spin... ...is Puppet Ganon's ultimate move. I can do it too, you know. Vinny Tingle doesn't have a reflection. Tingle is Vampire, confirmed. Aw, oh, man, it fucking sucks if you- yeah, if you get hit, it just pushes you so that you can't take a shot. Your bomb idea works for this phase? Oh. Ha <laughs> Imagine, though, chat, if it did. Imagine if it did work. Bad. I don't know what the fuck that shot was. Bad shot. Bad shot. Okay, good shot that time.
All right, chat, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you don't get the cutscenes in the randomizer. Sorry about that. That's that's just how it be. Save? I can't actually save. I can't press start while I'm on a rope. Do we get to see Cronando getting spoilered in the head? Yes. I think we do. Um... Am I forgetting something? I think that's it. Yeah. I forgot about this entire platform. I thought it was just like, you grab rope, it takes you up, and you fight. And then you fight. Hopefully with honor. And you don't use the soup. Okay. Okay. It's like punch out. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Jesus. But you know what though? He he just as easily could have like stabbed her. So you know it's good that that didn't happen. Vinny, the password was slap, not stab. Oh god. Oh god, those corruptions. I forgot about that. Damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping that, that didn't have to happen. You- yes! Did you hear what Tingle said? He did his- he did the line. He did the line! Tingle has slain Ganondorf! Ho! Oh, my children! Listen to me. I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. Ho! Oh. I mean, at this point, you know... Oh, spoiler, he's the boat. Um, at this point, because we've missed so much story, you know... Ho, 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 ho! Ho, 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 ho! Ho, 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 ho! Oh. They will find another Hyrule. Hyrule was flooded. King made some mistakes. That land will not be Hyrule. It will be your rule. Oh, your land. It's kind of a frightening prospect that Tingle will... Look. <laughs> Link, the outline of Link. <laughs> it is a really cool theme for a game. Like, the previous land was completely flooded. And, like, they have to, you know, find the new land. No credits. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but yeah, no credits. This was a really good randomizer run. It was, first of all, it was kind to me. It wasn't complete shit. Sure, it had a couple moments. There were some rupee moments that were awful. But, there was steady progression. There was actually even a little story. There was, like, lore. It was very enjoyable, and I'm happy that you could watch this as I played it, because, uh, it, it was worth it. So, yeah. I don't know what the next Zelda randomizer run will be, but remember, Zelda 2 randomizer was updated, and I always like doing Link to the Past. But, it's good. Twilight Princess, I don't know if I would do randomized. Maybe. I gotta really be in the mood for that, because that's a big-ass game. Apparently, TP Rando is not that great at the moment. <clears throat> but, yeah, thank you. Another randomizer done. It was awesome. You said the exact same thing about Wind Waker. Well, with Wind Waker, you can... I mean, listen, I'm sure Twilight Princess you can customize it as well. But there's a lot more dungeons in Twilight Princess. And... It would be a consideration. I'd have to take a look at the randomizer. Um, but I'm in no rush to do more rando.